Splatoon 3 is right around the corner, so now is the perfect time to get caught up with the story of the previous game, Splatoon 2. In today's video, we'll be playing through the entire Splatoon 2 story mode and defeat the returning DJ Octavio. Let's get started. What is happening now? Oh, hey, it's Pearl Marina. Y'all know what time it is. It's off the hook. Come at you live from Incopolis Square. Uh, why is our producer freaking out? Read the teleprompter, Marina. Huh, let's see here. Ooh, whoa, no. This is just in. The great Zapfish has disappeared? Wait, like, for reals? I, I feel like we've heard the story somewhere before. Yeah, two years ago in the original Splatoon. It happened again? Oh, no. There's more. Pop superstar Kelly, the Squid Sisters, has gone missing. No, not Kelly. This is terrible. Do something, Marina. <laughs> what can Marina do? Uh, okay. I'll, I'll put together a search party. Whatever. I'm sure they'll turn up at some point. In other news, shouldn't we form a search party or something? Oh, <laughs> and that's all the time we've got. <laughs> Poor Marina can't even get a word in. Don't get cooked. Stay off the hook. That is so cool. I love these two. They're so cute. So those are our, I guess, Kelly and Marie replacements. Welcome to Inkopolis Square, the new nerve center of Inkling culture. Ooh. That's Decca Tower there in front of you, one of the tallest buildings in all of Inkopolis. There's a lobby on the first floor of Decca Tower for online battles. Over here, we got the Galleria, Inkopolis' most popular shopping center. Here you can buy the freshest gear and weapons to use in battle but the shops are pretty exclusive and they won't serve you if you're not fresh enough. That's a little precious. Uh, what else? Oh, that creepy shop back there. Rumor has it they're hiring for some sketchy job. Might wanna think twice before you apply there unless you really need the dough. Interesting. That brings us to the Shoal, the coolest hangout spot in all of Inkopolis. That's where Inklings go to meet up with nearby friends for both competitive and cooperative play. And next we have... Huh? Who is that mysterious squid back there? It almost looks like... No, she'd never hang out in a place like this. And those clothes, yeah, it, it must be someone else. Who could it be? Anyway, you should check out the lobby at Deca, of Decca Tower. That's where you can get your splat on. But we won't be doing that in today's video because actually as I'm recording this, the servers aren't even open. So we won't be doing that just for now. Oh, that I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh no, she's gone. <laughs> Let's go back in. I'm getting some deja vu to the first platoon, but it looks like we're going to the story mode now, which is awesome. So yeah, like I said, I'm probably gonna be doing mostly story mode stuff for the first couple days the game is out, but do expect some online mode gameplay. And look at us. I love our hair so much. It's so cute. Oh, could it really be? Hmm. Oh yeah, it is Marie. It just it sort of spoils it. The Octarians. Hey. You showed up. As soon as I saw you aimlessly wandering around the square, I knew you were the one. I'm Marie. I know you probably, you're probably a bit starstruck, but I, I need you to get over it. Oh, excuse me? Yes, I'm that Marie, but she sort of seems a little depressed. You know, from the Squid Sisters. Uh, not ringing any bells. You've never heard of me. For real? <laughs> well, you obviously aren't very cultured, but you'll have to do. See, I've got a little thing I need some help with. By now you've heard about the great zapfish that powers in Gapo Square is missing. Well, it's not just missing, it's been squidnapped by the Octarian Menace again? Same time, same thing as last time? How do I know this? On the surface, I may look like an absurdly talented pop star, but in the truth, I'm Agent 2 of the new Squidbeak Splatoon, a secret society of heroes who saved the world from Octarians. Now I've been trying to keep an eye on the Octarians in my downtime, but I'm a busy girl. If only Kelly was around to hell in the hand. Aw. <clears throat> I need you to go get the great zapfish back from those slimy Octarians. What do you say? Are you in? Sure. <clears throat> so. I'll take your awkward silence as a yes. Yes, it is. Oh, whoa. How did you do that? <laughs> You're a wizard. You just zapped clothes onto us. Welcome aboard. You are now Agent 4 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. Even though uh, I even bought you a brand new hero suit as a signing bonus. And look at that, it fits like a glove. Not bad for an old hand-me-down. <laughs> I guess from whoever, you know, was in Splatoon 1. Now let's go tear those Octarians limb from limb from limb from limb from, well, you get the picture. 
Oh yeah, the entrances to the Octarian Realm are invisible, so you'll have to ink them to reveal them. So yeah, our goal will be doing one area at a time. If you see anything weird looking, blast it with ink. Inking before thinking, I always say. Okay, so hi, can we say anything more to you? Why are you staring at me? Is there something on my face? Man, Octarians are so weird with their creepy floating platforms everywhere. Agent four, the first thing, the first time you encounter an enemy, try to figure out its moves. You know, remind remind me of Agent, you know, you remind me of Agent three, if Agent three were like two years older. Wasn't Agent three Marie? I mean, Kelly, you're, you're Marie. <laughs> what happened to Captain Cuttlefish? He's Agent one, right? Or maybe, or maybe Agent three is who we played in Splatoon one. Oh man, this area is so cool. I like to just take it in. But yeah, we're gonna be playing through the entire first area today. We're gonna be trying to unlock everything, whatever secret collectibles we can find within. Oh, there's balloons around. I don't wanna do anything too much extra besides just going to the first level, so let's try to find that though. Yeah, but it seems like there's actually a few balloons just sort of floating around for some reason. I, I wanna ignore that. I'll, I'll tackle that stuff probably at the end, but what is this gonna be? Uh, level one, yeah, okay, we found it. Return of the Octarians, rescue the Zapfish. It looks like we do have a sea scroll and then something else. So let's go ahead and enter it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, first level is Platoon 2. I'm ready to play Awfully. So yeah, let's go. Press the L to enter Squid Form. We know, we know. So I gotta be super careful, because once again, it looks like we have two different collectibles to find instead of just a normal sunken sea scrolls, which is gonna be a little bit difficult. Cover enemy ink with your own ink to move through it. We know, we know. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, you, could, you, sh could, you should and could go ahead and check out my Splatoon 1 playthrough if you wanna learn more of the basics of Splatoon, or you can just enjoy it starting from here. I'm just excited to be playing the game. So just thank you for joining my adventure through Splatoon 2. But I'm definitely gonna be dedicating myself to playing a lot more online mode in Splatoon 2 than I did in Splatoon 1, because unfortunately when Splatoon 1 released, I just had a, a lot of busy real life stuff going on. Oh, well, that was cool, there's a little ring. Not a lot of cover here, hide in the ink. So we only played the story mode of Splatoon 1, we didn't play too much online mode after that. So I'm gonna throw that over there, distract you, and then, oh, that almost worked. Not quite though. Oh yeah, he's slower now because I got my ink on him. There we go. Ah, launch pad, well, let's not do that just yet because there's stuff to break here. I'm just gonna be super duper on my toes that I don't have because, you know, I'm a zebra, I have hooves. But if I had toes, I would be on them right now. Oh boy, catch. Oh, got him, look at that, the triple. That was amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm doing a little bit better than I thought I would be doing. I thought I'd surely die by now. Uh, remember, you can look around with the RSEC. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, I gotta hide. Ooh. I'm expecting not to be super good at the game, especially since I'm just not great with motion controls, but this game is always best played with motion controls, it seems. I don't know, I'm really just not that great with it. But let's go ahead and throw that over there. I'm gonna hide. Ooh, that was good. Oh, you have a little balloon. Let me pop that first, because I'm sure if I hit you and not the balloon, it'll fly away or something, because that's usually what balloons do if they don't have you know, a weight tied to them. But it gave me more of this orange stuff, oh no. Which I actually can't remember what the orange stuff does. It was in the original Splatoon. It's not to buy weapons, because you do that with coins, so I'm not really sure. Hit that balloon fish with some ink to pop it. Oh, uh, okay. Would it mind? I'll give it a shot. Here, hold on, let's get all these first. I gotta also make sure I'm on, you know, like I'm being careful because there, I know in the original game, they hid those sunken sea scrolls everywhere. And I wonder what the sunken sea scrolls are gonna talk about this time. Because before it was all about the lore of the game, so is there really more lore to talk about? Or maybe it's just talking about what happened between Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2. I'm really interested to know. All right, let's get you. I'm gonna throw my bomb over here. And then let's destroy that box as well. Oh, hey, you were hiding there, huh? Okay, there was a few of them hiding. Now what about this box? This box is like all bandaged up. Can we break this? Oh, hey, a key, nice. So that's what we need to unlock the thing over there, which we'll worry about in a moment, because I'm sure that's gonna bring me where we're supposed to go, but I don't wanna go where we're supposed to go just yet. I wanna adventure. Like, is there anything off the edge here? Because there really could be stuff hiding off the edges and the like. Ooh, so let's break you. Oh boy, catch. That was good. Now I missed all three of them, that was not good. Okay, I can do this again. Boom, nice. Okay. So yeah, stay tuned for episodes on online mode, and if you guys wanna play with me, or if you even have Splatoon 2, let me know in the comment section. I love the, you know, here, who I Splatoon 2, so that we can uh, all play together maybe at some point. So now we're here, and is there anything like back here? I'm just so nervous I'm gonna miss something, because it's so easy to miss stuff. Get that there. Oh man, I love the music though. The music's super good. You want that armor, trust me. Okay, I'll try it. Boom. I hope I don't do too bad in today's episode though, because it's the first area. I shouldn't be doing all that awful. 
If you're hurt or overwhelmed, retreat and catch your breath. That's combat 101, okay. I'll keep that in mind. It, it, retreating is usually something I forget about doing because I'm just that heroic. No, it's usually just because I'm a dingus. I just sort of forget what I'm doing and where I'm going. So get Yoon, and then, oh, is there secrets up there? There might be secrets up there. Let's get up this one. Oh, there's just a little orange dot up there. That was sort of anticlimactic. I was like, ooh, maybe our first sunken sea scroll, not quite yet. But there's also another thing you can see on the top right. We have almost 100 of these orange you know, blobs. Hey, what is this? Oh, it's just a big bundle of orange blobs. I'll take it. Then that brought us over 100. But there's another thing next to the sunken sea scroll that I'm actually not familiar with. I don't know what that could be. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's move, because apparently we did not get him. Oh geez, he's getting his ink everywhere. But one thing is cool is that, of course, Marina and, oh man, you got my armor. Stop that. <laughs> oh. So what is this? Oh, is this, oh, this is a checkpoint. Okay. But Marina and Pearl sort of taking the place of Kelly and Marie, which is cool. But what's interesting about Marina is that she's actually an Octarian. She's not a squid. Oh, oh, now I can get you. Now I can get you. Nice. Oh, look at that. The platform raises. Wait, does that mean there was something down there? I really hope not. But I can get up here, right? Yeah, let's get up here. Oh yeah, I can. I think I want to go around this thing. Like, I don't want to go up it. So I'll have to be really careful. Uh, let's see if I can't do that. Okay, this is really weird. This is, ugh, don't go in it, don't go in it, don't go in. Yeah, okay, what is this? Oh. I have no idea what that was supposed to be, but cool, I got it. <laughs> so now we can go through this level normally, just like this. Yeah, okay, awesome. There's still more to go. These levels are really big so far, and I like it. Don't look down, or, or do, whatever. She's so like mellow. <laughs> She's definitely not like her on-air persona. I think, oh yeah, the Zapfish is on the top of here. I'll keep that in mind. But it looks like, is there stuff down below? I think so, so we're gonna have to check all over the place. Oh, you, gotcha. Cool. Yeah, look at this, there's stuff down here. Or if you can slip through, yep. I know, I know. Then we can reset the camera. I'm really bad with the controls just because, you know, like I hop between controllers all the time because I'm playing all types of different games for the channel. Oh, okay, I messed it up. Let's just throw another one because if you're hiding this way, he's like, where'd you go? I'm over here, buddy. Nice, 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 got you. Did I get everything here? Oh, no, I didn't. Look at that, there's a secret. How do I get this? Can I just spot up this? I can. Oh, please let this be the scroll. Please let this be the scroll. Oh, here it is, our first sunken sea scroll. That is so cool. Awesome. Let's keep going this way. But I'll be trying my best to, you know, 100% complete the game as much as I possibly can. We'll break these bad boys open. They all had Octarians in them. No prizes for me. Got you. Get you too, and then we can splatter you again. Oh, that broke your shield, that is so cool. So I don't know if there's like, you know, a prize we get. Oh, hey, we, we didn't climb up there to get that. I thought that's where we were going next. But well, I don't know if there is like a requirement to get all the orange dots in a level. I know there's of course a requirement to get those two collectibles we got, but I don't know about the other stuff here. Hey, catch this. Oh, okay, I got one of them. That's better than nothing, and that one had the key. Cool. Well, I'll get down here and I'll sneak up on you. Oh, you broke my armor though. Well done. You say that the moment I break my armor, I like, get super sassy. So, oh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot we got a superpower there that I neglected to use. So, whoa. All right, so we gotta get as many people in our reticle as possible, I guess is the idea. Oh gosh, this is so cool. I love it. Wow, and everybody's exploding like crazy. They're starting to shoot at me like, hey, why you? You little, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get you in, and then get you as well. So, so far, the story mode does seem incredibly similar to the original Splatoon, which I can't argue about too much because the original Splatoon 1 story mode was a lot of fun. There we go. So, more than one key. That's fine with me. <laughs> now we're cooking. I mean, don't steal uh, Pearl and Marina stuff. There we go. So, I don't need to worry too much about finding secrets then if we found the two big ones, especially since we're at the end of the level. There it is. Bust in and grab the Zapfish. I will. Oh, bada bing, bada boom. We're back to Zapfish hunting, just like Splatoon 1. The level is complete in seven minutes and 47 seconds. Hey, there was a different logo on the bottom right. It was like an Octarian version of Splatoon 2. That was cool, I like that. So there is the first level done. Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's like any kind of counter for all the orange dots, but there we go. Our first page in the Sunken Sea Scroll book, which says a shockwave struck while one young lady was performing at a recent youth folk singing contest, doing damage to the venue. Fortunately, no one was injured. Huh, isn't that Pearl? Or maybe that? It's hard to tell. 
Oh, maybe that was from two years ago, so Pearl was younger. Great work, Agent Four Inkopolis. May not be doomed after all. Aw, thanks for the vote of confidence. I appreciate that. So if we pull up the menu here, yeah, we can see Sector One. We've completed one level and there are a couple more to do. We'll be doing all those in today's video, no matter how long the video is going. Ooh, I'm just now realizing how pretty the ink is. Look at how pretty that it's all sparkly. I love it. Now, as I'm recording this, we did of course play, I mean, I think it's happened, I, I haven't recorded it yet. Oh, look at that, that you can find those in the map. Uh-oh, that means they're gonna be even harder to find them all. But, uh, all right, where are we going now? Well, we've gone up there. Oh, what about in here? This probably is where our level two is gonna be. Uh, what was I saying? But yeah, as of the recording this, I haven't recorded it yet, but soon enough for you guys, you know, before this video is posted, you should see the first ever Splatfest, which is supposed to be cake versus ice cream. I hope ice cream wins, but we'll find out in the future. Let's go into level two. Welcome to Octopia, the summer wind rises. Oh, wow, look at this little guy. <laughs> just marching around down there. So I just need to make sure I'm like extra, extra careful because those, you know, two collectibles we found, I don't know what the fish is supposed to be. I'm just gonna call it like a metal fish. Uh, once you've inked a wall, you can swim up it. Of course, of course. We understand the basics. I'm just not good at the game. It's the problem. Oh, and there's sponges. Then weren't these in the original as well? I'm pretty sure. Oh man, this one thing, this map is really cool, but weird because everything's on a TV monitor. Oh, we're underground. What is with these levels? I think those sponges and to pump them up. Oh yeah, I know, I know. There we go, and then I'll throw this over to you, and then destroy that balloon while I can. No, balloon, come back! Oh, I really hope that didn't have anything valuable in it. I mean, a few orange dots, sure, whatever, but if that was like, maybe a harder to find secret, like the sea scroll, I will be devastated. Even though it would be weird if it was so early on, because usually they seem to be later in the level. Let's get up here, and, and baddies ahead. Patch these eggheads, or poach them, not patch them. Oh, these things. Oh, look at that, we got all four. That was really cool, nice. I like her now. Like She's sort of you know, full of herself at some times, but she's also really nice. I mashed me while swimming to climb faster. Oh, I didn't know about that. So that's gonna be helpful to know. Man, this area is so nice. I just wish it wasn't like made out of TV screens. It's so cool looking. Like, they really did a good job at making some really nice maps. Of course, they did that in the original Splatoon, but it feels like they sort of carried over the energy. Octo Troopers on the grate over there. Yep, I see them, I see them. Whoa, oh, I almost got hit by that. There's a lot going on, ooh. Okay, that's armor, I will take that. But I'm guessing it's gonna be best to go up like this, oh geez. Oh geez, oh they know I'm here! How did you know I was here? See it! <laughs> Doesn't matter if you know or not if I take you out still. Is there any way to get up this? What is this platform for? Oh, look at that, there is a way to get up here. Or not. Okay, I guess I can. All right then. <laughs> well, it's worth checking out. So, and what about stuff like down here? So there's stuff to check out. Oh, hey, hey, look, we found it. See, that was actually not that far into the level, and then I can just explode you. How convenient. The game, you're really loving me right now, and I'm loving you, this is so much fun. We are definitely gonna be posting daily Splatoon at the least, because of course, I'm, I'm recording this so far ahead of the, you know, the release date, I should be able to get it, like, quite a few episodes recorded, which is exciting for me, because I can just enjoy this game as soon as possible. It's just gonna be so hard for me to like, keep my mouth shut about the game. You know, stuff I'm maybe not allowed to talk about before it releases. Gotcha, that was good. And then, uh, okay. Wait, why do you have a green balloon? What did the green balloon do? Strong work, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So now we're no longer looking for the sunken sea scroll, but we are looking for this metal fish. And I don't know what the metal fish does. I don't know what the orange dots will do. Oh, that's a squeegee. They suck up ink, but they're pretty harmless. He's sort of cute, I like him. But he's also sort of creepy. Please stop eating my ink. There we go, no. Oh, nice, okay, we got up. So there's nothing we can do over there, but there of course is more. Hey, wait a minute. What's in there? Oh, that's armor. You know what, sure, why not? Let's go down there and get it. <laughs> it ain't that hard to do, and then where does this bring me? Oh, right back where I was, okay, cool. That's good. Oh, baddies inbound, oh, there they are. Let's go! <laughs> I love her enthusiasm when she's getting into it, but like most of the time she's just really sad and depressed. I mean, regardless, we need to find out what happened to Kelly. I don't know what's in the green balloons, but hopefully nothing crazy important. Because like, what happened to the Octarians take her? And what happened to Captain Cuttlefish? Is he in this game at all? Because honestly, I haven't seen anybody really talk about him. Like from Nintendo or you know people who are just fan of this game. Is there anything down there? I don't think there is. I'm falling in the sink, that is not good. 
So what happened to Captain Cuttlefish? Did like he meet his doom? Cause that would be awful. I love Captain Cuttlefish. He's like one of my favorite characters from the original Splatoon. So hopefully we can, you know, meet up with him at some point. Here, I'll just pop that again. Why don't you get any on the wall here? That's weird. Uh, let's get across. I think this will be enough. And then we don't wanna, we wanna get up here. Oh, just like last level. So the secrets aren't so crazy this time, but they're also, you know, pretty nice. Another metal fish. I don't know what it would be. I guess just a fish that's metal. But what does it do? Who knows? Ooh, I just, I, I can't believe I can't remember what the orange blobs do from Splatoon 1, because they were definitely in Splatoon 1. Hmm, it's weirdly quiet here. Stay sharp. But one thing I'm super excited for is being able to customize my character. Of course, playing the game, playing through the story mode, and getting a bunch of cool weapons. That's fun in this game, but you know what's so much more enjoyable for me? For whatever reason, is customizing my character. It's so much fun in this game, because there's so many cool customizations, and they really added to it in this game, because in the original game, you could not change your hairstyle, but look at me now. I actually have a custom hairstyle. Um, I know some people might complain about that. Let me get into that, I guess. For whatever reason, people complain about it that I'm playing as a female character. I just think the female characters look really cute, and I want to play as them because I enjoy them more than the male characters. People got really mad at me for not playing a male character in Splatoon 1. I don't know. I'm not going to change my character, so if you're going gonna to get mad about that kind of stuff, uh, I don't know. I guess you can find another series on Splatoon 2 because there's going to be plenty out there. I'm sure you'll find one that you like. But let's go ahead and, no wait, I forgot a box. Well, it can't have any secrets we're like dying to get, huh? Oh, and it despawns everything that was there too, so there's no hope for getting it. Whoa, watch out for that. Gotta cover up those tracks. I guess it'll just miss, mean we miss out on a couple orange dots, but hey, I got myself a power up that I definitely want to use here, right? I mean, I, I keep on forgetting to use those. I haven't been paying attention to that. I've just been shooting the baddies because, you know, it's just easy to shoot them. <laughs> so I gotta pay attention. Oh, we will miss another balloon. I'm really bad at that right now. Right, the zapfish has to be closed forward. I just gotta try to remember. Whoa, this is cool. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, it's an octobomber, gross. Okay, let's get over here and then, boom, nice, that was so cool. Man, the power-ups are great. I think, I don't remember if that was in the original Splatoon or not, but that is so, so still, or still so cool. Oh, we gotta get up here. Or maybe I gotta, there we go. Ho oh, ho, what is happening here? Uh, just a bit farther, keep going. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I don't want this to fall on me. Oh, yeah, we made it. We made it, we got all the secrets. Good stuff indeed. Let's get our second ever Zapfish. Nice. We're doing pretty good. I mean, we're not doing fantastic. I'm not really that great at the game, but I'm having fun, and that's all that matters. Okay, so level two done. I think that means we have one more in a boss fight to go. We'll find out. And here is our second Sea Scroll page. Music heads are still buzzing over that legendary underground show two years ago. Anyone lucky enough to catch DJ Octavio's opening set and the Squid Sisters headlining had their minds blown and their lives changed that night. Wait a minute. Is this before or after the first platoon? Because I thought that the Squid Sisters were against DJ Octavio. Did they sort of make amends and then throw a concert? Because look, there's a bunch of Octolings. I actually don't see any squids, but I do see Marina right in the center. <laughs> so she is an Octoling. That confirms it right there. That is awesome. Okay. Well then, if your hero suit gets damaged, submerge yourself in ink and recover quickly. Okay, I'll keep that in mind if I need it. But for right now, I do not think I do. So we need to save one more Zapfish. Where is that going to be? Oh, over here then. It looks like it's gonna be over here. So let's go ahead and destroy all this stuff. Why does this have so much stuff to it? <laughs> I don't know why that one's so defended. But hey, what is this level gonna be? Level three, right? Bada bing, bada boom, level three, sunset octocopter. Help I pronounce that right. Dash and jump, let's go. Okay, ooh, the music is nice here. I, like my control gets like really weird with the camera. Okay. I'm a little nervous. I'm just gonna take a second to look at the level. I don't know why I feel nervous. It's just something about the, the color here. The sky is beautiful, but it's just sort of creepy too. And this one's like, everybody, every every location is like covered in screens. Step on the dash track. Just trust me on this. Uh, okay. I will, because you are Marie. But, whoa, okay, that worked, that worked. Oh gosh, it's one of those octocopters, right? Oh, not octo, oh yeah, I think it's octocopter. All right, jump over low obstacles. I'll do it, I'll do it, don't worry. I got it, I'm a pro already. You don't even need to mentor me. You probably should though, just in case. You never wanna be, you know, too safe. You know, better safe than sorry, they say. Oh man, I love this song. Dun, dun, 
Da, 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 da. Whoa, look at this, it's one of these rails. I think they had this in the first game. Honestly, I'm getting confused in what's in this game and what's in the, set, in the first game. Sort of forgetting, you can jump farther while swimming. Ooh, I like it. Well, let's get that, I heard somebody. Yep, all right. Whoop, let's throw that over there. Oh, did that bounce off of him? Or did that bounce off of something else? All right, there's another ring. I like the rings, the rings are really fun. Darn it, I messed that up. Can I get back up anywhere? I can get back up on these. Whoop, whoop, there we go, whoop. Nice, okay, I got it that time. And that's gonna be 10 more of those. I, I can't wait to see what we'll use those for because I got plenty of them so far. That's how it's done, very, very cool. See, this right now is definitely my must play Switch game. It is just so much fun. Mario Kart and you know, uh, Zelda are really fun as well. How do I get this? Oh, okay, just, I thought I had to hop up there. So these things are a little scary. I gotta be careful. But this is just so much fun. I'm really enjoying this already. And I, I think that we're gonna have a lot of fun playing through the story mode and then some. I definitely wanna try to give a shout out ranked. I wanna give a shout at some of the other game modes that are new to this game. Whoa, hold on. So what about this one over here? Uh, oh hey, it's one of the metal fish, okay. So we'll try to get that. I don't think I can get that from here. Maybe I can get it. Yeah, I can get it from up here. Okay, that's not too bad. And we get a checkpoint. Plenty to use here. I just gotta make extra sure I don't mess anything up with this jump. All right, Octotopper, spot him out of the sky. I don't know what kind of song that's supposed to be. Oop, oh, hey buddy, get out of here. <laughs> there, I spotted you out of the sky. Are you happy? Oh, whoa, whoa. Jeez, they're tough. These guys are actually pretty scary. They're sort of cute with how wiggly they are. What a player. <laughs> Thank you, she's very good at compliments. They're very good at flattering me. There's some armor, nice stuff. Yeah, let me know if you're a squid or a kid in the comment section. I've been meaning to ask that. There's to so many Splatoon questions I wanna ask, but I wanna sort of spread them out throughout the series so you guys don't have like 20 different comments to make. I'm sure that would be a chore. So, so I'll try to spread them out with like each episode. But I just hope that if you guys do have the game, you're enjoying it, or maybe you're watching this before you plan on getting it, like whenever you get it. I really hope you enjoyed. So far, I'm actually having a lot of fun. All right, I guess heroes are known for their something there. I don't, what is up there? There's something up there. Do I not want to break this stuff? I don't know. I have a bad feeling about breaking what I just broke. But how else would I get up? I don't know, but this I gotta be quick here. Oh, oh, whoop! No, 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 no! Yeah, what is up there? Oh, oh, I see. There's a little platform right here. I was about to freak out. I was like, no, did I mess up my chances on getting a cool secret? I did not, because our sunken sea scroll is just there waiting for us. So there is another level with the secrets it's gotten, no problem. Looks like we're almost at a total of 400 of these little things, these orange shots. Like, what are they even called? I don't know. Eggs, probably? Oh, that was a good throw. Launch pad straight to a rider. Oh, these Actarians are, 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 have some new tricks. Yeah, it's actually really cool. And the gameplay here in the single player mode is really cool. I mean, of course it's fun online, but it definitely has like a different pacing here. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I always forget these sections where I'm supposed to use my, uh, you know, my super abilities. I just forget how to use them properly, apparently. Well, I used it all there. <laughs> so let's go back over this way. Grab some of that. And I think we're just good to keep moving. Oh, hello, whoa, you're falling from the sky, huh? All right, well, have that, and then I'm gonna pop your balloon. Oh, whoa, oh, he landed on the launch pad. I wasn't expecting that. Give me that stinking balloon. Jeez, dude. And then fill up, and then beat you up. There we go. Whoa, look at all these rings. This looks a little scary. I feel like I can definitely easily mess this up, and look at me. Messing up before I could even mess it up. How do I get back up there? Uh, Well, I guess I could do it through the launch pad over here, right? So let's try that. Wee! <laughs> they are a lot of fun, I can give it that much. No, I, I just made the same mistake twice, are you kidding me? Oh gosh, ready, whoop! Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, they, that's how I moved before I pressed anything. Okay, see how easy that was? Whoa, 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 there we go, we got all of them! Final checkpoint, remember to think before you leap. I always try to, but it, I don't think very well sometimes. Oh gosh, I see why, I see why. Whoa, oh boy, there it is, get it! Yeah, nice, so there's three zap fish so far. We're making some pretty decent time too. That was actually the shortest level out of the three so far. Okay, so what does that leave us with? I think we've just had the boss fight done now, but first, another sunken sea skull. Oh look, I was right. Oh man, it's always intimidating. So what it is, we're moving. Ammo Knights will be moving to a new location soon. Many thanks to our loyal customers for your support. 
Awesome, so of course he's in this game too and he still sells you weapons just like normal, but now it is time to move this way. The boss's kettle's open. You've got this, Agent Four. I guess I do. <laughs> so what's it gonna be? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to head right in. The industrial toast into the Octo Oven. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, this is a familiar sight, ain't it? And there's actually a little metal fish to get in this one. Do I have to find that somewhere in the level? I, I hope not. Uh, poor Zapfish? Oh no, please don't, no! I was right, poor Zapfish! You monster! degrees of pain, Octo Oven. They weren't kidding. Looks like the tentacle is up there. Uh, up there is a source of the trouble. Uh, oh, it's just literally bread. It's just weird, gross bread. It's jelly bread. How am I, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just make it soggy? Oh gosh, whoa. Oh, I'm supposed to climb up. I'm supposed to climb up. Oh boy. There we go. Get up here and beat up, beat up, beat up. Oh, got it. Donut stop, you need to keep going. Oh, so you don't just do ink puns, you even do pastry puns, huh? <laughs> she's just having too much fun. I'm here bending for my life and she's just having a jolly good time just making silly little puns. It's getting mad. I've never seen a sentient toaster machine before, yet alone a sentient toaster machine get very angry with me. Incredibly cross. But luckily it telegraphs its moves quite a lot. This thing is so bizarre. This is the most bizarre first boss I think I've ever seen in a game. Come on, come on. Whoa. Okay, so we gotta get up here quick before the timer ends. And now it's harder to get up here, huh? All right, well, I still was able to manage it. Now I can just start beating up you. Ooh, there's two out of probably three shots, right? Way Good, but don't start loafing around or things might go awry. Oh, uh, they are, they are awful puns. Awfully good, but awful puns. Oh, no, now it's really mad. Stop being so angry, please. All right, well, I'm scared. Ah, no, I got hit. Really, I didn't want to take any damage. <laughs> oh, well. I don't know, see how I was supposed to know that was coming, but oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. It's chasing me, it's chasing me. I don't like this, I don't like this one bit. Oh geez, it's about to spit out some bread. I'm not ready for this, I didn't want a sandwich. Oh, no. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, it's all pleasant. Oop. It has to be ready soon, right? Whenever it's about to ding, right? I think it's about to spit them all out. There you go. Okay, so now get across to here. Then climb up here, just like that. Not bad, not bad. Start beating you up, beating you up, beating you up. Oh, gotcha. This guy's toast. Nice. Oh my gosh. So we beat our first boss. Oh no. They really are toasted. Who likes over toasted bread? I don't think anybody does. Oh, ho, ho. we got him. Or them. Him, them, I'm not sure. But hey, there's a metal fish, and there is our zap fish. Very cool, so we did it without too much of a problem. We didn't die at all, so that's good. First boss defeated. Yay. Good work, Asian Foreign. I sure know how to pick him. Got a hint to the Octarians though, I didn't expect them to have fully operational Octobosses at their disposal. I think it's time to call in the big guns. Let's see here. Sheldon, can you hear me? Over. I hear you loud and clear, Marie. Over. Oh man, this is so cool. <clears throat> Agent four, I'm Sheldon from Abonites. Yeah, we're familiar. The only weapon shop in Ingopolis with over 542 million years of trusted service. That's right, stop by Abonites in Ingopolis Square for all your weapon needs. Tell me Sheldon said, <laughs> man, aren't you Sheldon? <laughs> Maria told me everything. Uh, to think that my signature weapons can be a help of the new Squidbeak Splatoon, I'm honored. But I'm afraid I can't just let you treat my vast arsenal like an all-you-can-ink buffet. I do have a business to run, you know. So let's help each other out. I want you to help me test out these new weapons I'm currently developing. All you have to do is use them in real-world conditions. If you'll do that for me, I'll be able to gather all sorts of amazing data. That data will help me get the approvals I need to make retail versions of the weapon. All right, and once the retail versions are out, you can use the, you use them in turf war battles. It's a real win-win, don't you think? Oh yeah, and okay, down boy. So rude. I think Asian Four gets the point. 
Let's get back to work, Agent Four. Stay fresh. I like how she still uses the catchphrase. catchphrase. So there we go. The first area is done. I do want to check out what these balloons will be like. But there we go. Awesome, awesome stuff. Oh yeah, this is really just like Splatoon 1. The outlet breaks, and that of course makes it area two open to the public, or at least open to us. Good news, you can now use my Abonite's enhancifier next to the Cuttlefish Cabin. No, don't remind me, Cuttlefish. It's a top of the line vending machine that can enhance your weapons and adds bombs to your arsenal. The enhancifier doesn't take cash, it takes power eggs and sardinium. So that's what they're called, power eggs and sardinium. I, I might wanna call them metal fish still, because that's just fun to say, but, it's only gonna get tougher, Agent 4. You'll need to upgrade your weapons to continue or something like that. Sort of cut off too soon. Okay, well, let me check out this whole balloon stuff. We're gonna not move on to the next area in today's video for obvious reasons. That's gonna be for episode two, so stay tuned for that. Should be coming up maybe even later today. If you blow me away with all of your awesome support, then, you know, by you know, letting me know in the comment section and by you know doing the like button stuff and the things that YouTubers you know beg you to do all the time, I'm sure you know about it. Where'd it go? Uh, oh, I'm gonna get up here. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm pretty sure these are gonna be timed, right? Uh, oh geez, no, 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 no. It's definitely gonna fly away, right? No, 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 I caught it, I caught it. No, I don't like being correct. Oh, can I do it again? Did I just miss out on something awesome? Or can I do it again? It's not here. Oh, no, 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 it is. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you'd wanna see episode two today. I would really like to know. And I'll try to get that done. I got that. Let's get over here and start beating you up. But we're definitely gonna get Splatoon 2 out on the daily at the minimum, so expect that for sure. We definitely can do it this time. Starting with like the story mode. We'll be doing the story mode, having a lot of fun with that. Ooh, big jump. Nice stuff, is this the last one? It is, and whoa, that got me a sunken sea scroll. Wasn't expecting that. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Welcome to the Octo Canyon, the world's most gorgeous gorge. Collect all the commemorative souvenir stickers. Interesting. So for doing that, we got a sticker. I guess there's like a whole back page full of stickers. So what are these other, whoa, balloons gonna get me? Like you. Oh geez, you split in the two, you split in the four, you split in the six. Oh, there you go. Oh, so those only get me power eggs. So maybe there's like one extra sunken sea scroll. Oh, hey Marie, how you doing? Man, Octarians are so weird with their creepy floating platforms everywhere. The entrances to the Octarian layers are invisible, so you'll need to ink them. I know. You're a fan of the high places, aren't you? I mean, that's okay. I'm not a big fan of heights, but I, I, I don't, I'm not really opposed to it. So there's just all balloons that we can get other things from as well around here. So I'm gonna guess that there's probably one sunken sea scroll per map area as well. But we're gonna be tackling area two, and first off, taking a look inside the Ammo Knight's Enhancifier where we can spend our power eggs and metal fish, I forget what they're called, to buy upgrades for, I guess, our weapons. We can upgrade right here the Hero shot or the ink tank, which we actually don't have enough for either of these. I thought we were doing great with collecting things. Apparently not quite, because we're not even halfway for this. And we can actually, no, 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 not yet, not yet. 800, so we're almost there. But we could almost buy new bombs. Even though I'm really liking the, I, I really like the bomb we have, so I'm not gonna worry about that for just right now. Maybe if we upgrade something else first, then we'll buy the bombs. Maybe that would be a good choice. Either way, it doesn't matter too much right now because we can't afford any of it. We might as well just focus on moving on to area number two and seeing what it has in store for us. Ooh. So it's all in its own loading area. Was it like that in the first game? I don't think so, but whoa, we, we know how to make an entrance. Look at us. And now we're green and not yellow, which I like a whole lot more. A whole lot more I can't speak because I'm too excited because we're at Suction Cup Lookout where there's going to be six more Zapfish to get instead of three. So today's episode might be much longer. We're gonna have to sit down and find out. But uh, I can only assume if there's six of them, obviously that must mean that there are more levels to accomplish. Either that or we're gonna start having more, more than one Zapfish per level, which would actually be really interesting. But we're not gonna worry about the balloons or anything like that. Right now we are just purely focused on completing levels. So let's see if we can't find the next one. Maybe it's up here. There is a level up here. Is it gonna be level four? I think is what we're looking for. No, that's level five. Uh, well, let's try over there then. Whoa, darn it. Okay, couldn't quite make that. That's fine. Let's try from here maybe. Can I get up this? I think I can. If we go like that and then bada boom. Nice. So what about that? Oh gosh, come on. <laughs> that was my own fault, I guess. We gotta look for level four, which hopefully is this one so I don't have to search through this whole map constantly. This is level seven. Okay, I wanna find level four, I'll be right back. Hey, here's level four, so it was all the way around here. Very cool, so this is gonna be level four, enter the Octo Hurler, let it roll, and it has a Sheldon request. Cool. 
Okay, this area is looking a little murky. Whoa, 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 what is that? It's, it's, something's being flown in via drone. Okay, take this with you. It'll help me gather some practical battle data. It's the hero roller. This is the hero roller. You can fling a big wall of ink while on the ground with ZR. Okay. Or you can press ZR in midair to fling a longer, narrower stream of ink. You can also hold ZR while moving to roll ink all over the ground. So yeah, that's sort of the thing. This was actually a very popular weapon in the original Splatoon, but it looks like it has been improved a little bit because we can jump and then do that. And that wasn't a feature in the original. So that's pretty cool to see right there. So that they've tweaked things that have already been, you know, good classics, you know, obviously for the sake of change and for the sake that it might be better. Huh, the Ro Rolonium bundles are here. You mean these things? Oh, whoa, -ho -ho -ho, look at that. Holy cow, that packs a punch. That was cool. All right, I like it. And this music, again, is so stinking awesome. So before we get too far in today's episode, I do wanna ask you guys a question. Who do you prefer? You know, um, Marina or Pearl? You know, out of the two new, I guess, replacement Squid Sisters, even though they're not Squid Sisters, they are their own thing. What is their name then? You know, Callie Marie were the Squid Sisters. What are Pearl and Marina? Are they, they're not just the hook. Cause they, the thing is get off the, like, or what is it? What is their saying? Don't get cooked, stay off the hook. So they're not the hooks. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, can I get up here again? Did I just strand myself? No, I didn't. Okay, so awesome, we already found the metal fish. Oh, the minnow, it's got the metal minnow, right? Something like that. <laughs> metal minnow that actually sounds pretty fun to pronounce. Ooh, is there something over here? I guess not. With the railing being gone there, it makes it seem a little ominous. And what about over here? Oh! Hey, look at that, whole bunch of extra power eggs, which now I have more, uh, wait, there you go with your impulsive secret finding again, of course, I'm a zebra. It's my favorite thing to do. Does that have anything to do with being a zebra? I don't know, do you know any other zebras you could ask? I don't think so. <laughs> Jump here and swing your road, oh, oh, I thought you were stuck. Jeez, I did not do so great there. Yeah, like that, vertical swing ink in the area. Okay, I can't read that while trying to play. <laughs> there is something weird with this font that, I don't know, most fonts make me, like when I'm trying to play a game, I don't know why, there's a lot of fonts that I just can't read for some reason. At least out loud. More octopods, so annoying. Where are they? Yeah, they're right here. So I actually might wanna get their attention first, try to get them all over here, turn around, and then smash them. Boom, gotcha, and then I just got you to worry about. Ha <laughs> ha, not a problem. Nice, so we're doing all right so far. Area two is not too bad, right? Oh, get that. So here's some armor for us, which we probably need, yep, yep. Okay, so let's break this thing again, because this is a lot of fun, We, Oh, an Octobomber. Pasteurize this dirtbag, that is so rude to say. Don't say that. Maybe this is why the Octolings are so mean to us, is because we're mean to them. You know, we, Marie and Callie say such awful things. I mean, I'm still confused, why would DJ Octavio have a concert with the Squid Sisters if obviously we're still in bad straits with the Octolings? Maybe there's some background plot going on here. Maybe the Octolings did make amends, but there is some tomfoolery happening and there's somebody pulling the strings in the background. Can I hit that? I cannot hit that balloon. I tried there, but that was really tough to do. Now, I know, whoa, before we do that, I gotta look around, make sure I'm not missing anything. Because we were already over there. And I just need to make sure I'm not missing anything because we could very easily do that. Doesn't look like it though. Okay, good enough. <laughs> so, one thing you can do in the levels in this game is that you can actually play them through with multiple different weapons, which I don't think you could do in the original. By the way, Octo Hunters throw Rol Rolonium at Yoon. Okay, that's great. Wish you could say that a little bit slower. So yeah, they do actually throw Rolonium at us. Rolonium is such a hard word to say that I'm like stuck trying to pronounce it while they're still you know, trying to talk and they finish talking and then they leave me. Okay, have that. Oh, that's gonna be helpful. And see, that's why I love this bomb. What a pro, thank you. Oh my gosh, you know, she can be totally full of herself, but I light up when she compliments me. It just feels so nice that she's such a superstar. So where is this stuff so, supposed to go? Wow, that went far, holy cow. So there's a launch pad in the back, but first you have to get past those octo hurlers. Yeah, I see that. So I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. Doesn't look like I have. So can I get up here? I can. What about this though? Oh, it's this thing again. So I gotta deal with whoever I can. Oh geez, this thing is so difficult to aim. So difficult to aim. Uh, got you. I at least got one of them, hey? Eh? That's something. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna throw that over to you. Let's fill up on ink, because I'm really gonna need it. I did break a few of his crates, not all of them. Crash Bandicoot would not be too happy with me, knowing that I didn't break every crate. Oh boy. Move over here, throw that. Nice, okay, okay. Slam on this stuff as much as I can. I do like the roller. 
it, it's so tough for me for whatever reason. But I do like it. So these punks are gonna be a pain in the booty, aren't they? Oh, and they're on like little brushes that throw down more of their ink. So like they have an indefinite amount of it no matter how much I try to fill. Okay, I'm low on ink. Ooh, ooh, ooh. gotcha. Oh, gotcha, that was good. We got one more at the least. It's so weird that they spit that stuff out. Oh, I wonder what happens if I ride this thing. I really hope it just doesn't lead me to my death. Oh, look at this, secret, secret. Whoop, ha, and there it is, just sitting there for me, the sunken sea scroll. The problem now is getting back on this platform. Oh, hold on. Just go into squid form, just hide. I find it funny because our squid is probably thicker than this brush, so where's the sense in that? I don't know, but we found the secret, so that's all I need. 600 power eggs, we are almost at 800, so we could maybe upgrade our ink tank soon. Or a weapon, something. We can upgrade something soon, I forget which one. Oh boy, we aren't doing so well with that. Oh, no, get that balloon. I missed the balloon again. Darn it, I'm so bad at that. Okay, boom, got all that. It looks like all the enemies are around here. I don't trust, I see the zap fish in the distance. No rest for the squid kid, I like it. See, if I had to choose between Pearl and Marina to answer the question I already asked you guys, because it's only courteous that I answer the question too, uh, I really like Marina, Marina is really cool. There are some people who seem to adamantly dislike Pearl, I don't really understand the idea of adamantly disliking anybody. Oh, just a little bit farther, I know the feeling. Oh, no, okay, come on, there you go. So let's try to, what what happened there? Did they like bounce my bomb back or did I just do a bad job of throwing it? Oh no, there is somebody throwing a bomb. Okay, that was not my bomb. Who's throwing the bombs then? Oh, I mean, you're an Octo Bomber. I thought that you were the dude in the background because you sort of look similar. Let's get across to here. And what is this? Oh, more armor that I could definitely use. I'm guessing I could probably knock this back at him if I was at a good position. So let's slam this like that. And then, boom. I might even just be able to get to him before that though. Oh, he's Goopy. There we go, well done, thank you. And, and there is our first level of area two complete with our first zap fish as well. Very cool. So we're doing some great progress, six and a half minutes. These levels are actually quite long. I think they were just as long in the original Splatoon, but the fact that there's six levels in the second area, I think that's way more than the original Splatoon. So I have no idea how long the story mode is gonna be, but I have a feeling it's gonna be much longer. Either way, we got ourselves some stuff to read. Let me check your weapon log. Yep, data's coming through. Oh man, this is really good stuff. The more data you get me, the quicker I can finalize my retail version, so keep it up. But remember, this is just a loaner. I'm not running a charity here. Good luck, Agent Foreign. So you got the Hero Roller. You can now use the Hero Roller press plus to change weapons. So we can only use that in the story mode, not online. You can upgrade your weapons at the Ammonite's Enhancifier with some Sardinium and Power Egg. So we can upgrade all of this, but we got some Sea Scrolls to read. This looks like a, to be a do-it-yourself guide for starting your own mobile business. It, it looks new, but somebody must have been frying something near it. It has some grease stains on it. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool because there is a certain character from Splatoon 1 who opens up their own mobile business. You can now you can move between areas by bringing up the map with X, which is good because we already unlocked area five, so that is right here. Man, they don't really do any kind of like linear setup with the levels, but either way, we're here for level five, the Octopark. Stay on your grind, let's go. Oh, I like this one. Hey, it really is an Octo Park. It's like a little amusement park. That's so cool. And it looks like we have another weapon from Sheldon. Okay, take this with you. It'll help me gather some practical data. It is the Hero Duelies. Nice. They are the hottest weapons in the game right now. The Hero Duelies. Press B while shooting and moving in any direction to do a slick dodge roll. You can dodge roll forward, backward, or side to side. It's totally raw. Okay. These are really cool. These are a brand new weapon. They weren't in the original Splatoon, and they're very, very cool. So if we do this, then we, we can dodge, which might prove to be pretty helpful. You can dodge roll twice in a row, swish swoosh. <laughs> I like swish swoosh. Oh, can we? Whoa, look at us, this is straight up like Ratchet and Clank. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> this area is so awesome. This is like one of my favorite levels so far, and we're only like 20 seconds into it. All right, then you can also jump with B while you're Sliding, oh yeah, I can, so I gotta be careful, try to combo everything up. See, this would be a really fun level to speed run, because that's sort of the thing, it always tracks our time, right? So it would be important to sometimes get a good time, you know, just to look cool. This would be a fun level to speed run, I think. I mean, if you're not focused on getting 100% like I am, because of course I need to find everything. So we're not going over there, okay. Whoa, no, I forgot to fill that up, duh. Get that, so let me try that again. Let's get up there, and then uh, time it right and jump through that ring. Yeah, there we go, I did it! Hey, look at me! Maybe I could be a part of the Squid Sisters. Except, you know, I wouldn't be a sister. 
<laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Good stuff, let's just keep going. Oh, can I shoot that one? That one's a little too far away, but we're looping around. Oh, this is so much fun, I love this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, don't hit me with that thing. So I don't really have too much of defense against that. I guess I could just, you know, pop back into the round. You can use dodge roll for dualies to activate the side rail instantly. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, like that. Wow, that's actually really cool. So let's get that. I don't wanna quite go this way just yet because there, of course, this is there's this crate I can break. I wanna make sure I'm breaking all the crates I can. And then what is up here? Whoa, I got it. Oh, free armor up here. What is on this tree? There's like an advertisement on the tree. Did the tree agree to being an advertisement? What are they doing to the poor trees? Those darn octolings. All right, let's get this stuff as well. Jump into the other rail with B. Oh, this really is like Ratchet and Clank. Oh my gosh. This is so awesome, I love it. Oh geez, no, I was supposed to stay up there, wasn't I? I was supposed to stay up there. I need to get back up there because there's definitely a secret to find. Whoop, oh, that actually got me. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to. Let's get across to here, just like that. I need to just go back up there and try to get that secret if I can. Because I didn't realize that was there. Because I thought that maybe this area was a secret and then that's where I was supposed to go. Doesn't look like that's the case. Oh, no, I can't believe I messed it up twice. I'm the worst. See, was that so bad? And then what's in here? Oh, totally, whoa. I thought that was a C-scroll. I have no idea what we just got. It was like a ticket. Maybe a ticket for one of these amusement park rides that are all broken and floating in the sky? Maybe. Well, what is that ticket for? They're not gonna tell me? Okay, well, I got other things to worry about, I guess. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I'm not done, I'm not ready. No, I messed it up, I missed some stuff. Oh gosh, let's get you. There we go, we at least got you, dude. And then we'll shoot up here for that, and we are good. Octo slobs, fry them up, Agent Four. So there is another collectible to get. I sure hope we didn't miss any of those so far. That was a ticket for something. Are those in every level? Like, what are they? Now I'm nervous. Do I have to backtrack a bunch? Everything I've done so far, not good enough? Oh no. So I'm not missing anything, am I? Doesn't look like, actually, let me make sure I'm hitting these railings, because even if I'm not riding them, yeah, it just leads me where I was already going, so I might as well, right? Whoop, yeah, that is so much fun. I'm having a blast with that. So let's go ahead and, while I'm doing all this, destroy you guys from up here. That is great. And then there's some stuff over here I don't wanna forget before we go into that rail over there. Okay, some armor. And then where do you lead? Back over there for some extra goodies to get. Yahoo! And then let's try to get this. Nice. Good, good, good. We're doing decent so far. That looks like fun. Sometimes I wish I could be the one risking my life out there. Well, I mean, nothing's stopping you. Uh, keep an eye out for new rails to jump to, like this one. But is there anything down here worthwhile? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go ahead and Elio. Oh, we gotta go through here for sure. And then jump like that. Whoa, there's more than one thing to get, but we gotta get up here. We gotta definitely go to the places we can't get down from. And that had a metal minnow. Nice. Because they're called aluminium, isn't it? But I like metal minnows so much better. The zapfish must be close. Onward, I really hope it's not too close because I haven't found the uh, sea scroll yet. Oh boy, get you. Oh, this is so weird to do with motion controls. I'm like twisting and turning all over the place. And I can shoot for a long time. I mean, I don't want to shoot forever because I, I am slowly running out of ink. Okay, so it looks like there's a few opportunities for there to be uh, some stuff around here. And press B while shooting. Yeah, I know about the dodge roll. It is super fun though. Like, one thing I like is that I can I can, I can basically dodge roll right out of my, uh, jumping out of my ink if I'm quick enough with it. Like, here, let's do that again. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, just like that. Very cool, I like that. So let's go ahead and destroy you because you don't have a shield. Not that bad to destroy either. So we definitely need to ride this rail up. Hmm. And we gotta get over there somehow. So let's get you, and just destroy everybody we can on the way over. Ooh, get you, fill up, get you. I need to turn around and jump. Whoa, we did it, sunken sea scroll for me, whoa. No, I missed a route. So I guess if I ended up messing up getting it the first time, I could have just hopped back down and get it, so that's fine. I just can't believe I messed up on the way back. Not the way there, can I throw a bomb? I can, but I don't think I'm gonna, whoa. Well, that's not really what I wanted to do, but hey, it's what I did. Uh, and then we're just gonna jump and beat you up. Nice, that is so cool. Launch pad time, and hey, look at that, we made it all the way to the end. All secrets, that weird ticket, and of course, a zapfish. Level two completed. That was a quicker one, I think five seconds shorter than the previous level, but we got 10 bonus eggs because we had our armor. 
Okay, what a fun level. That one was great. That honestly is probably my favorite level so far, but let's figure out some other stuff. Let me check your weapon log. Okay, so you're just gonna say the same thing again? All right. Is anyone gonna tell me about this ticket thing? You got the hero duelies. You can now use the hero duelies. Press square to change weapons. You got a ticket. Try showing this to Krusty Sean in the square. It'll be worth your while. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, that's one of those tickets you can use at Krusty Sean's place. You can find his food truck parking on Ingopla Square. He sells the most amazing fried hot dog thing. Man, I could really go for a hot dog right now. <laughs> okay, so very cool. Krusty Sean is the guy, of course, who opened up his little thing, so now we know. Either way, this looks like a get rich quick scheme by some shady guy with crazy hair. I made a cool 10 million G in a year just by sitting around, ask me how. Do people really fall for this bilge? And of course, that is also another familiar character from Splatoon 1. Can't wait to meet up with him. We're definitely gonna be exploring the uh, Ingopla Square, but not right now. We're gonna be doing that later, probably after we finish the story mode, just because we can't do too much there. We need coins to really get anything done in those areas, and we can't unlock those just yet because the servers aren't open as of recording this at this very moment. I think I might actually have to wait until the game is out to do that, because there, there were a few times I could play online, like they, you know, they opened the servers up for press and everything, but only at certain times, and I wasn't available at those times, because that's just typical hashtag zebra luck. But hey, as long as I can record the story mode ahead of time, because I feel like, you know, obviously I love the story mode to this game, but oh my gosh, the, um, you know, this is just so much fun as well. Or the online mode. Okay, so that's level eight. That's not what I'm looking for. Maybe, oh man, there's just so many different places to go. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time finding a level six, but it has to be around here somewhere. And we've only done two, six, two, so one third of everything. I need to find a way to get over there. Cause I don't think I can do that from here. Uh, no, I can. Oh, but that's not how I'm supposed to do it. Then how do I get up there? Maybe up here if I go through the sponge like this and then, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. I wasn't ready for that, come on. All right, well now I might know where to go though. This is at least another area. And if it's not, then that's one less area I have to find for later, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Climb up here and this is gonna be another level. This is gonna be level nine. <laughs> Come on now, that's the last thing I'm looking for. I'm going farther and farther away from what I was originally trying to find. I guess I can climb back up here and then make this jump. And this has to be level six. This has to be level six. If not, I'm going crazy. Oh boy. Oh, I'm the worst. All right, there we go. Whoa, okay, we finally made it. This has to be level six. Level six, finally, Octo Zeppelin Invasion. Time to set sail with, of course, another Sheldon request. Let's go. Man, oh man, that took me so long to find. Oh, this is dark and spooky. What, what new item is he gonna have for us this time? So one thing we can do is replay these levels with different ones. Oh no, the Hero Charger. Okay, take this with you. It'll help you gather data. This is the Hero Charger holds ZR to charge up, then spot enemies from afar. You can also use it to swim around the bed uh, without losing your... Cool, okay, so you can swim around a bit without using your charge. I call that the storing your charge. Get good at it, and you'll be cooking in no time. But I don't wanna be cooking. I gotta stay off the hook, remember? So I can't quite hit that from this angle, but this is our sniper weapon of the game, and gosh darn, is it my worst weapon. I am so bad with this thing. This might actually be a really tough level for me, but I'm guessing I can snipe up these guys, maybe if I was at a better angle. Oh, I almost got it there. You can see the reticle went to an X. So I can also do a little splats that I'm gonna have to pay attention to, but my goal is to shoot these. Shooting them does cool things, so I gotta keep that in mind. Okay, so get rid of that. And then, I wonder if those Octo Zeppelins have a weak point. Looks like they do. It's a tentacle on the top, what do you know? So let's um, either destroy you or destroy the thing over here. Oh wait, armor, I need that. I'm not, if you don't know what to do, try taking a look around, especially upward, wink, wink. Thanks for the little tip. Got it. Whoa, we got two for one. Slick squid. Tell, you're telling me, that was awesome. So it looks like there's no secrets over here. That's good to know. Cause I feel like an area like this where we have to, you know, snipe. I don't know, it's just gonna have a lot of secrets, especially with these little things that we can just teleport to. All right, can I hit you? I can, there we go. I'm just so bad with this though. Like, of course, when things are all nonchalant here in story mode, I'm not gonna have too much of an issue. I hope not. But when everything's moving around me, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna do very well online. Of course, I'm gonna try my best to practice up this game. I really wanna not be what I am right now, which is awful. I wanna be able to play at least decent with it. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing like 100 episodes of this game, you know, like I've done with like Garden Warfare or something similar, but I definitely wanna get a good chunk far into this game as far as, you know, you guys are interested in me going. And if that's 100 episodes, if it's 200, awesome. 
you know, if the game supports that, because there is two years worth of Splatfest in this game, and then there's one year worth of guaranteed DLC. So that's really exciting. Okay, buddy. There you go. So I've actually, I think that was my first death, right? That we just got there a moment ago when I fell off that ledge. Pretty sure that was my first ever death. You know what I mean? Get this ink off of me. Boom. So that's a bummer. As you can see on the top left, I can die up to three times. Ooh, boom, got you. Oh no. Oh, no, I messed up with the balloon. I'm the worst, the worst ever of all time. I missed a balloon. Ooh, got it. Just gotta pay attention to the reticle there. Hmm, can't quite hit you, so maybe I should just wait for you. Well, that thing's coming for me, that little blob. When you're out of options, take a good look around. I will, don't worry. So I need to fill up on my ink. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this and then throw this bomb over there and, and that missed you, of course. Ooh, get that, ooh, get you. Nice, so you don't need to have a full charge to take care of some of these dudes. Let's shoot that and then turn and shoot that. See, I'm getting a little bit the hang of it. It's just doing that and getting more ink is quite tough. Here. Ooh, boom. Get over here, ooh, boom. Or maybe, should I do that? Ow, ow, that was my face. That was my face. So let me charge up. I need to fill up on ink again. And there's a few things to deal with here. So let's deal with you. And then, no, you moved. Stop moving. Stop moving. Jeez, you and your darn balloon. And then, buddy. Oh, gosh, hide. Hide, hide, hide. Oh, that could have been bad. Oh, hey, there's the thing. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on, are you kidding me? I missed that. Oh, wait, are we gonna get a checkpoint? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna restart. That stinks. Okay, so we're not doing too bad so far. Oh gosh, oh gosh, come on. Boom, I just gotta make sure not to be silly with this one. There we go, I actually haven't died a single time. I did that pretty quickly. I think this is one of those weapons where I do way better with it when I'm not trying to talk and trying to be as you know entertaining as I can muster. I mean, that's just sort of a typical Let's Play thing, you know, is that, uh. You know, motor skills are required to both talk and play at the same time. Unless, you know, you're just babbling gibberish. That's totally different, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And looks like that's everything I can get from around here. But we got, you know, the uh, metal minnow, and that's cool. Ooh, what is this? Oh, could this be our, what we're looking for? No, it's not. Oh, well, unless there's more down here. Let's check it out. I guess not. That's a little weird corridor right here. Sort of creepy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm supposed to shoot this thing right there, and I am slowly getting whoa used to this. I don't like the look of that. I don't like it either. See, we get our, we get along, me and Marie. We, we we got similar thoughts. So let me uh get over here, and and then we got a superpower right here. Oh, let's give this a shot. Oh, this was awful timing. Awful timing. Oh, but it's working. It's working. It's working. Ah, that actually worked out pretty well. Uh, well, it's gonna start shooting out more. The thing is that I did, yeah, I noticed this down here. You see this? Is this what I'm looking for in terms of secrets? Uh, okay, that was what I was supposed to do, I think. Where is this gonna bring me? Whoa, way over here? Oh, this is definitely a secret, right? Right? I would hope so. Oh, hey, there it is. How do I get up there? Um. Oh, just like this, Elio. Elio, that was actually hard to see that little block right there. But I could have used that crit if I needed to. So where's this gonna bring me? Right back over here, awesome. That was a nice little wraparound. I like it. So let's go ahead and, actually I don't even need to worry too much about this. I just need to grab that and then move over here. See, and now I'm handling this level way better. I guess I just sort of had to take a second to get used to this. Okay, so now that I have, I'm handling it. And once again, you know, this is way different than an online situation, but I can have fun. Slick Squid, thank you. So now I don't have to sweat about too much, you know, like about missing anything. I just need to survive this level. Of course, if I can get more power eggs, I'm definitely gonna get them. So let's uh, get that, hide here, and get that. That was actually a good shot right there, because that could have turned out worse. I guess there was one behind me. I didn't even see him. That was sort of scary to think about. Right, can I get both of these at the same time? I guess I can. <laughs> let's speed up you. You didn't have anything to give me for it, though. Okay, so this seems a little scary. Let me break that. Oh, this moves the launcher with me, so it's good that they just shot, because that means I have more time to get across to here, and then quickly, quickly, yeah! Oh, that's scary. That is very scary. So shoot that, shoot that, and this is starting to look really complicated. Like, what am I gonna have to do over there? Oh my gosh. I don't like the thought of it. So I'm gonna have to fill up on ink as much as I possibly can. 
Oh, look at that. There is a secret in. I was like, it feels like there's going to be a secret in. I was right. That's that fish, all right. But how are we supposed to get up there? Oh, yep, up there. Oh, maybe I was supposed to hop down here, because this actually makes a whole lot more sense. Or I guess maybe it's just sort of a bit of a fail safe if we mess up. Hmm, which is kind of them to include. They could have just said, do it your darn self. Let's get rid of you, just because one lassie is easier for me to deal with. We almost have a thousand of these uh, power eggs, which is really good. Oh my gosh, look at how complicated this is. Oh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Where am I supposed to be going? Up here? Okay, I'm going up here. Wow, that was weird. Get that, get this, come on. So there's still plenty of stuff we can grab, even though we are sort of kind of done. I can't shoot you. Um. Well, I'll just take your balloons and I'll leave because I have everything else I need. Give me that zapfish, baby! We got the active zapfish invasion. Time to set sail in less than six minutes. That's actually pretty stellar. That was definitely, I think, the most difficult level so far, but I'm sure we'll run into more. Maybe it'd be easier if we didn't have the sniper weapon to deal with. Let me check your weapon log. Okay, see so ya. Yeah, he's just gonna say more stuff that we've already heard, but that's fine. Good luck, Agent 4. Thank you. So you got the Hero Charger. You can now use the Hero Charger. Very cool. And we got ourselves another Sea Scroll. What could have happened to the two embracing? No matter how one loves, there are always different aims. Love can take a great many forms, whatever the era. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but it sounds sort of sad, even though these two characters sort of creep me out. It's hard to tell what's really going on in that picture. It's a little too muddy. So that is level six done. Oh yeah, if you want to go back to Inkopolis, where, okay, not really too worried about that. We finished level six down. We're now moving on to level seven, which of course is going to be back alley cleanup. So let's go over here. Like I said, level seven, back alley cleanup, suck it up, let's go. More weapons for us, maybe that'd be pretty cool. Ooh, okay, I like the best Texas level a lot better. We're doing the uh, hero shot again. I can really use some more data on this weapon, can use it for a bit, sure. So it's a weapon we already have. Something smells fishy and it's not my breath. I would hope so. Uh, whoa, it's the biggest squeegee I've ever seen. Oh, look at that, he's chasing them down. <laughs> go get him, go get him. So the squeegee is sort of, you know, it's not on our side, but it definitely ain't on theirs. It's an industrial sized squeegee. That sucker can clean anything. Wow, that is awesome, but also horrifying. That giant squeegee is indestructible, so let's just try to get past it. I mean, if it's in a way of any of my you know, secrets, if anything I can find, I'm gonna find a way to get past it for sure, because I want cool stuff. So this weapon's fine for me right now, especially compared to the sniper. Awesome, so we're doing okay. Oh, look, it's a baby squeegee. These guys are so cute comparatively to those menaces. Oh gosh, this is so much fun. I'm really having a lot of fun with this game so far, and hopefully you're having a lot of fun watching me. I mean, we're about like a half an hour into this video, so I would really hope if you're this far in, oh my gosh, you would be enjoying yourself. Oh, do I have to hop on top of you? Do I have to hop on top of you? Oh my, yeah, you have armor on top of you. No, we come back, come back, turn around, turn around. Hey buddy, hey buddy, turn around. Hello, I got some ink for you to clean up. He's turning around, he's making a U-turn. <laughs> okay, oh, armor for me. Oh gosh, this is scary. I don't know if I should be. Oh, I'm riding him. Okay, yeah, let's just lead him with this. <laughs> oh gosh, this is scary. Would he just go insane because there's someone on his head he can't clean? I feel bad for him. You know, there's something about those giant squeegees that's kind of totally adorable. I can't disagree. Actually, I totally agree. Except for the fact that those things are hard to hit. But you didn't say anything about that, so why would I be disagreeing with you? I don't know, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> don't go fall into your doom now. I'm pretty invested in you at this point. Aw, thank you. I'm invested in you too. Ooh, look at all these secrets. So, get some extra armor. I don't even know if we need at this point. Got that. Some extra, uh, what are they called, mega eggs or whatever they're called? I already forget. Super eggs. <laughs> we'll go ahead and grab those. That'll be 10 more for us. We broke a thousand though, there's a thousand and 10. Oh, let's get rid of that thing. Okay, I hope we haven't missed anything yet. Doesn't seem or feel like it, so I'm gonna go with my gut and say we haven't. Even though it looks like there's a lot of little areas to hide in here. So we're definitely gonna have to be careful. Oh yeah, there's a lot going on in this area. And remember, industrial squeegees react to ink. I know, I know. So let's get you. Oh, look at you, you have armor there. And... All right, I might wanna consider feeding it a big puddle of bomb ink to keep it occupied. Well, I just want its armor. Well, that was a mistake. Run, 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 run. Oh, ah, it's so scary. Are they chasing me? Oh, he's gonna get destroyed. Oh, he's definitely gonna get destroyed, right? Please tell me. Yeehaw, ride him, ride him, squid, squid kid. That is cool. So let's get up here and get rid of that. I think that's gonna help me. Now if we could get over here and, oh and look, there's even little platforms on the side. I gotta pay attention to that then. Okay, I gotta be careful of you. Uh, uh, 
He's so scary. So we checked that side. It didn't look like there was anything on those side platforms, but over here there definitely could be. Oh, oh boy. What is over here? Oh, look at this. Oh, hey. We got ourselves the sunken sea scroll. So there's that, but we have yet to find our metal minnow. I'm gonna have to hunt that down. But first I gotta be wary of you. The problem is I don't think I, I can't get up there. I'm gonna have to distract him, get on top of him, just like that. Yeah, look at me. And now just guide him over this way if we haven't missed anything else. So, cause that was down here and there's nothing on this side. So we are good. Agent four, you're my hero. We're getting more and more admiration from her and it feels so cool. There's a locked door up ahead. Okay. Let's get you guys and get that. Oh, hey, middle, middle. I can't get you. I wonder. Oh, I have to ride that dude. But it's locked. I see now. There's some stuff down there. Luckily, when it's, you know, mega eggs, I don't have to go down there and get them. I can just sort of break it and it comes to me. And that's very convenient. So I can break those. Yeah, there's more mega eggs. I can't grab those ones. So it loves to prove me wrong. Oh, I can build up this. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what I can ink and what I can't. Like it all sort of looks the same sometimes, at least in the moment of action. And I guess you just have to learn the map. You know, on story mode, you have, you know, time to take your time. What do you know? But uh, online, you just have to sort of know the map. So here's our egg, or not our egg, our key. Whee! And jump! Oh, so we weren't even supposed to ride that guy. I figured that we could ride him on top of him and ride it to the uh, metal minnow. Now it's not the job here. Looks like there's something on the other side of that door. Yeah, I can see it, loud and clear. Oh gosh, run! <laughs> oh gosh, so can we get back up there? Oh, we can't. So I don't actually need to ride you at all, I don't think. I just need to distract you for long enough. Oh gosh, go, 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 go. Oop. Oh, boy, run as fast as I can, or better yet, swim as fast as I can. Don't go in that just yet, because I got a few of those, some extra of these. Very, very cool, and we are good to gum. So we have found all the secrets I can find so far, but it looks like we got Oh, there is a zap, the zap fish in the distance, but quite a lot to go to get there. So we still have quite a few levels after this. This is level seven, right? So we have level eight, nine, and the boss fight. Yeah, these levels are gonna be long. If they're, if area three and onward are gonna be this long, we got some long levels up ahead. No, balloon, I forgot about you. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, with that being said, if you guys wanna see shorter episodes, let me know, I guess. I mean, I think that everybody's gonna enjoy these episodes where we have them a little more complete, where we do, you know, whatever fits, you know? What are we supposed to do here? Somehow get on top of this? Oh, I was supposed to use the key. Go get him, boy, I'm gonna call you George. Go get him, George. Go, my pet, do my bidding. I was talking to the squeegee. <laughs> oh, so I guess we don't have to worry about us, or, so she thought that we were thinking of, she, okay, I cannot explain that for the life of me, but she does not think of us as a pet, luckily. It's a good thing. But they have their ink everywhere, so this guy's gonna get him. And I can help out whenever I can. Oh, get him good, get him good, George, you got it. I gotta hop on George, actually. There we go. So George, go this way. Onward, my steed, destroy him, destroy him. I'm low on ink, fill up, destroy him. No, 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 this way, George. George, you're going the wrong way, buddy. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> Come on, George. Yep, you got it, you got it. George is a silly soul at times, but you know what? It's all in good faith. Wow, I can't believe I made that. Nice work, Squeechy, you did okay too, Agent Four. I mean, I know that I come second to George because he's just such a sweetheart, but hey, 1,111 mega eggs and the Zapfish, that is some pretty awesome stuff. Another great level, Area Two keeps on bringing it with the really cool level designs. So level seven done. That's gonna finish it off with that weapon. But like I've said before, we can actually do these with multiple different weapons, which is very cool. Many travelers find themselves in Neopolis Square at some point in their journey. Youth from far flung seas gather in this colorful hub of comings, goings, meetings, and farewells. And that's a new character. She's in some kind of shop. She looks very cute, I like her. But hey, there's level seven done, which means if you want to switch weapons, we know about that. All we have to do is stop hiccuping for once so I can move on to level eight, which is right on top of here, and do spinning camper, campground. Ink me out, ink me in. Very cool. So of course we are familiar with campground levels from of course, we're doing the hero shot again. Weird. Oh, I love this song. This feels like a Donkey Kong Country or something. Let's go. But of course there were some campground levels in the original Splatoon as DLC. I can't wait to see some of the levels in this game online because they're gonna be great. 
That's sort of the thing about this game though, is that some of the themes for levels have sort of stayed the same, but the, the maps themselves have changed. Like the museum level is different here. Stay sharp though, they'll roll back up on their own after a bit. Yeah, that thing we just shot, I just sort of mindlessly did that. <laughs> I have a problem of not doing that in this game. I don't know what it is, but I'm just sort of go, 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 and I just want to talk about so much it's hard to get to it all. But I just sort of talk over things. Sorry. Let's go ahead and do that. I see you down here, sirs. Boom, boom. And there's nothing over there, right? Baddies below. Don't worry, I got him. So what about this right here? Some extra stuff there. Oh, I bet you, yeah. We can hit this thing, this extender. This might actually be quite difficult. Whoop. Hold on, not 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 getting over that ledge, but this right here, because apparently this times out at some point. Maybe it's better that I fall then, because I wouldn't want it coming out from under me while I'm not ready for it. Because that just sort of seems spooky. I gotta pay attention and stay on these things for as little as possible. But hey, you leave it alone. Oh, I gotta get rid of you. I got gotta get gotta get rid of you. Okay, so there is a prize down there. And what was that? Oh, hey, it's armor. Okay, not something super important, but worth grabbing because you never know when I'm gonna take an extra hit that I didn't need to take because, you know, I'm pretty bad at the game. So there we go, we made it that time. So, okay, checkpoint, nice. Don't get cooked, our catchphrase is better. <laughs> I mean, it is better. Your catchphrase still exists, it's just the Squid Sisters are taking a little hiatus, right? Whoa, wait a minute, invisible box? Oh, no. I don't like invisible box. That doesn't sound fun. I guess our only signifier was that it was in purple ink. Oh, look at you guys. So if we we need to make sure we eliminate as much enemy ink as possible because there could be a secret within. I don't like that. Don't tell me that's how I'm gonna end up losing stuff because that could definitely happen. Let's go vertical. All right, well, let's uh, try to throw this there. Actually, it wasn't too bad of a throw. It fell at the last second though. Come on, come on. How do I get you? Jeez. That was an awkward situation, but I think I gotta hop down there. Here, oh man, that hit me right in the face. What is this? This is, hey, the metal minimum. So there's one non-invisible thing that I have found. You know, I can keep calm about that. Hey, I, I just wanted to get up. Game, come on, ready? Jump, yeah, okay. Then get up here as well, and then this way. Keep your head in the game. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, good. Nice work, Agent 4. Whoa, look at this, it's a slide. And actually, this is actually quite difficult. I gotta be careful. Come on, come on. Get these two, throw that, wait, fill my ink. Ah, ah, whoa, whoa, okay. I threw the bomb. It's not gonna land on you. Okay, land on one of them, which is good. <laughs> gosh, that is awful. I don't like how that works. Here, get rid of you and jump. Oh my gosh, that is so stressful. I don't like how stressful that is, but there's this part completed. Let me look around. Almost, you know, jumped in without checking. Okay. Oh, how much you want to bet that's it? That's a lot of ink furlers. Yep, that's what these are called, right? Ink furlers. Can only imagine, or she wouldn't have called them that. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be complicated. This is gonna be real gosh darn complicated. Go, 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 go. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Fill up here, and then run, 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 run. Jump. Yeah. And that was the sunken sea scroll. Awesome. Whoa. This one is at a big diagonal. This is so scary. I don't know how much I like it, but we found the secrets for this level, which is great, great, great. Another level that has a lot of fun mechanics. You make this look easy. Wouldn't say that much, but I am having fun doing it. So I hope we make it look fun. I'm pretty sure I just saw the zap fish. Um, did you? Okay, I'll take you over. Yeah, there it is, glowing in the distance. I mean, really, do they see through my eyes, or is there, like, do they have like any kind of goggle vision? These guys look like they're making it quite difficult because they're all shielded up. So I think I gotta make my way around like this. Ooh, this is definitely what I gotta do. I gotta move it quick though because. Oh, look at that, look at that, wow, that's how you do it, not much farther. Cool stuff, but we got a couple more. Oh, I remember these things. It's a can and get on and hold ZL. Oh gosh, this is weird. This is not like how it was in the original game, I don't think. Wow, it is so hard to land this. There we go. Get this, and then get you guys way over there if I can, the distance shot. Going for distance, who needs the sniper weapon? Oh, no, 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 you get back here. You get back here. Oh, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh, going up. Boom, nice, we got another Zapfish. That level was pretty short. That was a less than five minute one. Pretty good. I'm having a lot of fun with this. 
So what do we have now? One more level left to go. We're making our way faster the second half through. So we got more information, another page out of here. And Capolis holds its famous card game tournament once a year. This year, first time entrant Joe Fonzo appeared on the scene and promptly set about decimating the competition. He walked away with the first place trophy. What, is there gonna be like a card game spinoff of Splatoon now? Is it gonna be like Hearthstone or like the Witcher 3's card game? Whatever that went. If you want to upgrade your weapons, check out the Ammonites Enhancer Fire. We're fine, we're fine. So we do have one more level left to go, which is gonna be level nine before we do the boss fight. Oh no. This had a picture of an Octoling, didn't it? Or are these Octarians? These are Octolings. So the uh, other, the normal oct oct octopus guys that we're attacking are Octarians, and these gals are Octolings. Octolings strike, riot in the reef. Oh no. Okay, Octolings! Oh gosh, so they're back. Wait, that's a mini Zapfish. Apparently, eight mini Zapfish combined have the power output of one normal Zapfish. We're gonna have to get eight of them. Those pillars of light recover the mini Zapfish. So this is just basically like an online round right now. Oh gosh, oh gosh, but it's one versus a bunch, huh? Or is there just one to take out? Did we just win? Just gotta just gather the Zapfish now. No, there's another one. Hello, you're filling up the turf. Stop, this ain't no turf war, this is Zapfish war. Imagine they turn this into a little game mode. That'd be so cool. First team to get eight Zapfish wins. So I gotta be careful because we actually do have secrets to find in this area as well. So I gotta hold my own because I'm sure that they're just gonna keep coming. Unless there this is just only a set amount of them. And then once I get them out of my hair, you know that's done. And there's gonna be invisible blocks and Octoling is defending them. I don't like that. And there's another one. You had some uh, eggs in you. So let's get this guy right here. And, and I, I think that I have a feeling that if we collect all the Zapfish, it's gonna end the level. So I need to make sure I get the secrets first, just in case. Because that just sort of seems like a Nintendo thing to do. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but let's get across to here. No, okay. Oh, power up, a bomb special. So let's get you. I haven't found any of them yet, but I still already have five to go. So we're not super far into it. So what's up here? Um, Anything? I guess not, huh? Uh, unless there's gonna be secrets. Oh, hey, look at this, little balloons. Which is cool, but not really all that helpful. So you're over here trying to fire at me and horribly missing, but I'm not really doing too much better because I can't ink this. So let's wait here and then destroy it, destroy it. Whoa, you are circling around me, lady. I don't like that. Whoa, remember you can destroy those splash walls. I would love to. Get that out of here. So what is up here? Wait, wait, can I stand on this? Oh, I can. More balloons, which is fun. But I need to find the secrets. Oh, there's one over there I missed, and another zapfish. So I just need to make sure I leave one zapfish left to collect. And I, but beyond that, I just gotta be super duper diligent. Hey lady, get out of here. So I really do hope that they let you play as Octolings in this game, because that was sort of a big rumor, right? Is that in the original Splatoon, everybody wanted to play as an Octoling, and there was a big rumor that once you beat the game, you can maybe play as an Octoling, you can unlock it, and unfortunately it ended up not being true, but that sounded so cool and everyone was so excited for that. So hopefully they took feedback and now you can play as Noctiling because they look very similar. And beyond that, you can just make them play the same as, you know, Squid Kids. You know, I don't see why there has to be any change besides cosmetic. Man, I cannot wait to customize my character. There's not too much customization I can do right now because I don't have any coins, but I can't wait to like customize my character's hair because that's not something I can I, I could do in the original Splatoon. And that was a big thing I wanted was to be able to customize the hair. And of course, the shoe and clothing customization has always been so much fun. I will have a Splatfest shirt to access, or maybe I won't. Because the, the information I don't think, like I don't think the save file from the, the Splatfest will try, carry over. So well, will I get? My, I, I mean, I, I guess it's fun to spoil it because you guys should have already seen that video. Will I get my ice cream shirt? I guess I'll find out at some point because I chose ice cream. All right, you're a pain in the booty right now. So we've only gotten five out of the eight of the Zapfish. Luckily there's no timer. Like that would make this so much worse because I have no idea where what I'm looking for is. Like I still haven't found either of the collectibles and that's really starting to worry me. But we haven't checked under the bridge. There has to be something around here. Ooh. Hey, armor, that's great. The, the ink is deeper than it looks, you're telling me. Ooh, like you're not even swimming in it. I haven't seen, like you know what would be cool if Kelly Marie would actually like, appear in the game and actually battle or something, because we've never seen them in action. We've only seen them on stage. And of course, you know, during the Inkopolis news. And that's six, we're making good pace, which is great, but it's also unsettling because I have not found the secret. So let's fill this up, throw this here. And what is this gonna be? Man, this thing takes a beating. There we go, that is just more eggs. That's not good. Am I missing it somewhere? 
And maybe there's something up here because well, what what else is the purpose of this thing up here? Get that and then swim up here and oh. Hey, we found the Sunken Sea Scroll. Okay, great start. Well, not great start, but great continuation. <laughs> okay, get you, get you, get you. Nice. And you are the power-up that I don't need. Shouldn't have taken that. I just gotta be careful because I don't know where that minnow is gonna be, the metal minnow. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh gosh, I'm in a bit of a situation. You, I think, are especially powerful because you have like kelp coming out of your hair. And I think that means something. Let's fill up and get some of these, because why not? Because I'm over a thousand now. I need to get a bit more. Oh, this is where their spawn is. So let's uh, fill up and like throw, oh, hey! And there's the metal metal, so we actually found all the secrets, nice! So let's get across to here. Uh, Nice, 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 nice. And then beat up you, beat up you, beat up you, beat up you. Oh, fill up again. Nice, so there is one left to get, and I think I know where to, yeah, we already saw it, I think. So I can maybe even dodge you guys. Ouch, that hurt. Where's this last one? I think I saw one, right? Hmm, oh, it's right there. Okay, so let me go ahead and use my superpower and just start bombs away, bombs away. There we go, and let's go ahead and get it the last, uh, I was gonna call it metal metal, but Zapfish, very cool. Only took me five minutes, it felt way longer than that. I am just so glad we got all of the secrets, my gosh. A lot of levels, but now we get to tackle the boss fight, which is great, but Octoling Strike Ride in the Reef is now complete, and we get ourselves, of course, another page in the thing, but first, we gotta see the cool animation of the boss door rising. Net the freshest gear around, get the abilities you've always dreamed about, orders will be fulfilled by that weird kid by the spiky hair. Interested? Send inquiries to Annie. Oh, isn't Annie the girl with the fish in her hair? Interesting. Sorry, oh, I didn't, no, I did not wanna go back in. Gosh darn it. Okay, so for real this time, oh, I messed that jump up. I could have probably made it, but we just gotta go and do the boss fight, which should just be down here. I don't have to do any crazy jumps up to anywhere. Just go over here, and what is this gonna be? The showdown, Fear the Octo Samurai. Oh boy, this does not sound like it's gonna be easy. Okay, anybody here? I could really use some more data on this weapon. Can you use it for a bit? Sure. I'm a little scared of how ominous this is. Oh no, it's gonna be a deja vu. This horrible tentacle just comes out. It makes me feel so bad for the Zapfish. Like, this must be traumatizing. He's just drowning under there. Oh gosh. Splash with honor, Octo Samurai, that entrance. I just gotta be quiet for it. Which is uncommon for me. Smoke this clown, Agent 4, for the honor of your family or something. Oh, because he's a samurai. But I just love the entrance to the bosses in this game. It is so intense. Okay, go, 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 go. Just like that. Then move. Move, move, move! Whoa, okay, got it. Come on. I just gotta keep moving, because I don't think he's opening any weaknesses just yet. Because it's all about the tentacle. All these bosses have a tentacle. Whoa, look at him! I thought it was a samurai, not a, a cool guy with a motorcycle. Oh, you know what? Maybe I do have to cover you in ink. Okay, watch out, watch out. He's slamming. So he has his own roller. It's a battle of the rollers here, even though he sort of uses it like a sword. So I guess this is what a samurai is like in Splatoon land or Splatoon universe. He's revving up. Move! I'm trying. So he's gonna charge for me no matter what! Oh, I got hit with the armor. Okay. Luckily, I have the armor though. So I'm low on ink, so I gotta be careful. Ooh, you almost got me there. Just like that. And then, you're covered in ink, which means you gotta be almost done for it. Oh geez, you're hopping way over. Fill that up, throw that way over there, right in front of you. Oh, okay. I, I feel like I'm doing the right thing. I'm not really sure, yeah, that did it. Wait, did we get him for good? No way, whoa, okay. The tentacle agent four, well on it, I'm going, I'm going, boom, nice. There's one out of three, so we are not quite done. Wow, this battle area looks so cool with all the ink just splattered everywhere. Okay. So here he is again. He's a cool looking boss though. I really like the look of him. He's got like an intense look to him. I love the, the clean colors in this game. Like he just has like a simple color design and that's really cool. So, oh, Carp, this sucker's not messing around. All right, oh, go, 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 go. Oop. Oop. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh gosh, she keeps moving. Quick agent four dodge, I'm trying! I gotta stop reading her text because it's not making it easier for me to dodge. Oh, I gotta probably, whoa! Spin attack, his eyes lit up before he did that, so I gotta keep an, keep an ear up for that. 
because he, um, apparently he, his eyes lit up. So let me throw that over there and he's revving up. Okay, okay, at least they let me know about the horrible things that are coming my way. I just gotta roll up here and just sort of do this as much as I can. So let's throw that over there. Hold on, a little bit more. Oh, that didn't get you at all. This is really tough. This is really, really tough. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Go, no. Come on, come on. No, come back, come back, I miss you. Here comes that chum attack again. Whoa! I don't like it. So he's gonna probably try for a spin soon, so I gotta be really careful of that. Oh man, we are really bringing it to him right now. All right, back it up a little bit. There it is! Whoa! Okay, get the bomb. Nice, oh he is covered, he is almost done for. And this is the second to last time we gotta do this, so. I mean, the second time in general that we've done it. Only three times we're gonna do it in total. Bring the pain! I'll bring the paint. <laughs> I mean, I guess they really haven't acknowledged paint in this world. Like, this is not paint, it's ink, so is there any such thing as paint? I don't know. I mean, paint, I guess, would be something that isn't washed off as easily. Either way, we got one more shot at this guy. We haven't died yet. We haven't died at a single boss, but I don't wanna jinx it. He is not looking happy. What in the world are you doing? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Get ready, looks like he's planning something nasty. All right, whoa, look at him. Oh my gosh, dude, calm down. Oh, that was it, that was it. So let's get over here. He's charging up for more shots of that, though. It's like the, the Rolinium. Knocked up a samurai on a unicycle. Something funny about that. Oh no, he's turning, he's turning, he ain't done. Oh my gosh. All right, go for him, go for him, go for him, go for him. Oh, I gotta back it up, because he's starting to, yeah, there he goes, he's gonna spin. Let me go ahead and get my bomb again. And then, uh, oh, I was about to throw it too, I'm glad I didn't. He come, here, here he comes with the vertical swing. So let me get that over to him, and then just run. Yep, just like that, just like that. Oh, I'm low on ink. Oh, this guy is so scary. Like, they got some really menacing boss fights so far, even if it is against a toaster or a really fat unicycle rider, for whatever reason. You know, like, whatever. They, they can live the life they want to live, I'm not judging. It's just very interesting for boss choices. I like it. It's memorable. And there's nothing better than a memorable boss fight. That guy just doesn't quit. You're telling me. I'm the guy fighting him. Oh boy, come on, come on. No, 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 okay, how did I survive that? Holy cow, this guy really does not know the word quit, which is an admiral trait, I gotta say. Come on, he's almost down. Almost down, oh, but all I am too. Oh, come on, come on. No, don't run. Don't you run from me, sir. Oh jeez, oh jeez, there we go. So he's about to throw his thing again. He's just about to charge up that thing. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, you jerk. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go. Yes, we got him. Come on, come on. Yes. Now I jump for and I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh my gosh, what a gauntlet. A gauntlet of a boss fight right there. But we got him, and we got ourselves yet another zap fish. The poor guy's just bouncing up, and now he's like, no, I can't ride my motorcycle anymore. Or is the motorcycle, if it's a, is it still a motorcycle if it's still a unicycle? I mean, yeah, because cycle stands for we wheels and motor stands for motor. But hey, there we go. Zapfish gotten four minutes and 42 seconds, not too bad. I just love how we cuddle with him. This is so cute. Wow, that was kind of insane. Great work, Asian Four. Maybe it's just me, but the Octarian bases feel like they've been given a feminine touch. Maybe they got a new de decorator? Oh no. Relia, no. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? This radio is on the fritz. I swear I just changed the batteries in this thing. Actually, there's likely radio in interference in Octo Canyon. All the junk around there is probably giving off electrostatic. See, a lot of consumer products use a frequency called C pod band. Microwave ovens and pri are prime culprits. In fact, my micro. <laughs> You're breaking off, Sheldon. <laughs> I'm going to going. I'm going through a tunnel in an elevator. <laughs> Oh, man, she is desperate to get away from one. He starts talking nerd. So there we go, showdown is completed. We defeated the Octo Samurai. There was a lot of reason to fear him as well, but we unlocked Area 3, which of course we will tackle in the next episode of Splatoon 2, but we're not gonna worry about that for right now, because of course, we gotta get the balloons around here, see if we can't find ourselves another sea scroll. Well, I guess the great Zapfish wasn't here, maybe in the next area? I would hope so, but you never know. So let's get the dualies out, because I honestly think we can handle these a lot better, so. Whoa, where are you going? You're going over here. Okay, now you're going over here. Got him. Oh, now you're way over here. Oh gosh, I gotta be quick with this. Gotta be quick, go, go, go. Is it done? Was that not all of them? No, those, uh, no, okay. For a second I thought that it got away, but not quite. No, there they go. Gosh darn it, I can never do it on the first try, can I? 
Well, we can get this on our way down. Hey, look at me being cool. So where is it? Has it come back yet? Oh, there it is. Boom. Then I gotta go like, boom. Go back over here, boom, boom. Nice, nice, nice. Boom, boom, boom. And then up here, can't forget about this. Get you, and then you, and then, whoa, we're going over here. All right, big jump. Go up here, and then, are you the last one? Why am I not going up? What the heck just happened? What? I like gave up, I was pressing the button to turn into squid, and just nothing happened. Oh, come on. Okay, come on. Boom, and that was the Sunken Sea Scroll one. Always those difficult ones, of course. So that's gonna be another sticker. It looks like there's a sticker that represents each area that we go to, which is actually really cool. I like that a lot. So there is another sticker done. And I think the rest are, of course, just going to be different, you know, kind of orange super eggs, but that's not, you know, to me, we shouldn't do it. Oh, hello, Marie. Press X and then, okay, yeah, I know. I thought you were gonna say something interesting. I sure, sure hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not, don't worry. If I was, I would've quit a long time ago. So what is going on over here? There's a blue one right here. This one looks ominous. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's one of these ones that splits into multiple. Last time this just gave us, oh, yeah, just those. Are there any else around here that we missed maybe? Oh, oh, what is this? Hey, another metal metal. Oh, that's right, there's one of these per level as well. So now we have 13 of those in total. So let me get up here and uh, where there's some other balloons. It looks like there's some more over here. I wanna try to get as many as I can. Got it. I thought I was gonna fall to my doom. Not quite. But I think we just about found all of them. Except for that one. I'll look around for any more. Oh, what is this? Hey, another ticket for that place. We'll probably not do that until we're done the story mode, but it's cool to get more. I really think that's all of it now. So that's gonna be finishing it up area two for now. Either way, we have enough to upgrade something, so we might as well. We have all of, the, of course, the metal minnows, and we can even upgrade these, which is just like, geez, that's all so expensive. How are we gonna ever have the, the money to expand all these past level one? Either way, I think we should have definitely upgraded our ink. Let's go ahead, upgrade to the next level. Ink tank increases your ink tank capacity, allowing you to use lots of ink. And since we haven't already, there's level two. Maybe we should go ahead and unlock our first bomb. Actually, we do not have enough. So all of what we've earned so far in the first two episodes, already like that's all we can spend for right now. But hopefully soon that can change. We spent some of our metal minnows, metal minnows. And we also, of course, spent most of our power eggs. So let's move on to area three now, which I think actually like the teleport to sector two and then get to Sector 3, because we haven't gone to Sector 3 yet, so let's go and do that. Of course, it's not Suction Cup Lookout. That's what we did in the last episode. Make sure you go ahead and check out the first two episodes if you haven't already. We've been steaming through the game. It has been so much fun, but gosh darn, can it be difficult at times, especially since we are getting all the secrets and collectibles. So hopefully, if there's anybody following alone and along at home, you are getting some assistance through these videos. If you're looking for a walkthrough, hopefully this is where you found it. Beaker's Depot. This sounds like it could be cool. Oh man, it looks sort of scary though. But here we are, Beaker's Depot, and it has more of those sniping things. I might actually have to play the sniping weapon a lot more here, which will not be fun for me. But hey, let's go ahead and try to hunt down our first area. So I can stand on this and bring myself over here. Uh, okay, here really quickly, let me change my weapon. Just like that, boom, and get over here. I'm not gonna worry about the collectibles too much because I'll be able to get those later at the end of the episode. But for now, let's check this out. Is this gonna be level, we need level 10. Uh, Level 13, so this is not a good start. That is not level, well, the, the level we need, really. Um, I can get back through here, though. That's a little nice shortcut. There we go, big jump. Nice, okay, so at least we're finding out where we can go. Maybe not exactly where we're supposed to go, but hey. Sometimes you just gotta do that. Can I get up there from here? I mean, whoa, yeah I can, okay, look at me. <laughs> Making those dangerous jumps. What is this? White ink. Uh, Maybe throw some black ink too. It would be zebra ink, that'd be really exciting. It's level 11, which is great, but not the level I'm looking for. They really like making it confusing. I don't understand why it's just not shown in a linear order. Is there a level up there on that platform? I don't think so. And there's so many different places to go. I might just have to scour around. Even though it is fun to explore this place, so I don't mind doing it with you guys. Okay, who's who's doing that? You little stinker. Maybe I need to, oh, that thing is going all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. And there's another level up here, it looks like. Don't wanna explode that, actually. Once again, I wanna get this stuff at the end of today's video. 
because we are finding a whole bunch of information out through the Sea Scrolls, and that has been a lot of fun. But let's go ahead and destroy this. Come on, one more, one more, two more, three more. Yeah, 10, here we go, Octo Seeker Shakedown, a Midnight Stroll, let's go. Finally, oh man. Ooh, it really is a Midnight Stroll, or at least according to the screen emulation we got going around here. They want us to make us think we're in space. Okay, take this with you, it'll help me gather some practical battle data. Hero Slosher? Say hello to a simple weapon with a fantastic profit margin, the Hero Slosher. It's just a bucket. <laughs> Fling it with a ZR. You can even slash over walls. Once you get the aim down, you'll be sloshing your enemies in no time. This was not in the original Splatoon. This is really weird, but I like it. It's a cool kind of weird. And that's my favorite kind of cool and my favorite kind of weird. All right, so I guess we're doing this. Talk about mood lighting. This place is creeptastic. But not zebra towns. Those are two different things. Okay, so this is really cool. I like this. We can splat the tree. The tree's gonna regret being a tree once we're done with them. Okay, I'm on this way. I love the lava lamps everywhere. It's a whole party too. Octo seeker spotted. Don't let them find you, Agent Foreign. Whoa, look at them partying up there. Wow, what in the world is that thing? I think they had. I don't know if they had that in the original Splatoon. Like there was something similar like that where it was like floating overhead and it could get you. Oh man, I don't I don't like how creepy this is. Like this is really creepy. So if I hide like this, they can't find me, right? That is exactly right. So I just need to hide like that and then go, go, go. Whoop, okay, I gotta hide. Did they find me? They have not. Oh my gosh, it's like stealth. It's like a little stealth mission. This is so cool, but so scary. Get a bunch of those and I'm gonna have to be on, you know, a high alert. High alert is what I gotta be on because I could miss a secret at any turn and that's not what I want. It shouldn't be able to spot you up here. I would hope not. That'd be a little scary, because that means it's capable of more than I gave it credit for. Man, this place is so cool. Every area has blown me away with how cool it is. I feel like they've been a lot more out there. Like in the first game, they would sort of follow a theme with each one, I think. Like I'm, I'm trying to remember the original Splatoon, but it was two years ago since I've last played it. I haven't played it since I you know, made videos on it, so it's just hard to remember. Either way, we are going this way. I think I can hear it wrapping around. I can. Uh, Wow, I love how easy it is to splat these Octolings like this, so it's actually not bad. All right, a locked vault, no, no! Run, 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 get over here! Okay, oh gosh, this is horrifying! Oh gosh, he's slamming down. Man, you are not pleasant. Here, low on ink, low on ink, low on ink. Throw that over there. Oh gosh, I'm going back this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I just need a second to calm down. Oh my gosh, there is a locked tank here. We don't have to worry about too much uh, as long as I take care of all the enemies. So there's the key. Let's get back over here and, and uh, nice. Okay, so we got him. Oh, and there's some sponges here. I hope I can hide on these properly because this, this thing's coming over. Uh, horrifying, absolutely horrifying. It seems like even if I move around on the ink, that's fine. Okay, that's good to know. So now I can get over here. I don't think I'm missing anything, no. Uh, open this up and get the heck out of here. Oh boy! <laughs> we passed the Zapdos show, which is pretty cool. Just hope I didn't miss anything. And I hope I didn't pass up any awesome secrets. Look, look at this. this. What a great view. There's destroyed stuff everywhere, but it's such a cool view in the lighting. Man, these levels are great. And the music has been great. Like everything is just Splatoon Plus, you know? Watch your step, I'm trying. Because just like everything is just so cool and dude, like, in the original game, everything was already so cool. So the fact that they just, they were like, okay, Splatoon 1 was cool. Let's just do that, but make everything even cooler. A balloon fish floating in the sky. She likes making songs about everything. Hopefully if she does find Kelly again, that means that, you know, they can make like a whole new album. Oh gosh, nice, okay. So let's get across to here because there is just more eggs. I'm getting a little concerned. We have yet to find ourselves, whoop, up. Any kind of secret item, and that ain't no good. Nothing down there. So it looks like we're definitely uh, breaking this stuff open. This is cool, I love this so much. It also gives me like a Super Mario Galaxy feel, just because of how the levels are just sort of this open space, and we're just sort of on little platforms. Instead of planets, we're on little platforms. Ooh, that's all I see around here, which is really concerning me. But maybe these levels are just getting really long. I also haven't seen how many zapfish we need for this area. Is it gonna be six more like area two? What are you pointing down for? So this is pointing down. I don't like that. Man, these Octo Seekers are doing something. Don't know what. Okay. Get you, get that. Oh, hide here. 
Man, I do not know how we didn't get spotted by you. It's sinking, it's sinking, it's a sinking ship. Get you. Cause he's just looping around right now and I can't get up these. That's okay. Let me get around like this. Whoa, no, I didn't want to fall off, gosh darn it. That was a really dumb death, death, death not depth. It is quite the depth to fall. And it's also sort of like a sea joke, you know, haha, <laughs> depth of the sea. But uh, I wanted to say I was a really dumb death because I shouldn't have died that way. Get Yoon, and then I guess that's it for over here. I still haven't found either of the secrets. I hope they're not like on top of him. Cause look at, there's balloons up here. No, you didn't, you didn't find me. You didn't find me, okay, fine, I'm just gonna leave. Oh, I almost fell. Can you still get me from, whoa. Whoa, buddy, that's not pleasant. I don't know how you get those balloons up there, but it's actually making me really concerned that I ended up missing something. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Go like that, and then move. Oh, man. Yeah, we can totally, are we supposed to get on top of you here? We are supposed to get on top of them here. Oh, wait, wait, move, move, move! Ow, that hurt. No, 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 no. So we are supposed to get him to slam down, but not there. Come on now. Go ahead, slam down. Do your worst, man. Do your worst. And then I can, maybe I'm not supposed to slam down or get on top of him, but there has to be something, right? No? No, there isn't. So what do I do here? Um, No, I do have to ride him, for sure. Hoop. Oh, this is scary. I do not want to get hit by these propellers. Can I like ink these? Make it a little bit easier? Oh, did that hurt? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let me just cover this whole thing in ink so it can be nice and ready for this jump because he's gonna turn. So if I do that and then, yep, get ready, go. So here's another checkpoint. Man, I'm really getting concerned. We haven't found any of them. Uh, yep. Ha ha, well I got you a little bit, didn't get you all the way. I love the reach on this thing. It's much farther than I was expecting it to be. Are you gonna turn and get that thing? Yeah, I thought so, buddy. Nothing over here, and one thing I gotta be wary of, once again, is invisible crates. Forgot that, you know, those are a thing. We ran into those in the last episode, and that was not a fun tidying, is the idea of invisible crates. Okay, so I think I have some leeway to hide here for just a couple seconds, and then boom, that is just some extra of that. I hope I wasn't supposed to go up there. I was, wasn't I? There's something up there. There's something up there. I really hope that means, oh gosh, and there's nowhere to hide here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That was what I was supposed to do. But maybe I could, man, I don't know. I think that I need to die. Unless I can somehow make my way up you, which I really don't think I can. I think I need to die because I think that's what I was supposed to do. I messed it up. So let me just fall off the edge and see if those crates respawn in. Oh no. Because I think I was supposed to climb up those crates is the idea. And I hope the crates are still there. And, like I hope it doesn't undo the crates because that's gonna drive me nuts. Right, let's get rid of you if I can. Just sneak up on you like that. You're gonna turn around or not, thanks. Gotcha. And then you're still over here, buddy. I don't like that. Gotcha. Oh, please let the crates still be there. They are. The problem, is that, is that really gonna help me get up there? And it's, I don't know, it's hard to tell. I'm gonna hide right here for now. There ha that has to be what I do though. You can tell that there's something up there. And... Oh, I don't know if I can. Oh. Like just hit one and not the other. Maybe I'm just fooling myself here and this isn't what I'm supposed to do. Uh, oh no. Here, let me just take this. I don't know, maybe I'm getting, no but, no, there was something over there though. For sure, I did something wrong. I definitely did, and I gotta redo it. Oh, so I can just put that on the side of them. That wasn't working before. So I can ink these dudes, which actually will change things up majorly for me. I just need him to slam down again then. I want me to fill up on ink. So you go ahead, get mad. Get mad, dude, go ahead. I just can't do it where his screen is facing. So. Let's go ahead and move like that and try not to mess up too much. Get up here, there we go, that was good. Now, we can't get on top of this pillar still, but that's fine, because we're at least getting this stuff, so I guess I'll just start back from here, because I was really clueless of how to manage these guys before, and I thought that they wouldn't be anything more than just another target to run away from, but clearly that's not the case. They're a very active part of this level, and that's both you know cool and treacherous. Nothing back there, right? Nope, okay. 
So when it comes to you, buddy. Well, yeah, okay, so I'm not missing anything so far. I could be, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. There's a lot of secrets in this level, though, for stuff that you end up not even really getting too much from. Here, let's get across to here, and, and where are you slamming around? You're over there, now. just getting so mad at me. I'm just gonna fill this all up as much as I can. And then just get on, t I actually don't need to get on, no, I do, I remember now. So let's go ahead and splat that stuff so I don't have to worry about it. But I guess this is a part of the level where it's supposed to teach you that you can get on top of it even if you didn't think you could, like me, because I was a total dingus. Huh. So now we're back here. And I think I'll be able to do it now. I, I was being, I guess, quite silly before. All right, there you go, get rid of you. These guys can be quite the pain in the rumpus. <laughs> That's really the only way I can think about saying it. So let's take out as much of I, as I can. And I also have to be extremely careful because this level does not, I mean, that's, yeah, I guess it, this area doesn't have too much of a place to hide. So I really need to set you off right here. And why aren't you getting set off? He like doesn't care. Come on, get mad, get mad, get mad. Come on, dude. You won't, you won't get mad. Oh, there he goes. I don't know if he's just like dozing off up there. Doesn't seem to be very good at his job. Come on, move. I just can't do it from this angle, it's a problem. I definitely can't do it from this angle. So what I need to do is I gotta make him mad and then try to slam on him, or you try to ink him. But please don't do exactly what you just did, dude. Oh man, luckily I'm getting some ink on him, so that's helping, but like, oh man, this is so treacherous. Go up, go up, go up. Don't get stuck on the ventilator thing. So there's our ticket. We did all that for our ticket. It wasn't even the sunken sea scroll, but I wouldn't know, because I couldn't see from that angle. So at least we got that. You know, it's something. I need to, I, I really want to get every secret that level has. I want it to, you know, be as complete as possible. But this means, is that the Zapfish? Oh, that's not the Zapfish. Uh, looks like there's an Octo's secret guarding a Zapfish. No, that's the Zapfish, really? No, there's no way, because I still haven't found the what's it called. And yeah, we're like 20 plus minutes into this video, and I haven't found either the, the metal minnow or the what's it called. What is this gonna be? There's the metal minnow, which means you must have the what's it called on top of you. Come on, come on, move back here. I gotta, oh, this is gonna be so difficult. This is gonna be so difficult, but I think I, ne I know what I need to do. I just need to distract him as much as possible, and then he's gonna slam. Go like, why didn't that ever actually splat the side of him? Like, that's sort of bogus. Uh, yep, get mad, get mad. You're gonna slam right there. The problem is that you changed your trajectory. Like, you weren't facing that way before. What, why, this is like a really bad introduction to this area. This area is super frustrating so far if it's gonna be anything close to this. I don't know, this one's just crazy. Wait a minute. What is that down there? Finally, these arrows that were leading me on before to point down to nothing have something. No, 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 no. That guy, I don't know who that was. Oh, we found it. Oh my gosh, it took me so long to find. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so this time for real, I got everything. What a challenging level. That has been the toughest one so far. But we did it in under seven minutes. Yay. Man, I am not looking forward to some of these other levels that they're gonna be that tough, but at least we get to try the bucket. That's really, really cool. Let me check your weapon log. Yep, they're just coming through. So we know about this. But that's a really cool weapon. That actually might be one of my favorite new weapons so far. I mean, the SWAT toys are really cool. But we got the Hero Slosher. You can now choose or use the Hero Slosher. Press plus to change weapons. And then, of course, we got another ticket for Krusty Sean. And more importantly, here is our entry. There is a new fish in the scene. Come check out the show. The most entertaining destination in Encompass is now open. What is the show, then? Is it like some kind of show? I guess the show. Oh, maybe it's the arcade thing. Nice work, Agent Four. Just five more Zapfish and that boss kettle will pop open. Five, or four more, or no, five more, okay. So yeah, it is six per area now. So the first area didn't have as much, but we can go to level 11, which is way over yonder, and that'll be the floating garden, garden chasing the heartache. Let's go. Okay, I could really use more data on the hero dualies, that's good. I'm glad to try these out. Now this, you know, any level where I can play the hero dualies probably ain't gonna be too bad, Man, this is actually looking really complicated. We got 
a weird jelly thing here. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I guess whatever the Octarians make. Jelly goop. Maybe that's how they make their profits to afford this old place. Boom. Oh, that was good. So I'm just gonna try to be as diligent as possible. Try to look under just about everything. But this is more of like the camp style level again. Whoa, look at you, a tentacook after it. You are a quick one, huh? All right. Well, I'll try to chase after you. You just make like one little line. You are so quick, you're speedy. And you won't stop. Oh, he's like, he's gliding. Oh, that is so cool. All right, well, I'll do what I can to get you. Well, you're stuck now. You're just in a little corner, huh? Gotcha. So you got the key. Nice. Well, before we head off with that, let me look around, because I didn't actually take it too much time to look around. It doesn't look like there's too much to look around that, but it's always good to make sure. All right, let's go. <laughs> um, Yeah, I hope there's nothing under there or something. Doesn't look like it. We get a good view of it, so we can restart early. Running just makes you want to chase me. Wait, running just makes me want to chase you more, you know. This is just a spot to follow up with your bombs. Yes, it is, so let's throw that over there. Is there more than one of them? No, I think there's just another Octarian behind that. The Tentacooks are weird, though. These are definitely new enemies. They move so quick. They're sort of cute, though. Hmm. All right, well, I'll throw the bomb over there. Nice, that was a good throw right there. Got him, you're telling me. So can I bounce off of this? No, it's just some weird net. I guess instead of a grating, it's a net. Nothing like over there. All right, so you're gonna be trying to run all over the place, and my job is just try to sneak it up. Onion. I can't speak straight. I'm like mentally flabbergasted from the previous level. I'm just trying to be really diligent now. Like super diligent. Hopefully not annoyingly diligent. I just don't want to replay levels over and over again. To give you an idea, I'm 40 minutes into this recording. Um, Don't be dumb about it, but charge! Okay, I don't know how you can charge smart. I mean, I'm sure there's a way though. If there's any person who knows how to do it, it would be Marie, because she's a smart cookie. Let's get up here. And you're throwing your bombs all over the place. Both of you are, actually. Here, get you. No more fooling around. You're whipping around this angle. Oh, gosh, you are so quick, it's so hard to keep up. You know what? Oh, my gosh, I almost got him. Maybe I should just throw my bombs. Maybe the best idea here is to throw my bombs at you. Throw it that way, so if you try to run that way, you get exploded. Bye, balloon. You went flying quick. <laughs> so there isn't too much going on up here, except for the keen, which I'll gladly take, don't get me wrong. But it's, it's no sunken sea scroll, or even metal minna. This is just level progression. What I'm looking for is game progression, which I guess is level progression too, but you know what I mean. Baddies ahead, stay fresh. I will, I will. I mean, what does stay fresh even mean in this situation? I guess sort of stay fresh minded, uh, making sure my phone alarms don't go off, which is exactly what's happening because I just can never plan things out accordingly, can I? What is down there? Not too much right now. Maybe that'll change. But let's uh, get that there. Boom. Buy him. Okay, good, good, good. Hello. <laughs> okay, so in the last episode, I talked to you guys about um what your favorite character was between Marina and Pearl. What is your favorite between Kelly and Marie? Oh, here we go. Here's the ticket. I would love to hear. I mean, of course, that's sort of an age-old conversation. That was actually the subject of uh, I think the final Splatfest was between Kelly and Marie. I forget who won. So I wonder if we'll ever see a Pearl and Marina. But I think that one might be a little bit more one-sided. Uh, so let's go ahead and get you. And I would love to hear, what are your guys' ideas for some more topics that we could have on um, Splatfest? I would love to see more Nintendo-related ones, because we did have some weird ones. We actually had a Transformers-themed one in, Spl in Splatoon 1. It's, it was like, I think it was just, um, whatever they're called, like the good guys versus the bad guys in Transformers. That was pretty interesting. I would love to see something like that for like more Nintendo related stuff. Like imagine just like like Mario versus Bowser, Splatfest. Who would people choose? A lot of people would probably choose Bowser. I wonder if he'd win. Probably not. I don't know. I, I would have to I would have to see to believe it. It's really hard to say. But I don't think I'm missing anything. I'm trying to be really diligent. And it's not incredibly working out because I have nothing to show for it. We're here now. Okay. Well, start beating up this stuff. I'm definitely getting a little more used to the controls, and that's my favorite thing about the story mode, is that it's really a good exercise for learning how to play the game efficiently. That way, when you go online, you don't get slaughtered like I normally do. There's stuff down there that actually looks like where I teleported next area. Pretty narrow walkways here. Don't get sloppy. I'll try my best. Okay, well, this guy's running all over the place. I'm not really caring about him too much, though. 
Maybe that's not, because I can just like plop down here. Yeah, I guess this isn't where I'm supposed to be going. Might as well get rid of you though. Oh hey, you dropped the sunken sea scroll. So now enemies can drop them. It's not just in crates. It's not just sitting around. Enemies can be holding them. And not only that, but the crates that you can find them and can be invisible. Man, this game is just bringing it with the surprises, right? Well, luckily the metal minnow on average is much easier to find. So I'm glad that we found that without too much of an issue. What is this gonna be? It's gonna just be some jelly. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be jelly because of course it's the super eggs, the mega eggs. But I like just calling it jelly because it looks like jelly. Sometimes I call him like I see him. And that looks like jelly. Did he explode himself with his own bomb there? <laughs> the poor dude. I would feel bad, but he was trying to explode me with it. So you know what? All's fair. All is fair. Hmm. So I don't see it quite yet. Take cover behind that wall and spot him from behind. No. <laughs> I probably should have though. That would have been a good idea. Okay, let me fill up. And then. Darn it. I kind of find the right curve on him. But hey, I still got both of them. I need to be a bit a bit more stealthy though. That would be a good idea. Okay, so you I think you know I'm here, but you're too far to do anything about it, and you don't have a shield. So why would I can't? <laughs> We're back up to 700 for the mega exit, which is gonna be helpful. Hello! Maybe if I threw my bomb at you, maybe you wouldn't have even noticed until it was too late. I would hope so, but maybe that's not the case. Hmm. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere! Seriously? Well, one of them's one of them has to have the key. I know, right? Oh my gosh. This is way too many. They're a cool enemy though. I really love how diverse this game has been because it has everything the first game had, but just more. And that's really all I wanted in a sequel of a good game. You know, it's just give me everything the first game had, just give me more of it. And just give it like interesting twists. And so far this has had that. It's had new Squid Sisters equivalents. It has had the return of the bad guys, but they have even more bad guys <laughs> and weapons, more weapons. So much more awesome weapons. That's another question for you guys I guess I'll ask. What is your favorite new weapon? Or you know, maybe you just like how the roller was changed. Maybe that's still your favorite weapon, especially with the changes. Let me know just what your favorite weapon is in general and has that changed now that Splatoon 2 has come out? I would love to hear about that. So what is this gonna be? This is gonna just be our power up, which is gonna be incredibly helpful because I can just splat down on YouTube and then while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna try to chase down you. Oh, it got you, what a throw. I don't think my power up got either of these two bozos though. Which is ain't, like, ain't no good at all. Come on, get your balloon and then, ow. Man, they are so tough to get. We still have so many of them. Throw that up then. That is not gonna get them. <laughs> I don't know if chasing them really is the best idea at this point, especially when I'm getting knocked around. I mean, I'm really, I just probably should be using the dualies to my advantage a little bit more. Wow, okay. I get your game. But come on now. Okay, come on, come on, come on. This is so tough for me because they just move around so much and there's so many corners and they throw so much gosh darn stuff. It was, it was just one I was chasing around. It wouldn't be that bad, but it's not. It's three and they're clustering up super bad right now. Come on, I got one of them and he dropped the key, but I need to keep attacking him. Keys out, grab it. I will, I will. Um, But I need to get you and June two keys, another key. Why do we need so many keys? I mean, I'm glad I have both of them. Maybe one of them will open up like a metal minnow. That'd be cool. You know, if enemies are dropping them, might as well, you know, have these key slots open them as well. Okay. What? I'm gonna go back. So does this, oh. Metal minnow, there you go. So I guess that little box was a little key box. Just should have checked it out, you know? Use my curiosity, but there we go. This level was not as bad as the first at the least. So there we have it, the floating garden, chasing heart ache. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, level two done. At least it didn't take me 30 minutes like the first one. Let's see what we get. We get, of course, another Krusty Sean ticket and major changes to regulations by the powers that be have led to a call for the complete replacement and overhaul of special weapons. Designers and manufacturers are struggling to comply with this new regulation. Yeah, I guess the special weapons have changed, but I mean, I think all of these um, Sunken Sea Scrolls, I'm getting into this, if you say so, I feel like I'm getting worse. Um, all these Sunken Sea Scrolls end up being um, like I guess between Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2, which is really weird. So can I do this? I can, but it's a dumb idea. <laughs> 
Oh. Are you kidding me? I've been looking around for like 20 minutes for that? And then I died? But I didn't fall all the way? Man, I cannot explain how confused I am. I just cannot, that was ridiculous. Like what? So now I can just go across to there, huh? Oh my gosh. Like, you guys have no clue. You guys have no clue how long that took. I found every other level totally fine, and it took me 20 minutes to find this. Level 12, I forgot to read what it was, but I don't care. Well, at least it looks nice. That's gonna help me feel better. I could really use some more data on this weapon. Can you use it for a bit? Sure, and hero shot it is. This feels like, like a song I'd hear in like some kind of cheesy kids movie that's 3D animated and like is about a rat, and, you know, and is his journey to become more accepted by not rats. Uh, okay, so we have bounce pads, which is more interesting than whatever plot I was making up. So let's go ahead, <laughs> they're bouncing too. See, this is this is all I wanted, was a level to bring my spirits up. Like literally, it's lifting my m myself up and along with it, my spirits. Use the bounce pad to bounce up there. And, um, oh, I can do it as a squid though. Fancy stuff. Okay, that makes me think that the secret's gonna be tough to find, but hey, it's worth it if it's fun. It's all I want is a good time. It's all I want. This area has been gruesome so far. Absolutely gruesome. Break that bad boy open. Bounce up here. Hey, have that. That's my gift. Well, they didn't really follow it, did they? Okay. Uh, whoop. There we go. Well, that broke the boxes near them, which just gives them less of an obstacle to hide behind. That's something good, right? They're falling in my own ink. That's good. Come on, dude. Stop it, stop it. Boom, got you. These guys can be tough. I really do need to upgrade one of these weapons soon. I'll probably upgrade the Splat Dullies. It's just a matter of I'd rather get, you know, other new stuff like bombs and stuff. I don't see, unless this area, like, you know, unless this game's way longer than I think it is, it's more than just five areas. It's like, I don't see how I'm gonna get enough of these orange egg things, unless we can get these outside of story mode to upgrade. It just seems crazy. Th these are moving walls, or get those moving walls or something. Didn't quite hear or see what she said there. Unfortunately, bounce. Whoa, I guess uh, the fact that they can just knock you straight off if you're not careful. Whoop, and then, oh, there's a key. Let's get you. What is this for? Secret balloons? Oh, secret balloons. That's what it really is. So I gotta check that other wall because I didn't see that. I love how they're getting so crazy with the secrets, but I also hate how they're getting so crazy with the secrets. Did this one have any? It did not. Good to know. I love this song. The soundtrack is so good in this game. It wasn't the first game as well, so just really great addition to that. And some of them like carry the same feel, but you can tell they're sort of remixed, which is pretty cool. Anything down there? And, uh, remember to hold pressing, yeah, to just jump. I just can't read things properly because I'm just so exhausted from this already. And it's not like exhausted in a bad way. It just takes a lot of energy to, to keep up with all the secrets and do well. But it's not like it's bad. It's not like I'm not having a good time. I'm having a great time still. I'm playing Splatoon 2. How can you not have a great time? Oh gosh, come on, come on. Get across here. Elio. But I'm not quite done. I can't spray that though. So what can I do about you, dude? First, get rid of you. Then move over here and regret all my decisions, maybe? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. What is this gonna be? Metal Minnow? Metal Minnow. Nice. Uh, I can get this. Which is great. Oh gosh! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> oh, he's like, huh? Oh, where'd it go? They're almost as bad as the things we saw in the beginning of this or this episode. I was gonna say season, and this season of Splatoon 2, I die a lot more, which I already die a lot. So it's probably just gonna be most of the episode. Okay. So we got the metal minnow though. That's pretty good. I don't have to keep my eye out because maybe there's gonna be more of those secret panels on one of these. Just one of them out of the four that are here. Okay. Get that over there, maybe? No. I'm trying to reach you. Not as much range as I'd like on this thing, to be honest. Oh. Doesn't look like there's anything then? Because I think I just checked out the sides of all of them. So for right now, wait for it, boom. Nice. That's gonna get him. All right. Good, good, good. Whoop. Yeah, no, come on. I was happy with myself until I realized the thing I did that made me happy with myself is something I didn't actually do. So we gotta get up there and the best way to do that is to hop on top of Yoon and then splat all this and then get up here. I love the look of the ink and there's our sunken sea scroll. Not big of an issue this time. I love to see it. 
And since the- whoa. Whoa, I, I knew there was gonna be a reason why the checkpoint was before the, the- the charger or the launcher or whatever it is. Oh gosh, can I land on you? Maybe I can get a second chance of that? No, I will not. Oh, there goes my jelly. I'm pretty jelly that I didn't get my jelly. Ooh, yeah, okay, I got some of it. That's good. We're almost back up to a thousand. I'm making my way there. We seem to get about a hundred per level at the least. Oh, I miss so much. Darn it. I love our helmet. We look so fancy with this armor. Now one. Uh, I'll just go wherever this brings me, which is way over here. I love all these happy sunshine levels. Like, it, it makes me think, okay, it's summertime, and I don't have to hate it being summertime, because we have Splatoon. Because usually I hate summertime. It's just so hot, and I have to record, and no amount of air conditioning can help me feel better, because it's just way too hot, because it's the middle of July. So Splatoon 2 makes it all better, you know? Even if I'm sweating to death. I'm totally fine because I'm playing Splatoon 2 and there's nothing more I'd rather do than play Splatoon 2 for you. That's a rhyme. There's nothing more I'd rather do than play Splatoon 2 for you. And it's true. I keep on trying to shoot this thing thinking that would help me collect it. It will not do anything for me. Okay. You know what? Let me deal with you jokes first. First. There we go. Whoa, you're cool looking. I like you. You're really cool. Haha, <laughs> we got him. Not cool enough to withstand my power though. Gotcha. Because we can't stand on these. You can see they have like a cone, not a cone shape, but like a yeah pyramid shape on the top of them. So we can't quite do anything about standing on top of it. But we can sort of float on it for a moment. And hey, that's that level done. That was the easiest one yet. Okay, level number three of area number three done. Octo Resort Spring, everybody bounce. Also the most enjoyable one. Bouncing around is fun. Okay, I have a feeling things are just gonna get easier from here on out. Please don't let me be wrong. Another sunken sea scroll for us. So we're 12 out of almost, like we're almost halfway there already. These must be photographs taken by some young adult inklings. Are those, are these so-called twinkling, twink, twinklings, twinklings? Trying to convince their peers that their lives are exciting and full of meaning, or are they trying to convince themselves? Ooh, that is like every Instagram profile dig right there, just taking pictures all dramatic, like look at me, I'm drinking my coffee while reading books or eating egg <laughs> sandwich. Okay, that is, that is very, very funny. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and move on to area 13 out of 15. So yeah, we're really making some progress. I think that really was the middle level. We are halfway through getting everything done. So let's move on to the next one, which is gonna be level 13. I forgot to read the name of it again. Okay. I like this place so far. Are we getting a new weapon? Oh boy. Whoa! The hero Splatling. This can turn you into a one squid army. It's the hero Splatling. Hold ZR to charge it up, then release the button to unleash a fat stream of ink. Charging it leaves up you leaves you pretty vulnerable to attack them. So be careful. Okay, here we go. Somebody give me a sandwich. Wait, wait, how does it work? Oh, and then I let go. Somebody give me a sandwich, because I'm the heavy right now. <laughs> I love it. That's very cool. Brings me back to TF2. Now it's quite, it's not, it doesn't control much like it, but hey, look at you. Oh, that's interesting, but also probably confusing and difficult. I like it though, that is so cool. Get that, and then spray these as much as we can. We can't get ink on that side. Boom. Get it all over you though, then climb up here, and it's gonna be tough for some sections, like these ones. What I like about it is that you can cancel at any time. Like, it's not awkward. I was worried it was gonna be a bit awkward. It ain't awkward at all. Climbing into the sky. Okay, I'm not as good of a singer as Kelly or Marie. You know, that's that's a given. If I was, then you know what? Maybe I would be a part of their group. You know, Kelly Marie and the zebra. I'm the only zebra in Splatoon. That'd be cool, having that kind of exclusivity. All right, so I'm gonna throw that bomb over that way and then just blast you, because you don't have to let it charge up all the way. It's another great thing. Okay, that's how you're doing. I'm glad you, you like how I'm doing it. What is on that side? Is there anything over there? It looks like there is. Can I splat this? I cannot. Like it looks like there's something over there, but I don't think I can quite get up there. So I think it's all just a facade. Something I can't access, but it looks like I can. Pretty sure that's not what facade means. Either way, too busy to worry about it right now. We're moving on to the next section. Oh, I like this situation right now. Or not, because I thought I could shoot farther than what I could. Oh man, ah. Oh. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like how awful I am. Not, not this you know, situation. So I just need to do this. 
run over here and, and then do a bit of this. And then run, run, run. Whoop. Cool. Let it rip. Nice. See, that's all you gotta do. Pretty simple. It's just, you know, about not being awful like I am. Oh, hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> okay. So I'm trying with this. This is a really cool weapon. I can't wait to see people use this online because I don't think it's been available at all. I don't know if they've even revealed this weapon. So what are we supposed to do about these things? Probably hit a target somewhere. There it is. Okay, getting these. What? <laughs> well, I wasn't quite done, but hey, whatever works really. So I think that's the way we're supposed to go. But it looks like there's some kind of secret over here, right? It doesn't look like I can quite get up there though, so maybe not. Uh, oh, oh, darn it, I almost got it. This thing was blocking me, which is probably why it was there. Or maybe it's there to help get across. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> okay, oh, good. So I gotta destroy all the sink, because remember, that can be a problem, is that there could be a crate somewhere hidden in the sink. This feels like there's an odd lack of things going on here. Oh, because of you, found you. That's not what I'm, oh no, no, it is what I'm supposed to be hitting right now. Then what's down here? Let me do something about this then maybe, huh? Okay. One of my cats is snoring so loud right now. I was like, what is that noise? Is it like a phone vibrating? No, it's, it's one of our cats snoring. I don't know how such a little thing snores so loud. I mean, I'm not that much of a snorer. I guess it doesn't matter on size, it just matters on heart. So there was nothing here. I filled this all up for no reason, which is really bizarre. Maybe there'll be a reason for that? I don't know, maybe I'm just doing something out of order here. That has to be the situation. And there's like nothing, here, oh, get up here. Nothing on that side. I'm just very wary of any kind of secret I could end up missing. Because this is not something I wanna miss. Ooh, up, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Do that, do that, do that, do that. That was good, that was really good right there. Because now I can splat these things like crazy for the most part. I feel like I'm missing stuff back here though. It's so hard to tell. Oh boy, so I was able to hit it before I got knocked off though, so that's really good. That's all you need to do. No, get up, get up. Get your squid booty up there. Oh, hi, sir. Get you, get you, nice. So there's something up here. That is the metal minnow that I have no clue how I get. What, is there a way? Huh, what exactly do I do? Maybe if I plop back down and figure it out? I guess that's why there was that huge bed of stuff there. So let me get up like that and then, or not, fine. Destroy it as much as we possibly can, then, just like that. I get them to extend like huge amounts. And then do it again, build up, and then boom, 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 boom. Just like crazy, that was as far as it allows me to. Uh, but how does this change? Oh, I gotta go up here? Yes, oh, <laughs> okay, I did it, I did it. Awesome, so there's that. Not seeing quite much more. That doesn't mean I've missed it just yet. Hopefully, or I'm gonna cry. Uh, Nice, so I can shoot through this grating, which is good to know. And the range on it's pretty nice. It's not the best, but it's pretty helpful. So I can't hit those guys too much from here. But I can get that, which was just a bunch of uh, eggs, mega eggs. That right there, also more eggs. So let me charge up one more time. You need a lot of ink to make this work though, I'm sure. Uh, oh, let's get rid of you guys. I don't like these one bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up and make sure I didn't miss any crates anywhere because once again, I'm just so horrified of that happening. Because it's it's almost happened to us a couple times now. Doesn't look like there's any over here because we don't need to get like every inch of everything. We just need to get like a general area. Seems like we've gotten that general area. So let's get that. Nice, so we're doing okay. We are doing okay. Oh geez, but that might change once we deal with this dude. Because we don't have much of a surface area to deal with him. And I think he's noticed me. Oh. Um, how do we do what we're trying to do here? What exactly are we trying to do here? Because I can't ink any of this. Can't ink it here. I can't ink it here. What am I trying to accomplish with this dude? 
I have no clone. Maybe, oh, I can shoot this. There we go. How do I get back up there, though? Oh, okay, I don't have to. Good. <laughs> Very good. Oh my gosh, that was so confusing. I forget about those things. So we need a key. Probably from up there. I bet I can land on top of him. Yes, I can. Look at me. So what is that? That is our sunken sea scroll. So I just gotta go and jump, get up here. Nice, that was really good. I'm pleased with myself. Ooh, get all that. Run down here. Oh, what is down here? Let's break that. That is gonna be that. Is there gonna be a ticket somewhere around here? Probably. No, that's armor. So don't have to worry about that too much. Are you gonna come down here? Please don't. You are. Okay, you stinker butt. I'm just gonna do that. We're doing all right this level. I've picked up some steam since the previous areas, which is great, because I really needed some extra steam. Yep. Okay. So now I've gotten that figured out, I can open this bad boy and bring it, or it'll bring me wherever it brings me. Man, I think the Zephyr's is way up there. We have a lot more to travel. I, got, I caught a glimpse of the Zephyr's. There you go, he saw it. I'm glad that, what's his name? I already forget his name. It's such a huge part of our adventure this time. Like, he's Sheldon. He's actually like, I figured that maybe he'd pop up and say like a couple lines, you know, whenever there was anything weapon related. But he's like actively here watching with us, and that's really cool. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. See him. Darn it. <laughs> oh, no. What am I supposed to do about this then? Um, I guess really fill this up as much as I can, and then just go. Yep. Okay, because I don't have to worry about missing any incredible amount of secrets, unless there is a ticket sitting around, which at the same time, I don't really, I'm sure that we can get tickets in other ways. Like I, I couldn't imagine with how tickets are gonna be, where you can use them online, that you could only get them offline. That'd be weird. So I don't think that they're gonna be only something we can exclusively find here in the story mode. All right, let's go ahead and destroy that. Um, Watch your step. Also, I said destroy that when I meant ink it. Man, my brain is all over the place. It's just so stressful. So I need to do that. Whoa, they switch places. Oh my gosh. It's like, huh? What happened? I don't know either. Man, whoa. No, 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 no. Please, don't do this to me. What do you? Oh, that stings. Why did they have to make it just a little bit of a lip? That's just so uncool. Okay, whatever to him. <laughs> Here, let me go ahead and destroy that a little bit. And then, yeah, that should get him. No, it's not at all. That's weird, but we still got a checkpoint, final checkpoint too. Oh man, which means this is probably not gonna be easy. Let me go ahead and just splat these. I love how you can just splat them, and that counts. Whoop, okay, they're gonna be chasing me willy-nilly, aren't they? Or at least this dude is. Um, Fill this up. Yep. All right, so where am I supposed to go now? Uh, That's a good question. That's a really good question. Oh no, that was an awful mistake. Oh, yes, okay, we made it, we made it. Go, 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 go. Get up here. Uh, dead end? I hope not. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, we gotta go on top of him. Oh, that's so cool. This is a really cool level. It has a lot of twists and turns to it. A lot of these levels are really well designed. It's just there was a lot of not so fun ones at the beginning that got me into a sour mood. I'm going up here. Uh, can I reach that from here? Yes, I can. Nice, now I can get on top of this one. So let me fill that up, go like this. Destroy you, get your balloon first, and then you, and then hit all of it. That was quite a combo right there. So we finished level whatever it is, 13? Dancing Floors Ink Switchers, which I did not read before. Switcher, switcheroo, cool. So we're slowly but surely making our way through area three. Level 13 is now done. And we did it with a brand new weapon that is so cool. Let me check your weapon log. Yep, data's coming through. Okay, so what's going on? We got the hero splatling. That thing is so much fun, but number 13, we got the most fashionable gear is crafted with the latest in textile technology. Heating materials to produce smooth curves of dress, distressing stiff fabrics to increase sub suppleness. Suppleness? Yeah, suppleness and change their look are common techniques. Interesting. That all went over my head. But what would I do without you, Agent Four? Whatever I would do without you, which isn't much. Thank you for the help, Marie. Let's go here and do level 14, which I'll remember to read this time. Parking garage, drive to the finish. Wow, what is this gonna be? You know what I really love about this is that every level has something special to it. I could really use more data for this, the hero charger, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, there's like a car in that silhouette. I wonder what that's gonna be. 
I don't know, but like I said, everything is just so unique. It's like there's something to remember with each level. Looks like one of those sprinklers is in your way. I think all three of them are in my way, if you ask me. So what's over here then? Um, a dot. I'll get the dot. Doesn't look like too much more, so I'll just splat up this thing. Look at that, that is so cool. Can I, oh. What can I do about this? I don't know if I can hit it at this angle. Oh no, I almost did. Nice, okay, nice, you should be able to make it up there. See, that wasn't a sprinkler, that was a crane. What are you talking about, Marie? You're confusing me. Nothing up those. Boom. See, this is fun when you get the snipe like this. When it, like, there's no way they can shoot back. Oh, and we get the double. The farther reticle in your is your range, and the closer one, I don't know what that said. I guess the closer one is how much it is full. Oh, look, there's a car. Man, I didn't like, I didn't know they liked sweet rides. <laughs> oh gosh, maybe they'll show up on an episode of Cribs. Oh, we got some jelly down here. That's good. And then we can just get back up here, right? We can. If I inked enough. Oh, yes, I did. Awesome. So let's sneak up this car that we are ruining. We're giving this car a new paint job. Who needs cribs? We got it done for us. Pro tip, always find the safe location to retreat before you engage. I'm trying to. Boom, gotcha, that was a good shot right there. So let's go up here and get this. Haven't quite found any secrets. Can I go under the cars? I cannot. Maybe we'd find you two under them. <laughs> Remind me to never get my car washed here, yeah. Because you're also gonna get a paint job. Okay, I didn't know he had a car. That's really weird to think about. Splatoon characters driving cars that don't look like Mario Kart cars is a really weird idea. Now that I think about it, that's really, really weird. You okay, Agent Force? Sometimes I worry about you. What do you mean? What did I do? Did I do something weird? I mean, maybe it's just because I do dangerous stuff and it, you know, it really gets to a person. Look, and it's a collateral shot. It's a nice shot, thank you. Man, she compliments us, the player, so much. Really cool. An Octoling. Stew the stooge. Oh, hello. So now we're getting Octolings in normal levels, which is not too pleasant. Uh, Boom, got you there. Okay. Well, let me get this one dot of celebration. Medium rare agent for. Yeesh, I don't want to eat them. That'd be, that'd be the weirdest thing. If the big thing between the Octolings and the Splatoon characters is that they're trying to eat each other and that's why they hate each other. And it was just like the player doesn't get it. Like they just aren't told the, all the details. That'd be awful. I'm glad that isn't the case, right? Right? I don't see too much more. I could end up getting around here. So that has to be it. Hmm. Okay, for a second I thought that was a platform down below, but it is not. Exactly. It's a whole different section that we've already explored. Let's get up here and wee! There's an Octo Sniper guarding that vault. Oh, I see him. You don't see me though. Um, I don't know if I can quite hit you from here though. I cannot, you are a bit too far away. But it's gonna be Sniper versus Sniper here in a moment. Hey, don't try to outsnipe me. I can't hit you from here for sure. Well then let me get over here and break this. What is this gonna be? Just a dot, okay. Hmm. You're, you're in range of the Octo Sniper. Well, yeah, I know I'm in his range, but is he in mine? No, it's not, okay. Well, I had the try. So let's just run like this. Oh, this is good. And nothing like over there. Move when he's not looking. I know, I know, don't worry. <laughs> I don't wanna move when he is looking, I'll just be silly. Still can't hit him, but I can't hit you. Might as well take advantage. And I can break these crates to find stuff, but at the same time, it also leaves me open. I see the situation there. I can just, if you can just get near that Octo Sniper somehow. Well, it's just slowly moving. Boom. Wow, you take a beating, dude. Well, that's not gonna, that's gonna be too much for you. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to withstand that one. Hmm. Let's jump, and that didn't do too much. Ooh, the bounce on the back. Got him good. Okay, that was slick. Oh, thank you. Get that first, and then get the, you have little goggles on, that's so cute. Aw. I mean, yeah, the Octarians are evil and everything. Stop it, stop it, stop it. But they can be cuties sometimes. Okay, that's just jelly that I don't even know if I want then. Oh, we'll go for it, because why not? Get the jelly and then hide and then shoot this here. That was decent. That was decent. Can I shoot you from here? I cannot. When am I gonna be able to hit you? Ever? Never? Okay. I mean, he's still after me, actually. You gotta be careful. Boom, throw that there. Man, I could have maybe made something work a bit better there. Uh, Fill this up, throw it over there. Shoot yet, that was decent. Oh, I see it, I see it. How do we get over there? Did I mess this up? Can I, no, I can just get up like this. There it is, there is our sunken sea scroll. 
Oh, good job on getting the thing you just did. It was totally pay. I was totally paying attention. I don't know what's with me. I just can't read right now. Maybe because I've been recording Splatoon for three hours straight. You know, it's high octane action, so it can just you know be quite draining after a while. Is that Octo Sniper looking over? Try storing in a charge. Oh, didn't quite do that right, but that's okay. I still got him. Okay, who well, grabbed that king? How do I want to do this then? Oh, I guess I could just plop down and then boom. Uh, not quite what I needed. Boom. That was good. So yeah, it is so super cool to be finally playing in another game on my I really want to play list in 2017. I mean, we're only halfway through the year and imagine all the great games we've already played. We've played a ton of great games on the channel this year, including this. Oh, more of these. I don't know if I like that. Ooh, that's a bridge I see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But even more great Nintendo stuff is coming around as well. So if you're still new to the channel and this is the first series you're watching for me, one thing, I hope you enjoy and I hope if you enjoyed enough, you can subscribe and be a part of the Zebra Herd because we post tons of awesome videos on games, including this one that I'm just so excited for. But also, hi, Tieran. Uh, oh boy. We are gonna be playing all the other great Nintendo games. There are some awesome 3DS games coming up very soon that I should already be starting by the time this video comes out. And then awesome Nintendo stuff later this year and in the next year as we play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga 3DS, Mario Odyssey, the new Kirby game in 2018, the new Yoshi game in 2018, tons of awesome Nintendo stuff, and then stuff on other consoles as well. Ouch, that hurt. Here, get you. Move over here now and get this. Ooh, bada boom, nice stuff. So let's get this stuff over here. And Wow, how do I get that? I get that through the key. These cars are so cool. But I've never seen a single actual car in Splatoon before now, which is the weird spot, weird part. Switch, switch, where's that switch? Well, I'm using it to play the game. Silly. Oh, here we go. Ha-ha, that's cool. Nothing gets by you, Agent 4. Well, I would hope not, or we'd be stuck here for eternity. Okay, so that's this checkpoint right there. Man, there's so much to do here. Let's get that, hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Have I shot that? Yeah, that. That was already what I shot. This is easily the worst parking garage I've ever seen, and I bet they charge hourly. Probably. Hey, you stop it. Oh man, hey, stop with these guys being so sneaky. Like it's <laughs> insane. There's more Oct or Octarians parked here than there are cars. Surprised you haven't broken any bones. Well, squids don't have bones, Never mind. That's true, they do not have bones. I do though, zebras have bones, so I gotta be careful. Luckily, I'm just playing the game. I'm not in it. No! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> oh, you know what? I could probably climb up this car and get over there. That's what I was supposed to do here. Whoop! Yeah, okay, that was just barely made. Man. But I can now get up here, so we do have shortcuts if we do fall, which is great. If I can splat this, at it. Yes, I can. Very good. At any rate, let's keep heading upward. That's what I'm trying to do. Boom. Boom. I'm just trying to find the final metal minnow which is probably this? No, but this is a superpower. Whoa, what is this? Hold on, what is this thing? R2 to, R to make it rain, R to make it rain. What did that do? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm low on ink. I don't know what that did. <laughs> oh gosh, oh it's raining over there now. Oh wow, that is so cool. Oh, I really like that. Okay, where are you? Ooh, you lady in your bucket. I wanna get over there. And Oh, gotcha, just took a couple shots. So there's the keen, which is great. What's for, oh, here it is. That's actually a really easy find. That wasn't too difficult. Some of these are really difficult. Some of them are like super duper easy. So I think I'm good just to blast that. Oh, look at that, the upside down rail car. Really cool looking. I guess it's a train shuttle. It isn't a rail car. All right, so I got a key, but where to use it? Hmm, I don't know, but I see the zapfish really nearby. Hmm, where do I use it? Maybe it's under somewhere, under all this ink? Maybe I unlock the car? I'm not sure. Well, there's some more eggs, but they don't help me get to where I need to go. Oh, down here? No, that's my checkpoint. Oh yeah, this thing down here. Okay, I totally forgot about this. So let's open this bad boy up. Nice. 
Wow, where is this gonna bring me? Way over here. Oh, boom! No! No! Okay, I got one! <laughs> oh gosh, I really messed that up, didn't I? Oh well, I tried. <laughs> you made it! Get the Zapfish! Wow, we won a level! That one was very unique. And like I said, every level has something to remember, and that's just so cool. Okay, well there's level number 14 done. We still got quite a few to go though, and we got ourselves another ticket. Oh ho, all the way over here, the latest research has produced startling revelations about the Inkling Ink. Once sought to simply disappear after a while, Inkling Ink is actually rapidly disintegrated by airborne microbes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, we gotta go to the next level now, because that was level 13? No, that was level 14. Yeah, yeah, that was level 14. So now time for level 15, which is Octoling Assault. Pump it, pump track it up? I think that's what it said, which is gonna be more Octolings. Sounds fun. Okay, more Octolings, really? Okay, let's retrieve all eight mini Zapfish. Man, oh man. So the last one we did of this was actually pretty difficult, especially to find everything. So I'm gonna have to be really diligent. Also, I probably shouldn't have used this weapon. Did I have a choice of what weapon to use? Because if so, I didn't want to use this one, to be honest with you. Maybe I didn't have a choice. Whoa, hello miss. What is going on here? Can I throw stuff into there? What is this thing? Um, I can destroy it. So let's go ahead and get rid of you as well. Man, this is crazy. Boom. Wow, this is so cool though. It's like a cool skate park. I mean, it honestly seems more like a mountain bike park because they do have really cool, like I mean really, really cool indoor mountain bike parks. If you've never checked one out and you are into bike riding, they are so cool. If you ever, ever live nearby one, go and give it a look-see because they are really cool. And this actually looks like it. Uh, sometimes I'll call them a pump track and honestly, I honestly think this, this is what this is or at least inspired by it, which is the raddest thing. Because usually you don't see too many uh, mountain bike and BMX inspired things in games. There we go. Got that. Boom. Boom. This is, yeah, this looks exactly like a pump track. That is so cool. I mean, wasn't it called a pump track? Yeah. That's what the title of the level was called. Wow, so they re it really was. I wonder if they have those in Japan then. That's really cool. I mean, I, I don't see why they wouldn't have them in Japan. I just think it's cool that they do have them in Japan. Boom. Get that broken. And then, oh, look at this. We have like weird shot put powers as our superpower. What is this? So that's another superpower right there. This is also armor. So I'm just gonna keep moving. There's like so much to do around here. Also, I think the superpower we have is actually also a type of bomb. So I don't know if we were supposed to use this weapon, but um, it isn't working on awfully. It's not working out super great for me because I'm just not good with it. But it's not working out awful. So let's go down here. And there's just so much to focus on, but see, that's what I'm worried about right there. So the way right here, this is gonna be interesting, because this is a very guarded box, and last time we had this, it had a uh, C-scroll in it. This time it just has a power, which I do not want to use if I already have one. So let's go ahead and get rid of this little thing, and then that, and then this. Hello, how about you goodbye? There you go. <laughs> she was out of there for a little while, because we were shooting at that and she didn't budge. She is just fearless. It's an honorable trait to have, but not one if it you know puts you in a bad situation. So what about this? This brings me up here, which we were already up here, so it's not incredibly helpful, unless I need to take care of somebody like you. Um, what do I do? It bombs away. This is what I do. I was pressing the wrong button. I was like, why is this not, this not doing anything? There's another one of you way over here. You're filling up the area, which I don't appreciate. Oh, geez. Oh, oh, okay, I'm getting a little quicker with it. That's good. Oh, man. There's just so much to this level though. It just, it's gonna take me insanely long to get everything done. But maybe I can do it if I try really hard and believe in myself. Oh, that shield repunished itself. I'm pretty sure. Because I didn't grab you, but I definitely broke that shield. Hmm. So one of these guys should be dropping a key for this, that superpower. I wonder what if I'm gonna have to use that superpower for something, because that would be weird. But here's another Zapfish. That is more jelly, which is fine, I guess. Hey, no! Oh, got you. So let's break this, just like this, and get you. Now, I don't know where this is. It's like right there, apparently. 
I can't shoot it from here, I don't think. Even though it shows me the reticle, so that's really weird. There we go, I got it. Hmm. So more of this, which is great, but not fantastic. Hey, look, there's a bike! Oh yeah, and that's really a mountain bike right there. That has a design and everything. This is so cool. This is by far my favorite map in the game right now. Of course, that might change. Maybe we'll find something even cooler. But for right now, it's pretty darn cool. So can we break the crate with that? Boom. Oh yeah, we can, look at that, very cool. Oh, get this one, that one's sneaky. But it just had not really that important stuff in it. Oh, no, that didn't land on you? How did that not land on you? I'm just gonna splatter it like this. There we go, we got you. Wasn't very easy for me, man, these levels are so gigantic. I just don't know how much more I can handle. I just wanna find my gosh darn items, my secrets. All right, let's go and get this. And then, oh, see there was one on here, but it's just more stinking jelly. Okay, so now we're up here. Boom, that is more armor. Once again, helpful, but not what I'm looking for. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this, it's actually a foam pit. So we need to find a key somewhere. Where would a key be? Maybe one of these people drop one? There's another crate way over yonder. I need to find a key and use it to open this and not the superpower. So there's where the sunken sea scroll is. But this is scary. Because they can sort of sneak up on me very easily here and they're outnumbering me. I really wish I had like the splat delis for this because this is way too tough for me. There goes my armor, got you. And there's just, there's so many situations where they could beat me up here. Here, fill this up. This is right by their spawn, so this has to be it, right? Fill this up. Ugh, you can shoot it so much without it doing anything. That's the, the metal minnow, which is great. But once again, not what I'm looking for. So here's one that's really close to their spawn. So I should probably take care of this first and foremost. Okay, lady, get out of here. Boom, grab that. And then there are a few crates over here that I'll take care of. There is, okay, I thought that was a key, just a ticket. I got a golden ticket, I guess but not to my sanity. <laughs> Definitely isn't a golden ticket to my sanity. So I just need to look around everywhere for a key. Where could there be one? So there's still more stuff to get over here. <gasps> key, I found it, nice, 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 nice. So we can go all the way back over here and then, yeah, do that, sure, why not? Oh geez, I didn't think there was gonna be a dip there. This is so cool though, this map just keeps blowing me away with how cool it is. Let's get across to there. How can I get up here? Getting lost pretty easy though, which ain't no good. But I can get up here, and, and then finally we're almost there. Game, come on! I just wanna get up this. I guess I can do this. I can. So we just gotta move quick. Hit that, fly up here, and splat all this. It looks like there is really only one key, so you don't wanna spend it in the wrong spot with the power up. You instead wanna open this up, bada boom, very cool. So the foam pit there, that's actually what they use to practice tricks on, so you can land in the foam pit instead and you know, landing on your face. It's always much easier to land on a foam than your face, right? Okay, so I just need to get back over there, which shouldn't be too much of a sweat. Just like that, and then how do I get up there? Just with this. And there's actually more crates over here that I didn't quite grab. Oh. Get that, get that, and then get this. Just more of those, great, more of the same. Okay, I'm just gonna dodge you and grab it, see ya! You lose, I win, Octoling Assault finished! Man, I'm glad we finally got it done, but we still got a boss fight to deal with. Man, oh man, I am scared about that. Octoling Assault, pump track it up, it's done, so it really was a pump track. I can't believe I just didn't tie the name together. I'm just such a dingus, but hey. Just because I'm a dingus doesn't mean I can't complete Splatoon levels. Oh, look at this cast of characters. Don't slip up and miss a new album by Wet Floor on sale now. Their style changes like the shifting tides of ink in a battle, full color or monochromatic, smooth or st staccato, or lush and dripping with sound. It's rock for a new generation. Well, I wanna hear some of their music. That has me curious. Cause we've only heard, you know, music from Marina and Pearl and then of course, um, the Squid Sisters. So I'd love to hear what some other music in Splatoon sounds like. I mean, of course, and the game soundtrack, which maybe some of the music from the game soundtrack is you know, from that band, which would be really cool. Come on, I'm just trying to get up there. Game, oh, it's frustrating when you're moving. 
I really should stop using this weapon, huh? <laughs> I think I'm gonna get, go ahead and change it really quickly. Before we head into the boss fight, we'll go ahead and do the splat doys again against our third ever boss, Lips for Days, the Octo Stomp returns. Oh no. So the enemies that were giving me a bunch of problems in the first level of today's episode are back in boss form, and I think this was a pretty treacherous boss from the first game. If it is what I think it is, oh no. Please don't take him, no, my friend. We will save you. I'm back, Octostomp, so it really is Octostomp. Wait, I know this guy, it's Octostomp. Octostomp, but didn't Agent 3 take care of, to take him down years ago? Or three, three years ago, um, or no, I guess it was Agent 3 taking him down years ago. I guess he's back. Now we gotta deal with him. Oh no. So I guess Agent 3, us technically, didn't get the job done, so we gotta shoot at your little legs then? Or no, we can just go up you. Interesting. Whoop, go, 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 go. Yeah, nice. Okay, that wasn't bad, that was a decent start. The thing is he runs so darn quick. Well, he's gonna be mad. I love his little legs. It's cute but creepy at the same time. Oh no, he's covering it up. A <laughs> seatbelt on his nose. That must not be comfortable. And I brought the sweet new coat, Neo Octostomp. Unthinkable, his armor is completely uninkable. I gotta hand it to the Octarians, they sure know how to go big. Can I just shoot at it? Like usually, remember, the idea is always to ink first and then think later. Ink before thinking. It's uninkable. But I can shoot this little belt buckle. Ooh, oh no! Man, it's actually tough to land any shots on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. This is a cool ball so far. This actually might be my favorite one yet. Come on, get you, get you. You are so close to getting taken out. It's not too bad to dodge him so far either. I wonder if that one shot counts or if it doesn't. All right, so now we need him to get uh, mad again and body slam. Let's throw that over there. What? Whoa, wasn't expecting that. I gotta be honest. Okay, get up here, get up here, get up here. Oh no, he's gonna plop back up. He's gonna plop back up, gosh darn it. Oh, that was such an awkward position for me. So he's gonna try doing that again, huh? I wanna be ready for it this time, though. Whoa, no, come on. I was ready for it, but he was still too quick. All right, can I get up with this? I should. Yes, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Bada boom, got it. So there's that done. We gotta hit him one more time, right? Oh, he's mad, though. He's mad and he's got, is it like double coated? What the, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this dude just grew two more faces. You're telling me. I'm the one who has to deal with it. I gotta find a time to shoot him in the face. I gotta like shoot over there because he's about to move. He's about to move. He's gonna slam. Man, I almost got slammed myself there. I just gotta keep going, keep going, keep going. I can't shoot it from here though. Oh, he's about to charge, isn't he? Let's make some room over there. Charge me? Oh, man! I don't know if that's even possible to dodge. If the sides are no good, dodge backwards. How am I supposed to dodge? Oh, because of the outer rim of the level. Okay. Well, then when he's about to start fi or going like that, yep, I gotta just do that. I just gotta hide. Does he not know I'm here? I don't think he knows I'm here. I'm gonna take that advantage then. Whoa, oh, okay, I'm glad I survived that. Oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got him. That's it, ink him up. I'll be trying to. Throw a bomb over there. Charge up as much as I can, and he's gonna try to land on me. This is he normally does, right? Bada boom. See, this guy, I feel like he was still the easiest boss yet. Well, the first boss was really easy, but I feel like he was easier than the second boss. There we go, I think we just defeated him, right? Or does he still have one more shot left to go? No, 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 we got him. Octo Stomp has been defeated for the second time. Look at his little leg spin. Boom. Wow, we. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick that up and get ourselves yet another Zapfish. Oh my gosh, what a boss fight. The Octo Stomp returns is finished in three minutes and 25 seconds. Agent Four, I want to thank you again for all you've done so far. 
I think it's time I told you about my other purpose in asking for your help. When we met, I told you I was searching for the great Zapfish. But I'm afraid that's not the whole story, uh-oh. You see, even more than the great Zapfish, I wanna find my cousin Kelly. She vanished on the same day as the great Zapfish. Oh no, poor Kelly. Wait, you already knew? Phew, cool. <laughs> so anyway, I'm Agent 2 of the new Squid Beaks platoon, and Kelly is Agent 1. Then there's Agent 3, who's currently out with our grandpa, Captain Cuttlefish. They won't be back for a while. Where did they go? I need to know. Is that gonna be like a DLC thing? That'd be so cool if they made like a DLC thing where you can play as your Splatoon 1 character. Ah, oh, that'd be so cool. I was supposed to be protecting Ingopolis while the captain was away, but then Callie, the great sapfish. Sorry, I didn't tell you sooner. We'd better be, we'd be totally sunk without you, Agent 4. I know we'll find Kelly if we keep looking. Think you can see this thing through? No, leave now. What is this? Huh? Who's there? If you get in our way, Agent 4 will mess you up. Unless that was Kelly. What is going on? There are some weird plot developments going on, but I'm glad to know that Captain Cuttlefish is okay and he's with Agent 3. What does that mean though? I really hope that's like some kind of future DLC story mode. That would be so cool. I got my, my brain churning now on future Splatoon 2 stuff. But for now, Kelly and the Great Zapfish are somewhere up ahead, Agent 4. I will worry about it then because right now we gotta explore this area a little bit more because we could find the rest of the balloons. Hopefully that won't be too much of a problem because honestly this area is a... Okay, just get the balloons, that's all I want. So let's get you two and then you two. Oh, 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 there we go. And then this, there's a few extra eggs, five of them. So there, there are balloons and stuff all over the place for this area. And this area, like I said, before I accidentally entered a level, ironically enough, this area is a bit of a pain to traverse through. It's definitely the, the worst one yet in terms of that. But we gotta do it. There are secrets abound, like you. Maybe I could just toss it over there. Would that be enough? Yes, it would, nice. Okay. How about I try to get over there? That's level 13. 13, don't go into it though. Don't pull dingus moves. But if I get up here, and, yep, I can climb up here and then, what is this gonna be? Oh, that's not what I was supposed to do. Wow, I just don't think things through sometimes, do I? Let's just pull out the sniper weapon then. And then, let's just pull out the sniper weapon then. Oh, nice, okay, whoop, whoop, yep. hey -oh. <laughs> Okay, so there are most of that done. We just need to find now, basically, probably what that blue balloon has, which is gonna be the, What's it called, the Sunken Sea Scroll. So let's go ahead and figure that out, and then we should be done for today's video. Man, it's been a doozy. I've been recording for almost two hours on this one alone. Whoa, hold on, I wanted to go that way, not this way, where do you think you're stinking taking me? This game is so rude sometimes. It's a rude dude to me. Whoa, almost didn't make it. Will I make this? I will, but just barely. So let's hit this, it's gonna go over here where there's these two to hit, or not. Maybe I could totally miss them. And then, oh, it wants me to go on the railing. Okay, get Yoon, and then get Yoon, and then I gotta jump. Wow, that is high expectations, especially for the force momentum it's giving me. And there it goes. Gee, thanks. That was better, that was better, nice. Now, oh wow, it's still going. And they're spreading quick. Okay, and then there's one last one up here. Luckily I have it inked, so that's good. Oh, I gotta go this way. Whoa, what is over here? I didn't know about this area, but there we go, we found it. The sunken sea scroll. Nice, so what is this one gonna have for us? It is gonna be very cool looking. So there is the third one. There's only gonna be five, I think, because there's only five areas. Let's destroy this. Maybe this will have a uh, ticket for me. That's nothing. But yeah, let me check for that one more time. Yeah, there's five sectors it looks like, so I'm gonna assume that's the idea. But for now, we are finished with area three. And we'll be moving on to the fourth area. Of course, in the last episode, we went through the third area and did everything we had to do in there. It was a long episode, but you should definitely go check it out if you're curious. Now, I don't know if we still even have enough of the mega eggs and the minnows to really get any upgrades we want, so I figure we'll move right into area four for right now, and maybe we can figure out other things later, but we're in Slime Skitten Garrison, and it looks like there are a good number of levels to get to here. And Six more, so that definitely is the status quo. Look at this, oh, it's like mountain climbing. So this area already looks really fun. But yeah, we have 1,400. I think we need like 2,000 to really upgrade anything worthwhile. So now it's time to find which level. Um, If I check, it should be level 16. So let's go ahead and do our best trying to find level 16. 
Oh jeez, this level, oh, this area already seems cool, so I can only hope that the levels will follow that same status. This is level 16, okay, at least it was easy to find. Let me quickly change my weapon to the duelies, but it does have a Sheldon request, so it doesn't matter. Let's go into level 16, secret bowling alley, rolling through the ink. Oh no, this was a mistake. I could really use more data on the hero shot, okay. That's fine with me, but I'm a bit worried about how all this is gonna work out. This feels different. Oh, because it's hitting the bowling ball, and it's making a weird sound. Okay, those are Octo Ballers. Well, they seem pretty baller, but at the same time, I'm not big of a fan of these guys so far. This is not gonna be easy, is it? Oh, okay, okay. Ready, gotcha, why are you orange? Oh, because you had a bunch, cool. Okay, they are so hard to hit. You're gonna spin around one more time, and boom, 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 gotcha. And then how about you? I should probably stop using these guys as target practice and just keep moving. Okay, they always start with the weirdest levels first in each area. I mean, I guess it's not always such a bad thing. Oh, got you a little bit there. Y'all got you all the way. So once you hit them once, they definitely like retract. Okay, can I just, oh, I can't. I, mean, I can sort of kind of go under them, but I had to sort of stay to the side. Okay, this is interesting so far. It's my first time playing Splatoon 2 today, so I gotta get used to the motion controls again. Cause I get so much into the mojo, and then once you get out of it, it's just like, whoa, weird. All right, so. Luckily, there is a bit of an overhang, so I don't have to, you know, be immediately wary of the bowling balls. I should get him, which is great. Oh no, I didn't get him. Well, let's get him now. Okay, and you gotcha. Now I could take care of these guys all the time and probably get a lot of mega eggs for it, but at the same time, it's also sort of a hassle. Let's uh, throw that up there, and that should get him. Yes, it did this time. Good, good, good. Now, can I get up here? I cannot. It looks like. Uh, yes, <laughs> she's happy about it. So far they haven't hit a strike on us. That actually looks really cool though. It's like a little, uh, it's like that, uh, what do they call that, ski ball? When you throw the ball, it's sort of like bowling, but it's with like smaller balls and you do it at the arcade machines. What is going on here? It looks like you could almost break through this. Hmm. So they're coming out of there and I'm gonna hold up for a second and then I'm gonna throw that there and hopefully it's enough. Yes, it is the double. Very good. And I'm a little worried that maybe one of these guys is gonna be ending up uh, holding something we need, because before we've had enemies drop important stuff in the past, so it's good to try to take care of all enemies you know, as much as possible, but there's also the worry that uh, these guys come out indefinitely. We'll definitely get the orange ones, because they give you a bunch of mega eggs. That is totally worth it. So I'm still, of course, recording all of this before the game itself comes out, which means it's before I'm able to actually post any of the episodes. So I do just wanna say, you know, no matter how many people are supporting the videos, just thank you for supporting them. I really, really appreciate it. You take the time out of your day to watch these. You could be watching any other YouTuber play Splatoon 2 because I'm sure there are plenty out there. Also, I thought my bomb was gonna get you. I guess not quite. I just need to hide and then, ah, uh, come on. Ah, oh, oh, I ran right into that, I'm the worst. <laughs> this guy is so weird, but we got him. But yeah, just thank you so much, because like I said, you could be watching any other YouTuber for whatever reason you choose to watch me. And I just, I really appreciate that, because I try to work really hard on these videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, I just think we've had so many opportunities to play so many fun games this year, and you guys have been joining me along with the adventure, and Splatoon 2 is just another one of them. And Splatoon 2 has been great so far. Ooh, I found something. This is the Metal Minnow. Good, it's something. So there is one last secret we need to worry about finding. Now we just gotta worry about finding, you know, the most important one. I don't think it's up there, and it doesn't look like there's really any way to get up there. So, right now, we're just gonna worry about this. Get a better angle at looking at everything. Definitely doesn't seem like I missed anything, so I think we're good. That's how you do it. I'm just glad she's so enthusiastic about how well we're doing. I appreciate it. Hmm. Dang, there sure are a lot of these pinheads. <laughs> Yikes. Rude much. So let's throw this right there. That should be right next to him. Oh, that's good. That is real darn good. But I gotta say, it's so exciting to be playing this game, especially on the Switch, because you know, while for me personally, I really only use the Switch as a home console because I will I record all the games I play on the Switch. And I don't I just don't usually when I'm going out into the world, I usually don't have ah uh, that okay, what? What? <laughs> I usually don't have too much of an opportunity to play a game. I'm usually, you know, busy. So I don't play the Switch outside of the home. But it's still a lot of fun as just a console, not even just a portable console. What is going on? Is there anything down there? There's not. What about, I mean, there could be, depending on how these platforms move. I don't trust that. That seems really weird. Like there could be something under it, but it just moves away from the entrance of whatever could be under it. I don't know though. Get you maybe, or not. But it's just so cool that we can get a game of this quality and this caliber on the go, on, on you know, online and everything 
Just wherever we want to be. Watch out when you get to the top. I'm trying. I am trying. I promise. Okay, here he comes. Get him, get him. Yeah, I got him. Good, good, good. So it looks like none of these guys are orange. So that means I don't really have to worry about them. Um, What's it called? There you go. At least I got that. Ah, oh, okay. Darn it. It's so hard to focus on both. There we go. There we go. Oh, let me get over here if I can. Darn it. This is so difficult. Maybe now that, oh, and that's the thing is I gotta get all the collectibles again. So maybe I just need to stop worrying about the mega eggs because they're not helping me too much right now. Now, what's what's the point of getting mega eggs if I constantly die? Because I can always spend them outside of the level. So if I can't get out of the level, doesn't seem very helpful to me. Because I'm, I, I just broke my shield. So I just need to be very careful. Oh boy. There we go, there we go. Oh jeez, it's insane. I know, I'm trying to watch it. I can't even get to the top, so. What's the matter if I'm careful right now? Okay, let's throw that bomb right in front of him. Oh, get over here. Nice, nice, nice. So we just need to move like this, move like this. No way to get up there, right? Keep going, Agent 4, I'm trying. I'm just trying to survive. So that's gonna fall. And then I'm gonna get over here really quick, just making sure there's nothing over there. Cause I just feel like there could have been. I don't know where I'm going right now. Uh, I'm just so nervous, cause we have yet to find ourselves a, uh, a sunken sea scroll. Oh jeez, hey big dude. Okay, okay, I gotta move. I gotta move. Ah, oh, it really was huge. Oh my gosh, we are down to our last life. I could get a game over here. I mean, we're getting pretty far in the game. Remember, this is area four out of five. It's huge. I know, I know, I know. So let's get across to here as quickly as I can, and suit up, suit up as much as I can. And can we destroy that one? Too little, too late for that one. But not for this one. Nice, we destroyed that thing. Oh, I got you long distance. What is up there? Oh, I missed. Ooh, that's the sunken sea scroll right there. So this thing takes its sweet time to fall. So if I do that, that breaks it. And then we're just gonna move, move, move and try to find our way up there. And hopefully we can beat it there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, it's gonna be close. Ah! Oh! oh gosh, that was close. Man, oh man. And I gotta make it quick all the way back because there could be one plopping behind me. I think I just heard it fall. Oh, I don't like it. This is like Indiana Jones times two. It's way bigger. Come on, come on. Oh, darn it. I guess I should just probably get up here, turn around, and then bada boom. That's much easier. Intense, I love it. So I need to fix my camera here if I can manage it. There we go, that's better. Get up here and then get you. I really do hope that this helps me get a little bit better at Splatoon 2, at least enough so that I can try going online. I'm recording this, you know, like I said, a little bit before the game comes out, and I'm hoping that I can record at least some online before the game releases as well. It's gonna be a bit of a toss up to find out whether I'm gonna be able to do that or not, because it's really weird, because sometimes the servers seem to be open, sometimes they don't. Of course, the game is not launched yet, so they don't have any obligation to keep the servers open, it seems. Okay, no, come on, come on, come on. Thought I was gonna get you for sure there. And the noise that these platforms make when they move, it's just so scary. I'm just gonna move. I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna try to get you a little bit. And then we're gonna like that. Oh man, right in my face. Ooh, where are we going? I guess over here. Hey, Zap Fish, how are you doing? I could really use a hand, but I guess I'm giving you the hand. All right, level 16 done. Oh man. Okay, so that's level 16 done. Very good to see both secret collectibles found and our 16th sunken sea scroll. Now hiring egg collectors. No experience required. All ages and backgrounds welcome. A fun way to make some quick gene. Grab a friend and join up together. So this is actually a new game mode in the game. Haven't checked it out yet. I'm really interested and excited about this one. But yeah, now hiring egg collectors. That's a very oddly realistic, uh, what's it called? A uh, journal picture there. All right, five more zap fish to go. Well, in this area, yeah. So we need to find the next one, level 17. Hopefully they sit up in a more linear fashion this time than the uh, previous area. They're actually gonna be tough to jump on. But it seems like the ones that bounce you higher are the ones with the little markings on it. Yeah, level 17, they're actually making it easy for me this time. Level 17, Octo Commander Fortress, child of the battlefield, let's go. Hoo hoo, this area is looking big. I could really use some more, okay. So on the hero slosher, I really like this weapon. I think this might be my favorite, I mean, I don't know, I said that last time. And then I immediately think about the duelies, and the duelies are so amazing. So we gotta find ourselves some awesome stuff going on here. Some more secrets, 
some Octo Octarian to beat up. Round, round, around, around it goes. It actually making me a little nauseous. Yuck. Okay, what is that? Okay, I was afraid it was gonna be a collectible that was just gonna fall off. Watch your step. You might want to swim it to be safe. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so it's big jump. No, I messed up my big jump. That's okay because I can have another chance at it by going like this, waiting for this to raise, and then boom, boom. What? I didn't go through it. The whole point of that thing is to go through it. What in the world? Oh, I don't really need the jelly that much, right? I mean, I probably do. That's an Octo Stamp. Oh yeah, these guys. I think we've seen these. <laughs> I, that seems familiar. Splatter eyes, I like it, I like it. All right. Boom, gotcha. So let's get up here. And we're doing okay so far. But let's get across. So one thing that, one thing is that, oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. <laughs> That there are some reviews starting to come up of the game. Like I think that the review embargo is dropped, so that means people can actually post their reviews of the game. Which is weird because you know you can post a full review to the game, but you can't post enough content like really to do my first episode yet. So I just I have to wait until launch day. Either way, I'm not gonna complain about that. But what is weird and what I will complain about is that a lot of reviewers are saying, well, Toon 2 is really great, but it's just sort of Splatoon 1 but more. Isn't that what everybody asked for? Like, I get it, maybe there should be more? I don't know, though. I really don't think that, like, oh, that is really weird. I need to learn how to do that better, apparently. Okay, I'm doing a lot better this time. There is a thingamajig down there that I don't think I'm really gonna worry about too much, unless I can get up there. Can I? Uh, I really don't think I can, but maybe it's worth trying. Come on, come on. No, there's no way I can get up there. Do that for whatever reason. <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and ride this. It doesn't look like I could get up there. That's how you do it, thanks. The slosher is so cool, but also so stinking weird. I love it so much. <laughs> and I talked about that in a previous episode. Weird is my, weird, weird kind of cool is my favorite kind of cool, and my favorite kind of weird. That ain't false, whoa. No, not happening, dude. So this guy is like the Octo Sniper, but worse. Will that get him? Probably, oh no, knocked him off his platform, which is pretty helpful for me. Nice, it got him! Ah, okay, so I guess we could have hit him with this if need be, but the need wasn't there, and the need wasn't be. Whatever that's supposed to mean. So what is going on with this stuff? Why are there little things here? You better ink the heck out of this thing. I will, I will. So there's armor down there. Oh, no, it's swinging around. I see, I was like, how do I get down there? Because I know that you can't be a uh, inkling while under and or while it's upside down. Like if you're in, under the ink and it goes upside down, I think you just fall out. I'm almost positive. Okay, so I think there's actually a Octarian under us right now. Unfortunately, they can do it just fine. Come on, oh, gotcha. So I'm gonna wait here and make sure that there's no collectible I'm missing on like the other side of that. Doesn't look like it. Just because it seems like that's something I could very easily do at the moment. All right, um, I gotta ink this first, duh. <laughs> This is, this is something I could very easily do. I have to scratch my face for one second and I miss all of this. Great. Uh, whoa, that was an Octosomp DX up there. You don't see those every day. Whoa, he is cool looking. It's like Mario Kart DX. Everything is deluxe nowadays with Nintendo. Oh, boom, got you. And got you too. Oh, there I go. Splatter eyes. She really likes that one. That's like her word of the day. Okay, so let's get up here. Because I'm really worried we haven't run into any secrets yet. The Acto Stamp DX is unsplattable. Get the key and get out of here. Uh, I'll try to, but first, I'm gonna check behind here or something. There's no secret at all around here? I find that hard to believe. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, there it is. And there is a ticket? Man, they are making things harder and harder to find. I find this thing, I'm like, man, that for sure is gonna be our secret. It is not. It is just a ticket. So this is just a platform that I can use to get back down without being like put in harm's way, I guess. Okay, so this guy's probably gonna be pretty adamant about slamming on me. There he goes, oh. Okay, well let me swim up this. Oh geez, oh, see that's how you were actually supposed to do that. <laughs> You're just supposed to fall down that hole. You weren't supposed to do no fancy jump like I did. Okay, I guess that really is it. That sinks. I might be missing something and that's really concerning. Whatever I'm missing doesn't seem to be down there. Okay, I have to check, I have to check. I'm being meticulous, but for good reason. So let's fill that up. And we go, and that's how you do it. She said that like five times in today's episode already. Here, throw that down there. I see the Zapfish are almost there. That's not a good thing, because I haven't found my collectibles. All right, how did that not get you? 
I'm not sure, but that got you. It's so good to like get a like a good shot in with this. I took commanders down there. Try not to get yourself pickled. Okay. Can I? Whoop! No, that's not gonna go far enough. <laughs> I don't have that good of a throw. Whoa, whoa, what is this, what is this? That is nice. So we found this, but we have yet to find the metal minnow. It wouldn't be the la the first time that we found a metal minnow, minnow, metal minnow. I'm tongue twister in my own thing I made up. Oh, there we go. It wouldn't be the last or first or whatever time, I'm guessing, that we have found a metal minnow at the end of the stage, so. If that's something we have to worry about, it's something we have to worry about. That got him, nice, that was really good. Because we still have a decent chunk of level to go, it's possible. Don't let your guard down, I'm trying. Uh, Let's get across to here, and then I'm definitely gonna use this one I can. I almost got him, whoop. I don't think that got him. <laughs> Had to try. Oh geez, this is ridiculous. Nice, I got him. Man, this is getting easier for me to figure out, but I shouldn't say that so soon or I might get beat up. Nice. So there's that done. I think I'll go ahead and get onto this platform. Man, that one spins so slow. Oh, I don't like how slow this spins. Oh, that one does. Oh, oh. I probably should just get up there, but I need to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Come on, okay. Oh, get like that. Did I really miss the metal minnow? Gosh darn. Oh, I guess I'll replay because I need to find everything. Absolutely everything. So I guess I could just swim up here. And this is where the metal mineral is? Yep. I was all like, nah, there's no way you can get up there. You, you can. And it's actually quite easy to. Gosh darn. Okay, there we go. Everything properly done this time. Bada boom, zap fish for me. Okay, well, I think we're making better progress than we were last episode, but we aren't really speeding through anything. But that's fine, that's fine. Okay, I really do like this area. It's like a whole bunch of just mountain climbing stuff, which really is being shown in the levels. There's a lot of climbing up platforms. Well, of course, we got another Crusty Sean ticket. And number 17, when smoke rises from the seven rings, the pink fish will emerge from the sea, devouring all the creatures of the land. The Book of Madai, chapter 10, verse 10. Whoa. That is like some old scriptures. Interesting. Keep it up, Squid Kid. I'll try my best. So that was like from a long, long time ago. The precursors of what we understand today. There's there's uh, Marie or Callie or whatever which one. I think it's Marie. Uh, so now we're trying to find level 18. It isn't over here because that's level 16. So maybe it's over this way. We'll have to find out. There's only one way to truly find out. Let's go up here and check for ourselves. So let's see. This is level 18. Yeah, we're actually finding them all in order, and I forgot to check the name of the level. So it should tell us right here at the beginning, right? Oh, it's a splatter shunt. He needs more information on this gosh darn thing. This level looks so cool. It's towering heights, climb and slide. Wow, look at this. Okay, Jim 4, shake it off and keep rolling. What are we shaking off? I don't know. Maybe that this place gives us to willies because this place is very dark and luminous. Um, This is so cool, though. It reminds me so much of Galaxy. Boom, bam, just like that, thank you. She's getting really into it. I love her color, this yellowish green. Pretty cool looking. Uh, let me, uh, boom, nice. Okay, so, so far so good. Now there's a lot to do, I'm sure. We wanna just sort of be diligent with as much as we can, check behind things like this, and we just get some extra dots. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I really like the shiny color, especially in this darker area. Just lights up very well. <laughs> what if I just stop this at the Zapfish right there? That'd be funny. Okay, you uh, overshot the Zapfish you get a bit. No biggie, dumb. No. Don't worry, we'll get it, we'll get it. Don't want too easy of a level, right? We got more Octarians to beat up. The more the merrier, right? Let's see, ooh, I've seen this kind of, whoa, well, you're talking fast. St square spiral staircase? God, why are you always so eavesdropping on our conversation? You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it's because uh, Sheldon cut her off and that's why I like her text cut off so soon. Boom, nice, okay, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. Let me get that. And that is some armor I will gladly take. There's nothing below, so it wouldn't be worth dropping off. Okay, so I don't know what's gonna be around this corner, so I better be charged and ready. Hit the balloon. Boom, ow, that hurt. But that hurt more, I'm sure. So what is this stuff over here? Splatoom. <laughs> okay, so this is... Oh, just some extra jelly. I guess that's okay. No, don't, I almost did that too early. I, I would've fell right through. Oh gosh. 
But this is a cool level. I'm actually really enjoying this one so far, especially since it hasn't been too many crazy gimmicks, like not like, you know, climbing up, twisting platforms or anything. It really just is, you know, beat up the Octarian, which can just sort of simply be the, the most enjoyable thing. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I don't think I missed anything that way. Don't see any balloons popping up, but I do see you I can destroy. Boom, no, I missed. I can't believe I missed. Oh, boom, got you. And then we're gonna keep going. It just keeps spiraling and spiraling. Spiraling out of control, basically. And we don't get any uh, of these rings unless we, uh, what's it called? If we destroy them. So we gotta, whoop, no, 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 hold on. Was I supposed to do that? Looks like I missed my chance. Oh, I was supposed to hop off there. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it gives me another chance to uh, do that. Splataculous. So now I just get to wrap around the entire thing again? I do. <laughs> okay, let me just focus like this. Felt my ink a little bit too. That might be helpful. So I need to jump at the right time. So I just need to remember that's the jump button. I don't know why, but I was worried that I was gonna forget it. Okay, so. There's like nothing at the bottom of this tower that I can miss. It doesn't look like it. So I need to wait for one more spiral and then there's our jump. Man, this is intense. I really like it. Ready, set, whoop. No, it, what, okay, for a second I was about to get really upset because it just like wasn't letting me. Oh, on. I don't need to worry about that one ring, right? I hope not, I'm not Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't need to get every single ring forever. Still no secrets, so I gotta be on my toes, which I don't have. I don't know why I wanna go to that saying, even though I don't have toes, but I think it just really, you know, is a good way to exemplify the situation. So they can snipe farther than I can snipe. I gotta remember that. Boom, let's shoot that like that. Maybe a little more like that. Go, 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 because I don't think they can shoot me while I'm, you know, swimming around so quickly. So now it's just a matter of going like this and then go, 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 go. Boom. Oh, I got him colored. Oh, bam, darn it. Uh, bad news? Whoa, what is down here? Uh, was I supposed to do this? I guess so, there's a ticket. Better than nothing. Haven't we already found a ticket in today's level? No, that was last level. Okay, I meant today's level, and this level. We've played more than one level in one day. Oh gosh, this would be a really long series if it, if it wasn't like that. <laughs> if we didn't do the whole thing. In like one episode, it'd be a very long one. Well, let's wait here and beat that up. Dang, that was fresh, kid. <laughs> Thanks. Now I gotta be careful because there could be more secrets just like the one we just found. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, like there's this right here and oh, there we go. Sunken sea scroll. Worth investigating. I found it. <laughs> She's so like doesn't care about the sea scrolls. I care about them more than life itself. She doesn't care about them at all. I guess I gotta go up here and boom. What? Oh, ho, ho, that could've been bad. That could've been real bad. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna find the metal minnow here then if we found both the ticket and the sunken sea scroll here. Unless it's somewhere easy like right here, which that's just armor, which is to be expected once again. I didn't really expect to find the metal minnow here. Boom, and then we are good to make it that way. I love how much of a distance we can sometimes cover. Is this gonna bring us to Zephish? No, it's not. We still have more to go. Final checkpoint, which means we have to find the Metal Minnow here. I hope that, you know, it doesn't start to become a thing where it's harder to find the Metal Minnow more than it is the Sunken Sea Scroll. Like, I want them all to be pretty easy to find, if that's okay. Boom. That's some armor. What's happening? Platform's moving. I need to be careful. Ah, uh, hold on. Boom. Boom, no wait. Ah, oh, gotcha. What am I doing with this stuff? What What is exactly happening right now? Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can't shoot this thing for the life of me. No, I fell. No, come on, that was so awkward. Oh, let me go ahead and get this armor and try to make this easier for myself, maybe? Like, this is so weird. I like, I just can't keep up for some reason. Let me go like that. Oh, I see it, the metal minnow. So what I need to do is get rid of you, if I can, if I can manage. And then I need to, boom, get rid of you. Charge this up as much as I can. And then, dude, stop, 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 stop. Oh, go, go, go. No, 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 come on. Oh my gosh, I hate you guys. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. No, I'm gonna miss it. Hopefully not, hopefully not. Come on, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Stop, stop. 
Oh my gosh, you guys are the worst. Where even are you? I'm gonna ruin your life because you're ruining mine right now. Where'd it go? Is it gone? It's gone. I need to hop off because they ruined it. Gosh darn it, what do I do? That's too much, especially with this weapon. Any other weapon, I'd probably be able to handle it, but come on. Got you. Oh. Go ahead and do that. Get up here as fast as I can, and then, yes, I got it. See, you can't stop me this time, you jerks. What do you want now, huh? Well, they really do stop it here for a while. They just expect you to take it out first and foremost. Okay, ah, oh, okay, I got him still. Man, I do not like this weapon. It is not my thing. And then, get him, got him. Okay, so if I go like this again, and deal with Yoon, I can go like that, get this, destroy that, and then just sort of clear up this area a little bit, maybe might be helpful. Because I, I think that's gonna be all the enemies. Which is just like, thank goodness, but jeez Louise, that was a tough final area there. But we finished it with all the secrets, few good splen. You're telling me another zapfish. Level 18, that's three levels in so far, so we're about halfway through, which ain't too bad. So, yeah, good. All right, that one was a little treacherous towards the end, but beyond that was a fun level. All right, and there's another ticket, and more importantly, our 18th entry. This appears to be a painting from the Middle Ages. It depicts a great migration of salmon uh, said to occur once every 70 years. Weird. Salmon, salmon, however you pronounce it, is really weird in that picture. All right, I'm digging this place. Yeah, I think it's actually pretty cool too. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks so. All right, when it comes to these darn things, how many times do I gotta shoot it? There we go, boom. And then back to this. Go, 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 go. And then there is something right here. Is this gonna be level 19? Level 21, not quite, but looks like we do have another uh, octoling section, which is just great. I'm the best. I'm the best ever. <laughs> so it has to be somewhere over here, because that one area on the left side was level 20. So it should be somewhere up here, because there's only one level left to find, and it's gonna be level 19. So it has to be around here. That's the boss, actually. So maybe it isn't around here. It has to be up here then. Boom. And then super bounce. Yeah, that's it. That's level 19. Bada bing, bada boom, level 19, the experimentorium. Floaty fun. I really hope it's fun for me and not for them. Wow, this place is cool. There's a whole bunch of lasers going everywhere like it's some kind of disco party. Okay, take this with you. It'll help me gather some practical battle data. It is the Hero Blaster. Boom, bam, it's the crowd-pleasing face popper, the Hero Blaster. Even enemies behind walls aren't safe from the blaster's exploding shots. It doesn't really do rapid fire, so make sure you to get to not get splattered between shots. Wow, hold on. Whoa, look at this thing. It, use the blast radius of the blaster shots to your advantage. I will try my gosh darn best. So exactly. Wow, this is crazy. This is, I, I actually haven't heard anything about this. All right, well, let's go ahead and try to get you if I can. This is not doing too much, Shian. I thought that you said that people behind walls were still gonna get beat up. Apparently not. <laughs> okay, so there are three lot boxes. Let's try to get that. Move over here and get that. Hmm. So we need to do like multiple things here, but before we do any of that, Let's climb up here and make sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we'll do this. This is an interesting level concept. Here, let's go ahead, boom. Get you, get you again, and then throw this bomb there. Nice, boom, come on, come on. Oh darn, oh darn. Ooh, come on. Ah, oh, I can't get you. <laughs> there you go, gotcha. I guess we were going down. What? We're going down. Oh. Oh, oh, because that that moved. Okay, cool. Interesting. <laughs> well, let's first uh, deal with all this. Got some armor. Nothing up there. Well, no, I can actually make that jump. So let's try that one more time. Boom, boom, and then big jump. Nice, big landing, too. So if I hit this one, yeah, the other two shall pop. Very cool. And then down here, there's another balloon. Man, the music is so gosh darn good in this game. Let's throw this bomb like that. And then everybody's gonna run from, I'm still gonna get two of them. Get this guy if I can, or not. Uh, this is actually really tough to land. And I figured it would like one shot them. I was wrong. Boom, and then boom. Nice, that's okay, at least I'm getting something done. Nice, and I got those three. 
There is some splash damage with it, which, I mean, you would expect every weapon in the skin to have some kind of splash damage. Oh, hey, sir. Uh, oh no, I don't like you. Especially with this weapon. This weapon's actually harder to use than I thought it was gonna be. What's B? Really? Really, what even knocked me off? I don't understand. All right, I guess hug this wall way more than I was because it can be totally bogus and there's nothing behind here anyways. But I had to make sure for some obvious reasons. Why would they even have it like that if there's not actually anything to get there? Uh, can I get those? No, I can't, the distance is too long. Guess I forgot about those, oh well. Hit that then, or that. Okay, you just gotta hit it multiple times for it to work. What is that doing? Oh, that's why, uh, okay. Whatever you say, game, whatever you say. Oh, hey, hey, you, you showed up, your shot showed up before you did. I don't appreciate that. Hey, get you out of here. And then shoot those if I can. Here, hold on. There you go. Boom. Oh, I got a few more. There you go. <laughs> okay. Hello. I'm gonna get over here. I'm gonna shoot you up if I can. Come on. Oh darn. So one thing I did want to ask you guys in today's video is, I know this is. Oh, gosh, I didn't even see him. They're like bombarding me. I don't know how well I really like this weapon, especially now that we. Okay, we don't have to do too much over again. But I was wondering. What are your thoughts on the fact that maybe one day we could see Splatoon 1 port it to the Switch? Would that be an interesting concept? Because imagine if you skipped out on the Wii U, which a lot of people did. You're gonna be playing Splatoon 2 and never have played Splatoon 1, which I, I feel like maybe that's a reason why, of course, you see a lot of carryovers from Splatoon 1. It's because, you know, a lot of people just didn't play it. I'll see you, buddy. Uh, because they didn't play, they didn't have a Wii U and they didn't want to get one. So I would, I would be curious to see if that was, you know, would be worth people's interest. If you didn't play Splatoon 1, would you buy a Switch port? I would definitely be interested in seeing that, but at the same time, it might not really work. If anything, maybe they should add some DLC so that you could play. Are you kidding me? Like, why does it take so many shots to take anything out with this weapon? I feel like if it's gonna take so many shots, I might as well use the Splat Charger or the Splat Dualies or something, you know, different than this. I guess it's just better to get on the high ground, which is not the kind of weapon I was expecting here. That's just so weird to me. And, okay, for a second I thought we were coming up on the Zapfish. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Because there are three areas to explore, so we have found one of the keys, none of the secrets. I got the key next stop launch pad. So there is one of them. What is this gonna do? So it's gonna be like one thing, middle switches on. So we gotta turn on all the switches, obviously. Let's go ahead and do that, get up here. And let's see what else we got going on. Uh, this looks like it might not be good. You can use the burst from the blaster shots. Okay. That's, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this weapon. I thought I was gonna enjoy it way more than I ended up being able to so far. Oh, I see, I gotta do that while I'm in the air. Right? Boom. Yeah, that's exactly what I have to do. Interesting. It's not a bad weapon, but it wasn't what I was hoping for. It's just sort of weird. Okay, get that, wait, how do I get up there? Definitely not like this. How in the world do I get up there? I need to know, because that has the uh, thing. Uh, I have no idea how I get up there. Okay, well, I can do this in the meantime. Oh wait, what is that? What is that? Hold on. So this is like what it's like if I fell, or I just didn't do it quite right. What does that button do? I'm gonna have to try to figure that out. Uh, well, or I can mess up again. Gosh, that's really tough too, and motion controls and everything. I don't know. This level is just really weird to me. I'm still deciding whether I like this weapon or not. I'm still deciding whether I like this level. Because I need to hit that. You can't do both at once, come on now. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> oh gosh, boom, boom, no. Well, oh okay, I hit it apparently. Oh, you can't do both at once. I'm going to have to find a way to do that, whatever way that might be. Just like that, just like that. Okay, so that, that was now activated. What does that do? Does that make one? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is, okay, it's right there on the platform but I got a game over. Rip, it just gives you a rip. There's nothing else, just rip. 
Okay, so all I need to do now is just plop down here. And it should be just somewhere around? I don't... Oh, it's over there now. That is so bizarre to me. What do I need to do to get over there then? This is so weird. <laughs> oh, it's so weird indeed. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. So do this. Okay, now I get it. So we have this here and that then. That is just so weird. It just teleports the platform somewhere else. Most bizarre stinking thing. Just go ahead and open this up. Splat that there. Splat this here. I'm starting to get a little more used to this weapon. It definitely is more focusing on the splash damage than anything else. Let's try to make sure we find the metal minnow. Uh, I don't quite see anything around here, but look at this. We're going straight up. Some of these levels have been a real challenge, and I think this one's not gonna be any different. Uh, what about you over there, huh? Well, let's first do that. Maybe that was a mistake. I don't know what's really going on. Okay. Uh, let me first, first and foremost, let's get up here. I feel like I did something wrong. Yeah, there's still more to find here. Let me just shoot up with ink as much as I possibly can, everything. Shoot that. That's gonna move that platform. Weird. Can I make this jump? I sure hope so. Whoop! Yup. Okay, so this is Metal Minnow. Nice. So let's go ahead and shoot that thing. I can, right? I can. I don't know what's going on over there. I guess I just sort of missed out on some stuff, but that's okay. If it's just orange dots, I can live. If it's even a ticket, I can live. I just really need the, the mandatory collectibles, you know? The big boy stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's all important at the end of the day, but the most important things are what I'm worried about. The stuff that'll actually matter towards my 100% completion. Uh. Okay, well that's not gonna work. See, this guy's just so speedy. You know, it might just be easier and quicker just to do this, because I don't need to land it on him directly. I just need to sort of land around him. So going up. Okay, so before we were going down, now we're going up. This is not working, I need to be closer. Nice, okay. Where are we going? This is so weird. Oh my gosh, so weird. Whoop. Okay, so now we got these bozos. Let me get the checkpoint. There we go. Uh, I guess I can't do that from here. But they're moving to me, so that might help me out. There we go, got you two, got you. I would really, I'm really interested to see this weapon used online now. Because once again, this is a weapon that they haven't revealed at all whatsoever. Really weird. So let's go ahead and get that. Why did I just think that the best thing to do was just jump off, huh? Gosh darn it. Okay. I'm gonna try all this again. But gosh darn, you guys have no many, how many times this level is tr I've tried it so far. This is the most difficult level for me so far. I think there's like, there's some weird auto aim issue with this. Like, cause I'm trying to like shoot around them. Cause that's sort of the big thing with this weapon is that you don't want to shoot at the shield guys directly. You want to shoot to their side cause the splash damage will go around their shield. That's why, you know, walls don't really help a player too much against this weapon. But the auto aim will force me to focus straight on it so I can't actually hit them properly. And it's just like, oh, and maybe that's something I can change, but so far it's just such a pain. And I've, I've gotten so many game overs on this level, it's ridiculous. And I think that's just the uh, the ticket. I've just way, died way too many times. It's super aggravating. I don't even know where I'm going. I guess over here. Let's make this jump then. And get that. Get that. Doesn't look like there's too much else I can do there. So I'm honestly not gonna care. Like, I just want the metal minnow and I wanna get out of here. Like, you have, the, I'm so sick of seeing this level because I've played through this so many times now. Well, not this part, but everything leading up to this so many times now. So ridiculous. And it's just, it won't stop. It's the gift that keeps on giving, except it's not really a gift. Ugh. All right, there's definitely not a metal minnow over there. I don't think. Let's get that and that. But there is an enemy somewhere around here. Yeah, you got these jerks again. Here, boom, shoot at you as much as I can. Because you're getting closer. But actually you're not. You're just sort of knocking yourself around, which I don't appreciate, because that's hard to follow. Okay, I think there's only that one other dude. This is so ridiculous though. It is like, oh, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I hope there aren't too many levels like this. I hope there's just not too many uh, splatter levels with this weapon, the splatter. I would really appreciate it if there weren't. What's gonna be going down down here? Nothing, good. I'm getting out of here. That was the third and final thing, though. 
So the fact that I didn't find the metal minnow is discouraging. I would like to find it. Right switch is on. Maybe I'm not quite done. Maybe I can find it, but it's just like, come on. I adventured so much and I died so much. Please don't tell me I've missed it. Hopefully it's just on the top of here. That wouldn't make any sense for it to be, and it's not. And I hate everything about life because we are, oh no, we're nowhere to know. Okay, we're not done. <laughs> Final checkpoint. Oh, I see a key. Oh, hey. Hey there, you. Okay, this is a bit of a cluster. I won't deny. A bit is maybe an understatement. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's three of them. There is three of them. Why Why is this level like this? What did I do to deserve this? Okay, I got up here. This is more jelly. Thanks, I guess. It's better than nothing, but it ain't what I'm looking for. Oh my gosh. So I need to throw this over here and get up there and as quickly as I possibly can. Don't you dare cover up your tracks. There we go. Got rid of him. I'm not gonna go on that just yet. I guess that's how we get out of here. But I need the key. Or maybe not. Where? Because what is the key for exactly? It's for that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out what this does or what it is. Stop, stop, stop. No, that, that's not it either. Okay, where is it? This is so weird. Because I can't quite get up there like that. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to jump on this bozo or one of the three and just not fall off exactly like I just did. Oh, you know, I don't really care too much about this, but hey, if it's here, I'm gonna get it. Here, get this over here. And I'm gonna shoot some of this stuff while I'm over here. Ooh, get the key. Now, there's even more of them. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, can, can we land on you? I can. Get that, because sure, why not? Look at him go. Beat him up, boys, beat him up! <laughs> okay, I need you to go over here, buddy, if you can. You can manage that. Oh, they're all bumping into each other, so let me land on this one, and then go like that. What is this gonna lead to? That's gonna be another boost pad. So this one has to be a secret. It has to be a secret. Don't die. Don't die on me. Don't die, they, they're, they're surrounding me. Oh, move, 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 move. I can't believe I've survived for this long. I swear that I was gonna die a couple times there. This launches me. Whoa, what is this place? You're telling me. You would think this is where we would find a sea scroll. I like your own, it's like your own private island except it's full of deadly flutters. Ugh, Kelly always hated flutters, Aw. Oh, now I feel bad. This is not fun. Okay, I can make that jump. Look at this place. So that is that. I gotta definitely, it definitely expects me to do this to get it. That, that is, that has to be the metal minnow. Ooh, boom. No, that's a ticket. That has to be the metal minnow. I'm not giving up hope. I am not giving up hope. With everything I've gone through in this level, if I have to redo it, I'm gonna be so sad. I don't wanna say anything drastic, but I definitely will be sad. That is something I can guarantee. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Okay, get up here, go, 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 and then break this. Are you kidding me? Where in the world could it possibly be? I'm like solving the Da Vinci Code to find this stinking minnow. Where else could it be? It's not like hidden in a block or something crazy and ridiculous because at this point, I'm all out of hope for finding it. I just don't understand where it could be. Cause it's clearly not around here and I wanna get some of these as much as I can get of them. But that's it, there's nothing else around here and the other area is definitely gonna lead to the zapfish. So what am I missing? What did I do wrong? Was the other thing not a, was that the thing that was the metal minnow? I can't even remember. I can't remember anymore. Oh my gosh. I swear that it wasn't, but maybe I'm getting my memory mixed up and it wasn't a ticket. Are there two tickets in the same level? Is the game taunting me? Does the, the, the collectibles change depending on how you approach the level? Stop attacking me, sir. Okay, just get up here, just get up here. I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to come back at some other time to get it though because there's only so much I can do in one day. I've gotten like four hours of sleep. I haven't eaten breakfast. I'm just gonna get out of here because this level is gonna be the end of me or I'm gonna die. I don't have to redo all of that. If I die, I have to redo all of that. I have to redo all of that. All right, so I'm just gonna get out of here because like I said, I don't have the mental sanctitude to do any more than I already have. If I'm just being dumb and I already got the metal minnow and I just forgot about it, you know where to find it now. It is included in the video. So that's, that's just all I'm gonna do. Okay, let's never speak of this again. 
I hate that level. I never, ever want to go back, but I'm going to have to if I ever want to get that Metal Minnow again. But I really do not like that level. Not only was it long and frustrating, but it's just, this is so frustrating to use. It's just, oh, it just doesn't feel good. Good to play. Salmonids are known to keep their weapons in tip-top shape. Their frying pans they wield have often been passed down from generation to generation. You can now see the unwavering pride of these fierce warriors in their somewhat crazed eyes. They really are really weird. <laughs> Salmonids. That's really weird as well. You the squid, kid. Okay. Well, we have all the other levels unlocked, so now I can just move right on over to, of course, and also, floaty fun, my butt, the least fun level yet, level 20, let's move to this one, and hopefully it's a lot more fun, and has more fun music from Powerland, Rubber Parasols, okay, are we using the blaster again, no, okay, we got a new weapon, another new weapon, there's a lot of new weapons, okay, take this with you, whoa, the hero umbrella, that is cool, this is a secret weapon, that everyone wants to play with the hero umbrella. Press the R once you sh do once to shoot ink, uh, or hold the button to use the um burping because I can't speak right. Umbrella as a shield. Keep holding the button and bro will launch off, leaving a trail of ink behind it. It takes a bit of getting used to, but it's really powerful and it looks super rad. I can't agree with that. That is so cool. So we can or do that. <laughs> I like it. So cool. All right, it's like a little shotgun too. Really weird, but very cool. So we already got ourselves a bunch of this stuff. Might as well go ahead and pick it up. I like this, this is really cool. So let's get up here. It definitely is sort of like a concentrated shotgun in some ways. All right, press CR to hold open your umbrella. And you can launch the umbrella in front of you. Whoa, <laughs> that is so weird. Why couldn't we have this weapon last level? This would have been so much, it would have made it at least fun, you know? Ugh. Come on, I just gotta launch this right there. <laughs> he moved. No, don't worry, while he's running, I'll hit him. So, where exactly are we going? It looks like there's more than one way to go, which is honestly something that seems to be commonly happening, and I'm not a big fan. Okay, let's, um, boom, gotcha. This is like a defunct thingamajig. And there's something on top of it, it looks like a teleporter. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get Yoon. You have a launcher that I don't know if I wanna take. What is over there? There's something over there. So maybe we should figure that one out first. But obviously we have to come back, we need a key. I don't like these labyrinth levels. They're just not fun. Let's throw that there and, and do this. Oh, they have little goggles, so cute. Boom. So that's gonna hopefully take out one of them or not. If you give them enough time to respond, they'll move out of the way for sure. Okay, good to know. All right, let's get you as much as I can, gotcha. So where's this one gonna launch me? Whoa! What's the play here, ink to win? Okay. I don't like this. Uh, I guess I'll just throw this this way. And it'll help me at least figure out where to go. All right, so that fell off there. Uh, fill up. All right, so this is where this platform ends. What is with that planet over there? <laughs> this is why I think it feels like Super Mario Galaxy. Let me also splat that one. Okay, we're good. I mean, I hope that the stuff we can find isn't invisible. That'd be weird. Boom. Like any collectibles? That would be something I'd be upset about. Oh, get out of here, you jerk. I'm just trying to swim. Man, they just never give up, never surrender. You can get up here, right? And then I can, nice. But first off, I'm worried about this. Okay, I got it. And then get another key. Launch pad time. Okay. There's a lot to this level. I'm just not a fan of that. Of that. I honestly enjoy the linear levels a whole lot more. Oh, what? What? Okay, stop. Stop. All right, goodbye. Well, you all exploded. Can't say you didn't deserve it. So this is weird. This is really weird. I just don't know what to put together with this level. It is insane. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, well, let me make my way over here and see what we can do. I would love to hear your thoughts on these new weapons, though. What do you think about the umbrella, and what do you think about the splatter? I'm liking the, the umbrella a whole lot more than the splatter, I can tell you that much so far. Throw that there. If it doesn't do anything else, it gets me some of the stuff. What about this here? That's gonna lower the level. 
try to get up on that fluttering. I will try, but I sort of messed up in that respect. Oh, but it raises again, of course. Oh, geez. So I gotta get on top of it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me just get up here. And then shoot that, and then big jump. And how far can that go down? Not too much farther than this. Okay, good to know, good to know. Okay, now I can get up here. I think that's gonna start chasing me again in a moment, so I gotta be careful. I gotta throw that over there. Don't know if that's really gonna do too much. What about like all that kind of stuff? Oh, yeah, got it. So where's the launch pad at? It is back over here, and I don't see any secrets? Yeah, I don't think there's any secrets, so let's just go this way. Oh my gosh, this level just doesn't stop. Um, The levels in general just haven't been stopping. I don't trust the idea of doing this, but where does this bring me? Oh, this is a checkpoint, okay. Uh, hey, 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 leave me alone. Really? <laughs> Out of all things I die from, yeah, I know, watch my step. You don't have to be such a jerk about it. Okay. And I don't mean to be like in a sour mood, but gosh darn, this, these levels have just been ruthless these last couple ones. It's like, come on, give me some kind of break maybe. So, whoa, what is happening? Oh, we got an Octoling. Oh, it's an anemone, I mean, an enemy. <laughs> okay, there we go, got you. Get this. So what is this about? How do I get up there? I just really wanna know so I can just, no, you know? I don't know. And there's another one, no, that's where we started, I think. Okay, thank goodness, because I don't want to have to find out how to get up there, too. Maybe with something relating to this, like this raises me like super high up. Oh, that's exactly what I have to do. All right, then, so I just gotta go, 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 go faster than that found. Maybe if I uh, do a bit of this. Yep, that's how I do it. <laughs> okay, at least we figured this one out. Gosh darn, man oh man. Well, now we can plop down like this. So I have to keep that in mind, the propellers could really bring us somewhere successful. Big jump to here, and then we can unlock this one. And that's gonna be a launch pad to other places, like this place. So first off, let's bomb this. Because it looks like there's something worthwhile. This weapon is really cool though, I am enjoying it. I can't wait, to, like this is the kind of level le or weapon I cannot wait to take online. Like it seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun to battle people with, and like, really cool strategies will come of it. Because that's sort of the thing, you know, the online mode is probably gonna be great. I mean, from all the, you know, stuff I've already played, you know, of like the, the uh, global test fire and stuff, you know, that stuff was already fantastic. And yeah, <laughs> oh boy. Um, Yeah, where exactly am I trying to go? Because there's this. Um, Let me go ahead and like, well, if this does the trick, I guess I'll just do that. Oh, metal, metal, nice skills. I like it, I like it. Let's just jump through these, because I honestly don't know if that's gonna last for long enough. Okay, so now all we gotta do is, yeah, go down here. So let's do that, just like that. Dashing, <laughs> thanks. No sign of the you know what. And there's the zap fish, so we gotta find it soon. Not up there or anything crazy. Oh, it's gonna be like over here, right? If it's gonna be anywhere, it's gonna be in a ridiculous spot like this. Long distance brella action, I'll try. Boom. And then this is gonna raise us up high, sort of, but not entirely. Oh. All right, let me try that again. Boom. Just like that. Well, let me check over here really quick. Whoa, okay. Shouldn't have known you'd be able to make it Agent 4. <laughs> okay, well there's nothing over here though. So let me just go ahead and start shooting this thing like crazy, and then just go. Nope, it's gonna have me trapped. I don't like that. I don't like that one, but we'll just go like that, and then I'll just move, 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 move. Like, it's expecting me to do something with these. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. And there's like nothing overhead, right? Look, now that I know that there's gonna be invisible platforms, you know, there, there really could be like any situation going on here. It's raining baddies, where, where is it raining baddies? Oh, there, they just decided to throw some my way, cause you know, like, why not? Okay. When it rains, it pours us more. Why? Why are these guys just deciding to fall down? I don't understand. All right, well, I'll just take you all out. 
or not. We'll have to find out. They're still coming in. Why, 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 why? Get rid of you. Oh my gosh, she actually got me. All right, move. I don't know why the bad guys aren't spawning in this time, but honestly, I couldn't care less. Yeah, I don't know why they just decided randomly, okay, we're gonna spawn in now. Okay, okay, hold on, game. Hold on. I'm just gonna block myself like this, and then we're just gonna launch it over to him. And I should take him out, right? Or not, or not, gee, thanks. Oh, I just don't get this game sometimes. It's just so ridiculous. Okay, we at least got Yoon. And I'll get you too if I can. Nice, okay, a key, great. It's right there. And that's, what is that gonna open up? Whatever's going on over there. This, what is this here? Cause the Zapfish is right overhead. Man, there's just so much to this level and it's so confusing. So that's gonna unlock that and it's gonna bring us up here, there, huh? Okay. And if we mess up here, if we go down here, I think that's gonna actually end up sending us. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Get this key. There doesn't seem to be anything else to spend my key on except for this. So I'll go ahead and get this, and that's gonna bring our platform up, obviously to the Zapfish, which means that somewhere in this awful level, one of two, there are a pair apparently. I have messed up, and there is a sunken sea scroll? Like I don't understand what else it could be, because where else would it be, right? So I finally figured this one out. It's sort of crazy ridiculous, and like I've been here for like an extra half an hour, if not more, trying to figure it out. I finally figured it out. So you gotta do that. Run over here, you gotta be like wicked quick with it. But you do that. Okay, so I think I know what I gotta do. I gotta charge this up, shoot it like that, and then, come on, come on. Shoot that, there we go. And, oh, okay, now it's gonna be facing that way. This took me so long to figure out. Once again, I'm playing this before all releases. There is no walkthrough. Anybody who has the game early is not allowed to post as far into the game until the game releases. So I had to figure that all out myself. I feel proud. Oh my gosh. There we go. I've done everything. Absolutely everything. Oh my gosh. Wow. There's another level done. So we only got one more level left to go, right, level 21? That's great, then look at how long our level, our weapon list is. There's just so many different weapons now. Let me check your weapon line. Yep, the data's coming through. Oh man, that's really good stuff. Very, very good to hear. I like that weapon, I like it a lot more than a splasher, so that's good to know. Okay, one more le well, I can't even speak. One more level left to go, but first, oh, look at poor Marie. Don't miss Problem Solve Studying with Marie on SBS this Thursday night and every week thereafter at 25 sharp. Tune in for a few study tips and a whole lot of procrastination. She does not look interested. <laughs> Who would wanna watch a show like that? Will they just watch anything that has Kelly or Marie's name on it? That's weird, the boss kettle should open if you find more zapfish, I know, I know. So I just need to find one more zapfish. I actually already know where that is, so maybe we should just go ahead and do that. So that should be level 21. Whee, and boom, we're going into Octolings Ahoy, Moray, Twilight, oh. Wow, look at this level. Looks like you've got Octolings to deal with. There's so many different locations to go to in this game. I really like it, Octo Snipers too. Splendid, we're gonna take care of the Octo Snipers first for sure, you know the drill. Get those mini zap fishes. So first off, before we do anything, oh wow, this is, yeah, this is just like Moray Towers. But it's like, cool looking, I like it. Don't let your guard down, Agent 4. I will try not to. Um, Let's go ahead, boom. Get you as much as I can. And I guess I'm using the umbrella weapon again. I guess I didn't have to if I didn't want to, but I liked it. So you know what, we're using it for right now. I did want to see what it's gonna be like in a multiplayer setting, so it's good to do this. Let's go ahead and get the ones we want on the way, but we won't get every single one of them. So here's the first of eight. And once again, I just have to get everything except for the last one, because the last one will immediately end the level. But beyond that, I gotta be careful here. And okay. Boom, throw that towards you. Oh no, I didn't throw it. Okay, weird. Um. Get that, it's gonna be more orange stuff. Just shoot at these things all day. Take that inanimate object. That's how I feel about most of the things I'm destroying this game. Because I'm so angry all the time, apparently. Angry as Ibra, All right, six to go. I'm low on ink, so I'm just gonna get a full refill while I have the chance to. There are some Octo Snipers already honing in on me, which is just great. Gee, thanks, guys. I feel very loved. So I gotta remember that I can make my way up the towers in many different ways. Get this, it's gonna be some armor. So once again, I gotta get those Octo Snipers first because they're gonna make a big problem for me. 
Um, oh jeez, and this is not the way I'm supposed to be going. Okay, okay, and everybody's attacking me right now. Get you, get you, get you. That's gonna make it not much easier. Um, ooh, then get you, get you, get you, get you. Nice, okay, that should make things a bit easier. You're telling me. Okay, get up here, take this one, and it'll be good to get all the way to their spawn area because then I'll sort of get a good idea of what's going on and be able to work my way up from there. Okay, who has the slosher? Get out of here, slosher girl. Oh, come on, yeah, okay, we got it, four to go, four to go. And then get that, and get the zip line, cause sure, why not? I gotta be careful though, you're over here. And then let me fill up all this, cause we have found a number of mystery boxes in these kind of levels, or hidden boxes, whatever you wanna call them. We got four more Zephyr to go, so we're already halfway through when I'm just focusing on finding collectibles for the most part, so that's pretty good. We're keeping up. Let's destroy these two, that's gonna be some armor, which I'm probably gonna need if I'm gonna be head up, heading up here, where there is gonna be one last Zephyr, but it's good to take this stuff out now, so I don't have to worry about it later. I've already said that, but you know, just to reassure. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure the game has been out for at least a day or two by the time this video goes out, so feel free to let me know in the comment section how are you feeling about Splatoon 2 online, all that kind of stuff. I'd love to hear how well you're doing, maybe what level you are, how much coins you got, any tips and tricks you might have for me for when I go online myself. Looks like we finally got ourselves a power up, but I don't know if I really want this one. This would be great for if I still had to take care of the Octo Snipers though. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this here or not. Okay, there it is. That is the Metal Minnow. And then there's another crate. So we found the minnow, that's great to know. And this is more of that. Okay. Hmm. All right, well I might as well boom, fall through all of these. Very, very good. Not really seeing too many octolings right now, but that could change. I'm gonna check this out. Look at the highway, that's very cool. So do squids drive cars? Oh, here we go. Oh no, it got me all excited. I thought that was gonna be it. It is not. But maybe we'll find more of that like on this side too. It looks like I definitely have to do some retraversing in some areas. But for now, I gotta beat up Octoling, so it's more important. I'm like in first person mode right now because I'm against the wall. That was weird. Nothing down there, which is good. I think it's one last place I have to try to treacherously go down. There's some stuff going on down here. First, get rid of that, for sure. And then get you. Nice. There's a good possibility right there that is what I'm looking for. Uh, Let's get that. Cause there's stuff everywhere, it's insane. Maybe this is where I could pull this out. That is actually not it, so I know not to bother with that as much. Okay. Good, but also concerning. I just need to spray every inch of this place, really. I think that's what is gonna actually be ending up, you know, being the best course of action, is spraying everything. Cause there could still be maybe something hidden around here. Are you guys chasing me, huh? Are you chasing me? Cause I'm sick of people chasing me around. Why can't you find your own path? You're gonna be seven on eight, so I can't pick up whatever the last one is just yet. Because I need to find any hidden boxes there might be. Okay, so I haven't been over here. Doesn't look like there's too much over here to be. Okay, I had to check. Let's throw this like maybe over here. and Just start filling up stuff while I'm doing other things. Man, oh man, these levels, they, just, they don't pull anything back. I know it's the second to last area, but it also sort of makes me shiver in the idea what the last area is gonna be like and what the bosses are gonna be like for the next two things. There's another power up if I do end up needing it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's go ahead and get up here. And then, oh, oh no, 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 no. Yep. Nice, okay, we made it up here without dying to anything ridiculous. Is that zip line? Okay, that's actually cool. I might want to ride that soon. Wee, wee. Oh, there we go. Wee. <laughs> okay, so this area right here is a little bit confusing, but I think my best bet is to uh, walk around a little bit because down here, there actually could be stuff down here. I mean, no, have they refilled this up? I don't really remember if I was down here or not. That's sort of the, another thing is that it's so hard to keep track of what I filled up and what I haven't because they're gonna refill it. And that's just like, oh boy. Huh. Especially for areas like over here. And I definitely wanna check back at my start area over here. And because who knows? Doesn't look like it. So I can uh, plop down here at the least. We got that. So finally, let's get up here. 
Man, this this thing is really well hidden. Like, usually we have to look for him, but this one we really have to look for him. Nice. You're very thorough, Agent 4. You're telling me. Gosh, don't I have to be? I absolutely have to be. Uh, They're waiting for me down here. here. Let's go ahead and beat you up. Turn around and then get ready to beat you up. And then let's start riding this thing. Because maybe this might be the key to where I gotta go. I missed that one, but it's fine. It's, I can't believe it wasn't there. I can't believe how sneaky that was for what it w ended up not being. And there's, there's still more stuff I'm missing, so it shows you how much more you know, specific I can end up being. But let's get this, and then get this. Nice. And I think that's really all I want from here. So let's just go ahead and plop down any way I can without dying, because if I died there, I would have been so upset. Because uh, there just would have been an unnecessary way to die. Nothing like on top of there. Let's destroy these. And those guys start popping up a whole lot less once we do it this way. It has to be around here somewhere. I can't be missing it that badly, right? I don't know. <laughs> because here's the last Zapfish, right? And that's great and everything. I'm not grabbing you, though. No matter how badly you wanna be saved, you gotta wait, you gotta be patient. What in the world could I be missing? There it is, that has to be it. That has to be it, that has to be it. Right there, right there, right there, right there. How did I not see that before? I swear that that just magically appeared. I swear. Oh my gosh. So I just gotta go ahead like that, hit it. Thank goodness, can't believe you found that. You're telling me, and it was right here too. Let's get this final zap fish. Oh my gosh, we got all six levels done, which means we can finally move on to the boss. Okay, so there's level 21 done, Moray Twilight, but now time for the big kahuna, the scary thing. Hopefully not too difficult, but it probably will compared to everything else. First off, number 21, pandemonium ensued when Popstar Kelly was spotted at the airport by fans after wrapping up filming for upcoming TV drama in New Sardine. She smiled through it all, but it's clear to this reporter that the pressure of fame is getting to her. Ooh, that might be an issue. What if the fame is too much for her and that's why she sort of ends up doing things that she normally doesn't do? All right, the boss kettle is open. I sure hope the great Zapfish is down there. Uh, me too. So let's go ahead and I think I need to move to like level 18 to get closer. Nope, wrong way. Okay, so let's go to how, however farther we can get away from level 18. So let's go to like, let's go to level 19. Just trying to find a way to get over to here closer and quicker. This doesn't look too bad. Luckily this area is not too bad to traverse compared to Previous areas, okay, that got me really confused for a second. I thought I was just gonna be launched into my doom, but we're going into boss number four, Santizarium, the Octo Shower. I could really use more data on the Hero Charger out of all things on a boss fight. Oh no. <laughs> Zapfish, please just hold on, because I might need a couple tries on this one. Man, oh man, this area just does not give up. There are plenty of places to hide behind though, which is good to know, look at the little ducky in the goop. Uh-oh. Oh, I get it, because it's a shower. Is it really what I think it is? Oh, it is! The Cleanser of Inklings Octo Shower! It really is just like a gigantic shower clog thing, or like a tub thing, yeah. Targeting shower drain clog thing. All right then. So it's targeting us because it hates inklings, apparently. What did we ever do to you? I'm not sure. Right, let's get across to here. Oh, there's a booster up here. Missiles, if you can't shoot them down, take cover. All right, so, or not, what the heck. Uh, I'm gonna wait right here and then try to shoot you if I can manage. I can't do that from here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we can shoot those. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's what I want to do. It seems like I wanna shoot the guys holding him. So let me try to get that done if I can manage. Okay, boom, oop, boom, oop, boom. Nice, got all three of them. Now he's down, so let me start just beating this thing up like crazy, got it. Okay, it really is just a shower drain plug. So that actually wasn't too bad. I feel like I sort of lucked out in some places. I got a couple more now, it's four of them. Okay, so I just gotta get over there as quickly as I can. Man, this boss is weird. The bosses in general in this game are really weird. Okay, so I can't quite get over there from here. 
That's fine. Boom, 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 boom. Move it like that. Okay. It's some sort of hand crank cannon. Boom. Boom. No, what? Hey, you get back here, sir. I'm not done with you. Okay, okay, he's coming back. He's coming back. Well, now I know he has a charge move. Uh, please, just get closer. Oh gosh, he has like every move. He has like every kind of weapon type. He's got the Gatling, he's got a sniper. Uh, no, just get up here, you dingus. Get up, get up. What the heck? Okay, I'm so confused why you're not getting up. Ugh, don't, why am I the worst platoon player of all time? Why can't I just be like the second worst? That'd be great. Ugh, you, I don't like you. I don't like this weapon, I don't like this situation. This, oh, come on. What I really don't get is that somehow all these levels are passable with the same, like with all weapons. Okay, yeah, I'm out of here. Let's get up here again, just for now, so I can see where he ran off to. Luckily, this is the second phase, so we don't have too much longer to go, right? I mean, unless phase three takes, you know, as much longer than phase two as phase one did to phase two. There we go, I got you, jerk. So now I just gotta get down there. I just beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Nice, I got him, I'm stuck in ink, but that's okay. Haven't taken a death yet, so that's good. Okay, he's mad. We got four of them, but they shoot this stuff, so he's gonna be moving around all sporadically. That's worse than if there was just like six of them. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna get across to here. I'm gonna do this, hop up here, and shoot whatever I can. Which for right now is that, that guy, and then I fall. That's okay, I'm gonna fall sometimes, it happens. Okay, I didn't mean to center my camera there, but maybe that was for the best. I don't exactly think so. All right, I need to get across to here. Move, 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 I need to get my shield back. Okay, whoa, that shoots through walls? Or is he just standing in a weird position? Got it, I fell again. I don't know why I keep falling. Maybe it's just because the shoot knocks me back? I don't know if I can get him from here. He really is every weapon type. This guy is like a trick of all trades. Oh my gosh. Oh. Here, let's go. Come on. Boom, no. There, got him, got him. And then, boom, got it, nice, we did it, we beat him. First try, no deaths. Oh my gosh, wait, is he done? Okay, he's done. Oh, no shower for us tonight. Man, what a boss. Weird, he has tiny little legs too. Why are all the bosses have like such tiny little legs? I don't care, why should I question it when we could be getting a zapfish and a bunch of mega eggs. Give it to me, yeah, we finished. The Octo Shower is defeated. What does that say? Oh, it's backwards, or upside down. Run, leave, now, and never look back. Uh, are you? Uh, are you holding the phone upside down? Uh, I totally was. Kelly? Um, no, this is definitely not Kelly, so just leave. It's dangerous here, and it's not safe at all. Um, don't those mean the same thing? Whatever, just get out of here. I'm not calling again. Wait, don't go. Kelly, Kelly! I, I can't believe it. Could Kelly really be working with the Octarians? Agent four, I need your help now more than ever. You're not much of a talker, are you? Well, 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 you're still here, so I'm going to keep telling you to do stuff. Let's go! All right, we gotta go and save Kelly. What is happening to her? I don't know, but for right now, we don't have to worry about it, because we've defeated boss number four and got ourselves another metal minnow. And of course, that is going to activate the next area, which is the final area. So that's what we'll be tackling in the next episode of Splatoon 2. But we're not quite done, because we gotta hit a bunch of balloons. Not with this weapon, though, absolutely not. Uh, Kelly the Great Zapfish. Let's see, Kelly and the Great Zapfish are up ahead. Yes, they are. But right now, we're just gonna be focusing on hitting some balloons. This has been an over two hour episode for me. Hopefully not as much for you. Probably not. So I'm just gonna be focusing on the ones that are gonna get me A, the, oh boy, come on, and then that. That was actually not bad. I'm gonna be trying to find just the ones that are gonna get me the, you know what, the sea scroll, and then if there, yeah, there's gonna be a metal minnow somewhere. All right, so everywhere is inked, so this should make it easier to handle. Got that one, it's gonna move over here, can shoot that, and then now it's over here. Um, Wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Um, 
Does this get it? No, it's gone already. Well, luckily it just started right here. And we need to keep her, oh, you know what? That's probably gonna be where something else is right there. So we'll keep that in mind too. We'll wait for this to pop back up. Gonna pop back up here, right? There it is. All right, there. boom, get over here. Boom, turn around, go like that. Got it. Where is it now? Okay, there are multiple over this way for some reason. Come on, go, 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 I don't have much time for this. Wow, that is like no time at all. Okay, so I think I figured it out. I had to hit it here with the charger out of all weapons that you would expect to be helpful. I wasn't expecting the charger to be helpful in the balloon levels or the sections or whatever you wanna call them. Get that one, that one, and that one. Turn around, go over here. I've tried this one quite a few times so I should know where all of them are. Go like that, turn around, hit this or not. That might actually be the end of this one because of that. Hit that, hit that, hit this, and that's it. Okay, so get you to move. Go like this. The, okay, I was gonna lose it. I was gonna lose it. Let me move to level 18. I just get over there and get it. Gosh darn, like this, they just don't know how to let up. They don't know how to make it easier. It's just like, oh my gosh, it's so insane. So I gotta hit this. And then we really do just have to make this jump. And I've made it before, so there we go. Another sticker for us, fourth one out of five, so we're almost done with that. Almost done, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not, but I can do this. Hold on, hold on, don't, I'm not done with you, stop. Boom, whoa, what? Okay, so that's not how we get that. How about we go to level 16 then, and try to figure that out up there? I don't know, this is really weird. I guess it would be best to, if I could get up like that, yep. Like that, go like this. Now what is this? That is our Metal Meadow. So there we go, there's everything I am going to bother finding in today's video. Continuing on to the fifth and final area of the story mode, learning a bunch of information. Where is Callie? What is she up to? And where did the giant zap fish in the sky go? We are gonna find out today, hopefully at Cephalon HQ. What is Cephalon? Whoa. This place is a lot different than I was expecting it to look. It's a lot more techy down here. And there's a gigantic pit that I can only assume leads to somewhere. And what in the world do I do here? And there's platforms that go everywhere. And can I see down there? There's like a launch pad or something. Wow. And there's checkpoints? Did they really expect me to die? Just trying to get from point A to B? I just want to get to levels. Uh, Maybe I don't want to do this? Uh, yeah, where exactly am I going? <laughs> this is so bizarre. Whoa, I'm going up now. There's no way I can get over there for right now, at least not from here. And this is so weird. Can I like hop down there? Yeah, that looks like it's like a launch pad. Like there's something under that that'll open up. What is going on? What did Kaylee get herself into? Wait, 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 invisible platform. Invisible platform. Um, Let me change weapons. Here, out uh, to the roller. See what I can figure out here? What is this all about? Nothing really? Okay. I mean, there is something over there. What is going on here? Where are the actual levels? There's another thing down here. <laughs> oh my gosh, so we're looking for level what? 22? Yeah, I think level 22. All right, let's get up here. Don't know really how much that's doing for me. But okay, this is so weird and like creepily futuristic in some ways. Uh, let's get up here. And then the same thing for up here, if I can manage. Let me just stand here then. And yeah, get up here like this. And then go like that. Yes, no, maybe so. What, what was this for? What does this accomplish? I don't understand. There's nothing here. Maybe I could flat like that and there's gonna be like an invisible platform or something. Oh, well, I died. What in the world? <laughs> what is happening? Yo, know, I guess I'll get on this platform now because you know, why the heck not? There's where we started, over there. This is so confusing. Where am I going? What am I doing? What is my motive? Where can I maybe find a level to enter? That would also be you know, a great question to have answered. I think I actually need to, I've been using the charger a lot, but it's been real helpful for like, or not. There you go. And that leads way over there. Cool, I guess. 
So this closes these. I don't know if that's what I want. Because it doesn't really do anything for me, so why would I do that? Oh, I see. Maybe I can get across to there then? But why would I do that? I don't understand. Okay, now it's moving back all by itself. Uh. Oh, I see, so we can get up here and. Oh, okay, I got up, I got up. But now I gotta hit it again. No, I'm not. This is so bizarre. Where are the levels? I don't understand. This has to lead to like a level somewhere, something, right? Yeah, this isn't something invisible on it. This is what I'm looking for. Level 22, maybe? Level 25. Well, it's a level. I never have to come back here again because I can always just follow that, but I must have missed. Yeah, there's a platform up there. Huh. Okay. Oh, I just fell off. Well, luckily I don't have any limited lives around here. So I see what I need to do here. First, we're gonna let this raise again. Just like this. Wait for that. Now I need to pull up this weapon and I need to shoot that. Shoot that. And it's gonna lower it. Okay, but this is about to move up. No, it wouldn't let me jump, it wouldn't let me jump. Okay, I just gotta wait, just gotta wait. Patience is key. It's going back up. It's going back up, come back. It's come back, come back, come back. I don't understand why this platform even has to move like that. What level is this, level 22? Level 26. At least, you know, once I find these, I never have to refine them. So close, so darn close. So I've yet to really adventure over wherever this is gonna bring me. Like this area over here, I've yet to check out this part. So it's gotta be something worthwhile, right? Here, let's get rid of you. Can I shoot this at all? No, I can't get ink on that. So let's go ahead and regret all my life decisions. Man, and the, so we found two out of the six so far. There's still four left to find. But it's progress nonetheless, so that's good to know. Oh, nice. And then I need to double up. Nice, okay, we made that. But we're not quite done. This is just a gauntlet. It's telling me to go up here. What is up here? Nothing. It's just a big liar, it's a big phony. I don't appreciate big liar phonies. But there's gonna be something right here. There's gonna be level 24. Okay, one less level to find, right? Oh, here's the drop off, Wee, boom. Okay, so where is this one gonna bring me? Uh, All the way over here then, I guess. Okay, big jump, another checkpoint. Maybe it might just be easier to find all the levels first before, I mean, at this rate, I'm gonna find all the levels except for the one I need, but maybe it will be easier to do it that way so I never have to do all this again. <laughs> that would be nice. All right, well, boom, get across to there. And Get, oh geez, watch out. I wonder what that crate is. I might just break this crate right now to find out what it is. That is a ticket, okay. Not gonna sweat that too much. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Boom, get across, and then what is this right here? This is level 27. And that's like a bunch of octolings, uh, or yeah, octolings as the icon for it. Okay, not quite what I'm looking for. I can plop down here and continue looking. So let's get across to here, and let's shoot that thing. Oh boy, run, move, quick, 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 nice. Okay, so that wasn't too bad right there. Oh, I guess that's what I was expected to do then. Oh. All right, well then it's good that I have, let me, let me wait for all these to retract, and then boom, 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 and then just go. Just go, just go, just go. If that's all I have to do, it is not. I was gonna say, if that's all I had to do, that would be the easiest one yet. This is gonna be 23, so there really is only one left to find, and it's level 22. So let's go ahead and try to hunt that down if I can. Can I get back here? I can, so I just need to plop down here, go like that. I think it's gonna be an invisible platform ride to wherever that is. That's gonna be really weird. But hey, we were already like 10 minutes into this video, haven't even entered a single level, yet alone done anything beyond that. Okay, so I need to get back to there to start things off. Then I need to figure out how I can possibly get over there. I'm not really sure. I don't know. What do I do? Let me try a different weapon. A different weapon I can fire more easily. Low on ink, let me fill up. 
because I'm clearly missing something here. Nope, oh, here we go, here we go. It's a moving platform. So you could have just, every time you check, ended up not really realizing or just like missing because it's invisible. Okay, got that. I guess there's more over here, maybe? See, this was not moving last time. This platform was not moving. Now it is moving. It's like you need to paint it to even activate it to move sometimes, but not all the time. All right, we're finally here. Boom, get here. And that's just a checkpoint. So there's still more to find here. So not only is wherever, you know, this level is invisible, like, but the, the level itself is gonna be invisible too. So we need to find invisible stuff on invisible stuff. Well, hello. You're sort of helpful, but also sort of not. Let's go there. Oh, I almost missed that. There's stuff on the floor here. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, bada bing, bada boom, level 22 underground expressway octobrush with danger. Let's just get to it. Man, oh man. Wow, what is going on here? It's another early carnival level, or at least, you know, area type. Okay, take this, hey, hey look, another new weapon, the hero brush. If you love getting up close and personal, the hero brush is a weapon for you. Hold the yard to ink the ground as you run or spam the button to slash repeatedly. You can close in on enemies really quickly and then spy them in a bits like a ninja. Now this is actually something they added in, I think late Splatoon 1. Like they added it later in the game. They didn't add it right, like it wasn't right away. It was like DLC. So there we go, like that. Okay, so let's do that. Destroy some of this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, very good, very good. Nice stuff, okay, so wait here, and then get you, ha! <laughs> All right, so this isn't too bad so far. You don't have unlimited inks to watch the tank on your back, of course. You're telling me this in area five? Come on, Marie, what do you think I am? Not, you know, a professional agent four? I love the music here. I think that's gonna help me uh, survive however difficult this area is, but so far I'm actually having a lot of fun. You can also hold it down and do this, which is cool. So let's get that. And it's just fun because you feel like a ninja while you're like, ha, 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 ha. It's like if Link from Legend of Zelda was in Splatoon, I think he'd use this. So is this gonna be yep, invisible stuff? Okay, get out of here. Luckily, he's actually not too bad to you know, hit those guys with this thing. So, so far, it doesn't look like there's any apparent secrets. Um, Yeah, you can go this way though. And then just, I'm gonna jump. <laughs> that could have been really bad. So far, so good. It doesn't seem like I've missed anything. I mean, I could end up missing something. So I need to be careful. Like, anything above there, or under there, or anything. And then, get you, get you. Okay, there's that dude over there. I don't know what do I do about that guy. I guess we'll find out. Those guys with the shields are no big deal if you can flank them. Okay. Well, flanking is pretty tough when all the paint is in the way. There we go. Oh, I did what I could, I did what I could. So there's stuff down there. Lots of stuff down here. Boom, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Stop being unflankable. You got yourself stuck in a corner, which is super helpful for you, but I got myself an awesome weapon. Use it, use it, I will, don't worry. Okay, so I need to go like this, and then, boom, gotcha. Hey, hey, get out of here, you jerk. Okay, nice indeed. We're going this way. Oh, I can see the zapfish in the distance, looking as beautiful as ever. Nothing over there, right? We got ourselves a checkpoint, which is good, and some armor. Okay, so I am very curious about what we might have to expect here, and you know, with Kelly, whatever goes going on with Kelly, because obviously, it doesn't seem like the Octolings made a choice. I mean, okay, it doesn't seem like the Octolings. How do I get over that? Uh, just like this? Yes. It doesn't seem like the Octolings stole Kaylee. It seems like Kaylee made an active choice to go with them for some reason. I mean, think about this. And this is just my theory. After Splatoon 1, they have a some kind of concert with DJ Octavio. For one reason or another, they have, whoa, that was weird. Um, They have, some kind of concert with DJ Octavia. For whatever reason, that makes them have a bond with the Octolings. 
And then, for whatever reason, Kaylee feels like she's been too surrounded and is hyperventilating because of all this fame she gets and all these people surrounding her and wanting to, you know, talk to her and be with her that she just wants a place to be alone. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> but, um, so she tries to find a place to separate herself. And that ends up, did I not get the key? Oh no. Where does this lead? Um, I think just back. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we'll just ride that back. So Kaylee actually ends up going to her friend DJ Octavia for some advice or something. And maybe at that point DJ Octavia's like, ha ha, you're mine, Kelly. Or maybe even differently, DJ Octavia understands they become good friends. I don't know, like at that point it's sort of weird. Like that's what we're gonna find out. That's the big mystery, right? But obviously there's something weird that's going on. Are the Squid Sisters going to be continuing to be the Squid Sisters, or will this be the thing that separates them? Will this break up the band, per se? That would be awful, but it, it's possible. So hopefully I haven't found any secrets, by the way. I gotta be careful about that, but just trying to do what I can. Okay, doesn't look like there's too much over there. All right, what in the world are they up to? They're having some good old fun. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I mean, I feel like, yeah, it seems like the Squids in general are pretty mean to Octolings, but at the same time, the Octolings are also pretty mean to them. All right, let's uh, fill this up, and then, because they are stealing the great zapfish. You know, at the end of the day, they are stealing it. No matter what, it's not theirs. Um, unless it was, originally. Which, actually, wasn't that the case, according to the uh, old stuff that was, no, maybe I'm getting that, maybe I'm misremembering. But I feel like that's something that was shown in the, uh, what's it called, the original Sunken Sea Scrolls back uh, in the first game, was that, I remember there being something where the Inklings did something bad to the Octarians. Okay, this guy's a jerk and he will not let up. Boom, throw that over there and, and then get you. Get you, maybe? Jeez, he's bouncing all over the place. It's super frustrating. Come on, dude. What is your problem? Okay, I'm just gonna throw this right there and you're gonna have to make a choice. And it's, it's like, oh yeah, it's easy, flank them. No, it's not easy. Nice fight, get the launch pad. I will in a moment, once I find that armor that was sitting around, if it's still around. I think it's, yeah, it's just right here. Man, that was tough. All right, get that. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am. Really hard to tell for areas like this. But I think we're good. I'm gonna look around like over here. And... Okay, I think we're gonna go. Crazy first level so far, not, you know, Ridiculously difficult, but definitely a decent challenge. Okay, so you're a sniper, which means I need to get over here. Or are you a Gatling? You're a Gatling. Okay. Maybe I can just throw that over there. Will that go far enough? It will not. So I just need to go. I just need to go, 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 go. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, you jerk. Okay, okay, nice, that was not bad. <laughs> we made it work. There's gonna be an invisible platform here, no? Because you see how it ends in like little yellow blocks? Usually that means that there's something to jump off to. But I guess that's not the case, or maybe I'm just not splatting far enough? I'll definitely have to splat over there from here and see if I can't find anything. Uh, well, Get you in? I mean, I guess not. Hmm, I don't like that. There's something fishy about that. Get it, fishy, ha 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 ha. All right, where are you at? I'm just gonna chase you down like this, if I can. It might be a dumb idea. Yeah, you can always go faster than that, can't you? All right, well, what am I gonna do about this, dude? Maybe I should just get up here and worry about that instead? Because you're up here and you don't know I'm here yet. Ready for this? Oh, ah! no, how did you survive that? I don't understand. So there is a uh, metal minnow in here. What about this dude? Where is he at? So I'm just gonna throw that down this way and then get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, finally, jeez. You just have to fool him. You just have to fool him. And then we can get up here and open this because this brings me to the metal minnow. Nice, at least I got that now. So that's gonna be good. Now we got a bunch of invisible stuff, huh? Looks like it, yep. All right, well, I'll just fill this up. And we got a lot of squeegees ready to get up close and personal with a couple of octo commanders. No, but I'll do what I have to do for Kelly and for Marie, and just to help everybody out. What is this? Special ready. Lead those Nestro squeegees with ink and bombs. Hmm. Well, what if I, uh... All right, let me just make it rain over there. Uh, maybe that was what I was supposed to do. Maybe it wasn't. I guess that really didn't help too much. Hmm. 
Let me just try to splat everywhere I can. Oh no, okay, that got him. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I guess I'll cover you in ink, that way I can climb up you. Because right now you're sort of weird with like multiple colors of ink. Let's put that there, I'm gonna fill up as much as I can and then just jump on you. Or miss you entirely because I am the best platoon player of all time. There we go. Just get up. Just get up, please stop moving so sporadically. How am I supposed to handle that? How am I supposed to handle any of this? This game's so difficult. I guess just get up here. Come on. Come over here, dude. Please just get over here. Hup. Yes. Okay, stay on here. And then I'm gonna keep you know, like spreading this that way. Or this way. You know, you just go wherever you want, I guess. You just go wherever you want. No, that's not gonna line. Oh, it almost did. Come on, why is he just going wherever he wants? I don't understand. Like, look at how much is over here, dude. Okay, that's just orange stuff, which is useful in some ways, but not too much in the ways that I want. Okay, fill up, fill up. Go this way, please just go this way. Please just go this way. Look at how much I've been like filling this up and just nothing, he just does nothing. Find that, and watch. The second I hop off, he's gonna go exactly where I want him to. Yeah, that's basically what's happening. Okay, so you do whatever thing you want, you jerk. I'm gonna get up here for probably just some orange dots. Yeah, but I had to make sure. Oh, they're all comboing up now, huh? This is what you wanna do to me. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here and, yep, yep, yep. Man, it's just so hard to contextually understand what is happening. Like, I like the, the whole invisible platform gimmick to a point, but gosh darn, did they sort of kind of overdo it here in this later levels. Can I maybe just, yes. That is just some orange stuff that I don't really need. And there's the zapfish, already? No, 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 no. Wait, there it is. I just need to find a way down there. I just need to find a way down there. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, but stop. Stop, stop, stop. I need to hop on top of these guys. And then, I need to, how did they go in like such awful directions? Here, get to Yoon, and then just go this way. Go this way, big jump, yes. So where is this thing? It is like directly under? Okay, so it looks like there is a platform right down here. Okay, I have figured it out. There is our sunken sea scroll for this level. That could have been worse. It was close to the end, so it got me freaked out, but I was able to figure it out at the end. Where is this going? <laughs> it just goes way off. Here, uh, I gotta get all the way up here apparently, and I'm still going this way. Jeez, it just keeps going and going. Man, it just expects you to go this way for like ever. All right, well now I'm up here. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, I got on top of him. Now I just gotta get him to go over there. Oh my gosh, this took way too long. This took way, 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 way too long. Why is he going this way? This is the dumbest thing. Like I get it, like sometimes, haha, this is funny. I get to you know, lead these guys around, but at some point, it gets egregious. It gets so egregious. This is like, come on. Just go that way, please. Please just go that way. And then they bump into each other for literally no reason. And it's just like, I think I just need to fill up, throw, fill up, throw. Yeah, I guess I just gotta throw the bombs constantly. Oh, please, thank you, game. Thank you so much. Let's get out of here. The first half of this level was actually pretty fun. The second half, uh, I don't know. But level 22 is now complete. So luckily, now that we've you know gotten everything, we can just sort of hop over to the next area, but look at how many weapons we have, it's insane. Let me check your weapon log, yup, yup, yup. Really good stuff, I don't wanna hear it, you've said it so many times. So there we go, we got the hero brush, very cool, and yet another, hey Squid Kids, it's me, Kelly. It's been so long since I've written a proper blog post. Oh, those little emoticons, yeah, they're little squid emojis. Being on my own like this, I, I've got time to think, but sometimes I think too much, but I'm really psyched for filming today, stay fresh, so definitely, it seems like before we even know where she went, she uh, was sort of on her own, so they've been just sort of taking a high hiatus, but I don't care at this very moment, because we gotta beat these levels to even save her. Level 23, the Octo Galaxy one with the Cosmos, let's go. Okay, I could really use more data on this weapon. Can you use it for a bit? Yeah, I would love to use the hero duelies. Trust me, stay fresh, Asian 4. I'll do my best, man. I will do my best. Okay, let's go. Boom. Get it. Got it. Booyah. You're telling me. Booyah indeed. I'm gonna booyah all over these guys because I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of all of them being jerks to me. 
There's nothing over here. Had to make sure. Let's try this. We up. Oh, that's why that's there. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, and let's just pretend it didn't happen. Okay, whoa, nailed it. <laughs> okay, at least she's sort of being nice. You know, as nice as she can be, apparently. I mean, I guess it's just sort of her personality. You didn't really, like, that's sort of the thing. You talked about the Kelly and Marie so much in the Lance game between the two. You didn't get a read on any of their personalities too much. So I guess I could have uh, just, or not, um, something. Whatever. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't care as long as there's no secrets to mess, really. Ink furlers, boom. I probably should be getting uh, uh, some upgrades soon. The problem is that I just don't know what to upgrade. I mean, I could just keep upgrading my, uh, what's it called? Like, like, I don't want to upgrade a specific weapon because we're bouncing between weapons all the time. So I could just keep upgrading my ink capacity. And I think that might just be the best idea at this point. Maybe we'll do that before we go into the final boss because, you know, why not? Looks like there's nothing else around here. Had to make sure, had to make sure, let's go. I just gotta remember, if there's something floating, that of course means that there's probably a, oh, side hop, side hop. There's probably a secret exit somewhere, or like a secret hidden platform. Okay, this is scary. They're about to pop up again. Oh, up, oh, yep, that's fun. Like, this part is really cool, because once again, it reminds me of Ratchet and Clank, and it's just fun to hop around like that. Like that I can appreciate. Boom. So those two are gonna go off, but first, a cannon, you think you could use it for something? Probably. First off, taking care of you jerks as much as I possibly can. Wow, that is cool, it's heading towards me. Can I hit this? Yes, I can. Either that or just hit its maximum travel distance. Interesting. There has to be some other uses for it too, I'm sure. So let me look around as much as I can, get these things. So I'm not exactly sure what's up there, but it seems to be some kind of alternate route. Where does this one lead? Cause there's stuff all over the place here, as you can see. So if we can just take the right route, maybe that's what's gonna, you know, get us something extra special. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I think I hit all of them. I tried my best to. And now we got a ride on this. This is interesting. They can make like whole parkour maps just like this. Wee, wee, whoa. Wow, that was scary. So yeah, I have a few options here and, and I could have ended up not landing here. I gotta be careful. Um, what is up here? Okay, so this is the Metal Minnow. Yeah, buddy. Okay, that was scary. That was really scary. Boom, hit that. I'm going this way now. I gotta go quick though. I gotta go quick. I gotta go quick. I gotta go quick. And they have some of those little uh, landing flags. That's cool. Okay, so let's go like this. Get that. Whoa, I guess I'm going down this way now. Um. Well, that's cool and everything. It's a cool shortcut. I don't really care too much. I just want to get everything. Oh, keep going. I'm trying. I'm trying, Marie. I always forget which one I'm talking to. Uh, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. I gotta die. I gotta die because I went the wrong way. No, 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 no. I tried to jump off and it wouldn't let me. I gotta go over there and huh. Okay, so let's try this one more time. I need to just pay explicit attention to this situation where we can just jump over here. And this should bring me to the secret platform. It indeed does, so let's go ahead and do that. Throw that bomb over there, distract you a little bit, go overhead, and yep, that was definitely it. That was definitely it. Okay, can you stop it though, dude? Like, you're the worst. You are the worst. There we go. Okay, take me somewhere awesome, game. Take me somewhere awesome. We seem to be doing okay. Get that little orange shot, maybe? Oh, hey, I didn't expect that. If we just stay in this, we're fine now. Okay, so hit that, get that checkpoint. Looks like we're going this way. Nice riding, Agent 4. I wasn't sure where you were going, if you were going to make it. Well, wow, thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, well, we're going the right way now, and I've got all my secret collectibles, so all I need to do is just hang tight for the rest of the level and hopefully don't get a game over, or as they say in this game, a rip. Ooh, got it. I'm gonna land here. Start shooting this thing, jump to the left, hit that, get that, jump to the left again, jump back to the right so I can shoot that, and then, you know, miss it or something. Okay, this is a little scary, but as long as I jump off like this, wow, that laser is ridiculous. Um, Hey guys, bada boom, bada boom, yeah, we got it, boom, zap fish for us, double secret item, four minutes, it didn't feel like four minutes, but hey, I will take it.
So there we have it, level number two of area five is completed with the Splat Duelies, and that means we get yet another entry in here. We are really getting through them. Do you ever think, man, this place is ugly. My evil lair could use some pizzazz. Well, just whip out some sparkly fabric and tape and get your decorate on. It looks great, feels great, and it's fun. Give it a try and stay fresh. What? Is she helping them make very beautiful evil lairs? Because it's very beautiful here, but it's also an evil lair. Is she just really the stylist? What the heck? Level 24, transfer junction, intersection of the soul. Let's go. Okay, I could really use more data on this weapon. I would love to give you some on the hero slasher. Now, this actually looks like a really fun area. Let's hope that is the case. Hello, sir. Let's go ahead and throw something on your platform so you just have to deal with it. See ya. Boom, get that. And then I'm gonna go over here. And then, can I throw this on your platform? Nope, because you're gone. <laughs> okay. Hoping for, you know, easiness. That'd be fun. I mean, last level wasn't incredibly difficult. I just messed on one thing that ended up making me have to reset everything. Can't quite throw that far. I wish I could throw farther. I wonder if you could upgrade the bomb so you get a farther throw. Probably not. Because once again, this is supposed to help you prep for online mode. And they don't want to, you know, make you expect something you can't actually accomplish, right? Like throwing it too far. All right, so we've made our way this way. I don't think we missed anything. Do, 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 do. Okay, it doesn't look like we have. Okay, that's good. Fill up all that, sure. So I need to land on that platform next time. Can I make this throw? I cannot. Well, my ink is gonna fill up once I'm over here. So I just need to stay on. Like, that's all I'm focused on is staying on. Well, that was not me. I held that button down. I held that button all the way down. So I don't know what happened there, but it wasn't me. Okay. Let's get that. There we go. I'm still really curious to see like what is really going on. The big mystery. Okay, there's something on the other side of this. First, fall down here. Get some armor that I'm sure to need. And then we're gonna check out what's on the other side of him. We got ourselves a metal mid off. So definitely worth getting if I can. Got it. So just keep like this. Keep like this for as long as we possibly can. He's going up and down. And then boom, like that. Nice. So get rid of you. And then get rid of you. <laughs> These guys are weird how they're just hanging off the side, but you do whatever you want, man. You do whatever you want as long as it doesn't end up in my own death. Okay. The level, the difficulty spike is really crazy. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say Splatoon 1 story mode was, you know, very, very easy, but I feel like it wasn't nearly this hard. Don't fall off. Hoop. Okay. Nothing else around here. Doesn't look like it. We can move on to the next area. We're just looking for the sea scroll. Speaking of which, don't go too far before we check around here. Dun, 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 dun. All right, rock the block. Oh, block rocker. Okay, calm down there. Or uh, whatever your name is, Ralph. Uh, I forget, Sheldon. Why do I think your name is Ralph? I don't know. Okay, Um, let's get over there and over here. There. So we've got most of it. Oh, what's down here? Oh, what is down here? A sunken sea scroll. There you go, snooping around again. It's my job. It's my job, indeed. Can I get back up there? Uh, I guess just like this. And then, boom. Wow, we got all the secrets for this one. So far, this level ain't half bad. Oh, nice. Okay, and then get to here. Oh, I almost didn't make that. So we gotta get that and then not mess up my jump. So I'm gonna have to give that a second shot. Okay, ready, set, boom. And I mean, it really is cool how good this game looks because now you're all the way, now you're way up there. Yep, I am. It really is cool how good this game looks because one thing, it's still on a portable console, which I think a lot of people forget. Another thing, it looks even better than Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 1 was a really good game graphically. All right, can we get you maybe? Got you. Is this a sponge I'm on or is these just moving platforms? I guess they're just moving platforms that will launch me high up in the sky. Whoop, okay, hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. I'm just moving as much and as quick as I can. Come on, got you. Then when they extend, I'm gonna get over here and then get rid of you. Nice. Okay, get up there and go, go, go. Launch me somewhere cool. We gotta be getting close to Zapfish, right? Wow, there's a lot more to go for all the secrets we've already found. Oh, no baddies here. The Octarian's taking a lunch break. I would assume no. Oh, now we're going up here. Okay, so that is some armor. Looks like we have to come back here because there's a key. Hmm. These levels just get crazy complicated. Oh, hello then. Looks like there's a switch on every side of the cube. This is a cube? Okay. 
I'll take your word for it. Let's get rid of you, and then you two. The slush is actually a really fun weapon. It, like, I'm still deciding which one's my favorite. Oh, this cube. I thought that we were on a cube. And that's what she's like, is it an unfolded cube? <laughs> Not the case. Case. All right. No, ouch, that hurt. Looks like that's all of them. Oh, so now I can get up here. Boom, get like that. And then, how do I get that one on top? Maybe through something going on around here? I can only hope so. Did have some dot, dot, dots leading around. Really weird. Get that, wait. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> okay. What's the cool thing about the slosher is that if I, oh, come on, come on. Oh, geez, he's just spreading everything everywhere. Can you stop it? Man, they say to flank them, but it's, it's so tough to flank them. Ah, oh, man, they are, the shield enemies always get me and it's the worst. Maybe I could throw a bomb on top of this. That got it done. So I just gotta get one more, which is great, but at the same time, it's just like, ugh. I just really don't like the bomb enemies. Oh, I meant the bomb enemies, the shield enemies. They're always so tough for me. I'm gonna wait right here. And then put this somewhere. It just, and he's always facing you and bombarding you with like stuff, so it's just so hard to do anything. Come on, there we go, come on, he's so low, but it's just like he won't give me a second to either get some ink or throw a bomb or anything. The lighting effects are amazing, but I don't care because I'm getting bombarded with ink and it's annoying. Come on, can I hit you from above? Or no, the shield has that much reach apparently. Got him about gosh darn time I got him. Um. Okay, now it's moving. I don't like that it's moving, but it's moving. And there's some that we've already hit that it wants me to hit again. Okay, this is just weird. Um, So we hit that one. I think we're just trying to hit these two. Got it. Maybe I could just hop on top of it. Yep, just like that. I'm waiting for like what? There's one more we gotta hit here. It's this one, got it. A key appeared. Where's that key at? It's way down here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, so now we can finally unlock this bad boy, but first let me get that, land here, throw that. Where am I going? Getting this armor, that's where I'm going. Oh, we, gotta keep, we can give it this way. And there it is, the Zafish, well done. Now grab that Zafish, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. First I gotta get these, go over here, and then get it, get it, get it. Yeah, okay, that wasn't awful. Could've been better, could've been worse. Six minutes and 55 seconds at the junction. Okay, transfer at the junction, there we go. And we get more stuff. This looks like, this looks to be a thesis on the massive weaponry employed by the Octarian. Specifically, this research shows the, how sentient tentacles are implanted in their machines as a means of control. This science is at least 15 years old ahead of the rest of the world. Wow, so the Octarians actually have some up there technology. I wasn't aware of that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next level though that we haven't completed, which would be level 25. And we're starting to get there. Slowly but surely, we are at level 25, Platform Madhouse, please mind the gap. You the best, no, you the best. Okay, I could really use some more data on this weapon. Okay, the Hero Spotling, I will take it. It's not a bad weapon. All right, got those. I mean, even, I'm even getting used to the Hero Charger with how much I've had to use that. I mean, the only weapon I'm really not enjoying too much right now is still the Splasher, the Splatter, whatever it is. Uh, where's that key hiding? Somewhere, and probably on one of these moving platforms, right? Let's get rid of you two, you three. Ooh, oh, and you're, you were a shield guy? All right. Can I just overwhelm you, maybe? Just destroy your shield? Yep, there you go. It always feels so much nicer just to destroy the darn shield. Let's get some more ink. Oh, hi. <laughs> But one thing I did wanna talk about is as of recording this video, there has yet to be announced a Pearl and a Marina Amiibo. And to me, that is absurd. I was like, why isn't there a Pearl and Marina Amiibo? Cause they both look awesome. And I can't wait to see if they do have Amiibo. I don't have a single Amiibo. I've never really been too much into collecting them, especially since they get super expensive and they're hard to find and it just seems like a hassle. All right, can I get that? I can. I can't quite get you from here, but if I charge up, oh, got you. And then charge up, charge up, bada boom! Nice, okay. So we're doing all right. I don't think there's any more that I might have missed unless there's something like under here, but that doesn't look to be the case. So we are just gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. And there's gonna be a launcher, of course. Whee! 
see. And from this angle, we can see if there really was anything under there. And it does not look like, wait, there was. There was something on there. Oh, okay, we're already restarting. Just plop down here? Yes, just like that. So you don't need to do anything fancy there. And that's gonna give me a ticket. And is that it? Did I just spend like 15, 10 minutes just finding a ticket? Yes, I did. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. I really hope these tickets are more useful than I think they are. I really, really hope. Okay, so now we're back here and at least we can adventure something new now. Uh, let's get all of that and then all of this too. And then, oh, don't forget about you. There you go. Nothing behind here. And yeah, we would've saw it when we were flying in. But we can get a superpower, which would be nice and fun about now. I don't know if I need it for this situation, to be honest with you. Because I think I can handle this, maybe. And this isn't, these platforms aren't leading anywhere misleading, right? Uh, let's go ahead and try to get you a little bit, dude. Oh, that slowed me down! Oh man, this game is really trying to go, make me go insane. I just, I've been dying so much. I gotta redo the levels when I miss one little secret that I can't go back for because it's so easy to miss, so it's just like, oh, come on. Uh, let's get rid of you. I don't know, if it wants me to throw it here, I guess I'll throw it here. That's the wrong thing. I gotta press R and then throw this thing. And it's just like, is that really gonna help me all that much? It's like, it's not even falling in a good spot. I guess not. I mean, oh, is it moving? Yeah, it is moving. Maybe it just moves in the direction I threw it, which would have been great if I threw it in a farther spot then, so I was right to hold on to it. But then it's like, why would it give it to me then then? Okay, wow! Uh -huh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it now. That was sort of a bad throw, but hey, as long as it gets done when I want it to get done, I have no idea if that is the case. Oh my gosh. You're one cold-blooded squid. I don't know about that. Compared to these guys, these guys are what mainly cold-blooded if I am, because they are just so difficult to deal with. All right, so we're definitely getting this checkpoint because I'm only on one life left, and I do not want to die. Whoop, whoop. Because these, they're, like, they're all moving at different rates and speeds and stuff, and at different directions even, which makes it wickedly difficult to really figure out what I'm supposed to do. Especially since, you know, ones like these, these this weapon, it just has like a very big drop off on the paint that's being shot out. So it's just hard to figure out. Let's get across to here. I don't see anything I might have missed. I gotta spot those switches apparently. I can't quite do that from this distance, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Get you, then get you, no, can't do that. All right, getting over here. Get you, and then turn and then charge up. Get you, oh, you have your shield. I really don't need you to be a shield, dude. Just get rid of that shield, thank you, goodbye. Whoop. And then I'm gonna face this way and then press the camera button, shoot this thing, got it. Shoot that thing, got it. I don't think I've missed anything. I mean, we still have yet to find our secrets, our metal metal and our thing. Let me just quickly, oh, oh. nope, not far enough. Let's just go ahead and destroy whoever I can then. Okay, I got the big guy, which is the worst of it. Hide right here, fill up, throw the bomb. It got something. Nice, I got one of them. <laughs> Better than none. Get you, get you, get you. I guess this is where I could have used the actual make it rain thing. I don't, I'm not going in there, not going in there. And I can ink this, oh, I can't ink it, but I can shoot it, so might as well fill up my ink again, and then, nice. Okay, I got all of them. So before we do anything else, I'm gonna thoroughly explore. See if there's maybe something like behind here or anything like that, which it doesn't look like there is, so I'm gonna go. I really hope not. <laughs> doesn't look like it. Okay, get this, and that's gonna be some armor, which is great, and more of this, very good. So these ones, don't let these moving platforms throw you for a loop. I'll do my best, but that might not be something I can just simply do. So they just sort of shuffle themselves. So it doesn't look like I can get under them in any way. Okay, so yeah, they, they really just do loop and shuffle. Interesting. Uh, Shoot, shoot, shoot. Good, good, good. Get this. Okay, man, oh man. These levels are just ruthless. Like, oh my gosh. I gotta say, like Nintendo games, I feel like they got really easy at some point, and now they're back to being really hard again. It makes me wonder, how difficult is Mario Odyssey gonna be? Because right now Splatoon 2 is definitely like the most known Switch game, but I think of course Mario Odyssey is gonna take the cake out of all the Nintendo games releasing this year, for an obvious reason. Um, it's Mario Odyssey. 
but I can't wait to see how difficult it's gonna be. I also am dreading to see how difficult it's gonna be because I plan on playing the game all the way through. Um, no, thank you. Okay, he's stuck, which is great, and he's just gonna fall off, and I don't wanna join him, so I'm gonna shoot this, move over here and shoot that, because why not? Get over here where there is a checkpoint, which I love to see. Now, buddy, I gotta deal with you. Can I shoot that far from here? I don't think I can. So I might as well do something more productive, like shoot these. And then I thought that maybe it would explode his friend. Did not. Ooh, I don't even know if I'm hitting him. I guess I'm not. Go, got him. Okay, okay. Get that, get that, turn and get you. No, not quite. Get him. Man, he's like way farther than he looks. That's ridiculous. Get him, get him, get him. Nice, finally. It doesn't look like I'm missing anything. There's nothing like on top of those walls. And I can't even splat these walls, so definitely not. So I guess I am making my way over here. Nothing under this crazy stuff. So I guess I'm going up. And then one more. Oh no, I don't need one more. Oh, I guess I do sort of. I just need it to be this one now. Uh, can I get up that? Nope. Oh, come on. Just do that, and then get up it. Go, 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 go. Slick to the, stick that wall. I'm trying. Oh, so there is the metal minnow. I guess I'll just go ahead and grab that right now. Where is this gonna launch me then? So I found one out of the two secrets. What about this? Yeah, I didn't think so. That, that's a little too out in the open. And then Yoon are definitely not gonna be it. But I can shoot it just to see what it is. I think that switch over there, I got it. I like how it tells me how to do that stuff, but it never tells me how to do the things I'm usually lost on. Okay, so where's this gonna bring me if I keep shooting it? Um, in the range of bad guys, thanks. Okay, so where exactly am I going now? Because it's gonna bring me like through this grate. Yes, okay, that was really scary. I'm not wanting to fill up, fill up, fill up. Fill up again. So I don't know where else I'm supposed to go right now, except for right here and, okay, I gotta get you. Nice. So that thing is moving back. What does this do? It moves the same platform I'm, I'm on right now. Okay. I guess that's why the balloons were leading to this. Okay, no, don't leave me! Oh, did I get a checkpoint there? I did, oh, thank goodness. Oh, I can't quite get that. But this guy's still around, huh? Got him. Not that big of a deal, I guess. So I just gotta destroy this thing until it shows up. There it comes. It's all the way down there, though. So I just need to stand in a good position most of the time. All right, then, so. I don't have any other chances now. I just messed it up. I gotta do this. I got one last shot at this, and I cannot be that dumb again. Oh, boy. See, look at how simple that was. Now I just shoot it one more time like that. It's gonna move me over here, fill up on ink, because I know I need it. Start shooting it like that, fill up on ink, shoot it again. Where's it taking me? Take me to your leader or something like that. Shoot it again. Turn and shoot that, because you know, it sort of gives me, you know, something else to focus on, I guess. Fill up, and then Oh, I can't hit it from here. And maybe I can hit it from here though. Okay, that helps, I guess. Well, why is it on its side? Why is it turning? Um what? What? Okay, I'm on here now. Uh, okay, there's the zap fish. That's bad news. But there is also a little platform over here. You guys see that? As if there's something supposed to be here? Uh, there's not, there's not anything here. Let me just get up here really quick. Wait, what is that? Wait, what is that? Shoot this. As far as it'll go. And then, as I'm over here, shoot this thing. Where is this gonna bring me? Secret? Hello, sir. Huh? This is like some long forgotten deserted island. It is, and you're here. That's not good. <laughs> he has a little palm trees on his head. Okay, this is a cool secret. This might be one of the coolest secrets in the game so far. Where is that? That's gonna launch me up here. And I can slam through it all, right? Or I can just do this. Whee! Wait, one more. Got it. 
So there it is, we found it. I was gonna freak out, but that must be one of the hardest found secrets in the game, because that's just like a one little tiny thing. We got it. Beautiful. Please mind the gap, I'll try. I will try. Okay, so there's level 25 done, which means we only have a couple more left to go, and a ticket. Okay, number 25, my dearest Callie and Marie, stop on a research trip to the Cape with Agent 3. Oh no, this is this telling them to stop. It's like a poem. So my dearest Kelly and Marie, on a research trip to, to the Cape with Agent 3, may be late, but left dinner in the fridge. So it's like a haiku or something? I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah, they went on a trip with Agent 3. I really wanna see, you know, maybe that's what that other game mode is. I have to assume that's what, what it is. Okay, phew, another one in the bag, you're telling me. Okay, so we're now we're moving on to level 26 out of 27, which is gonna be way over here. And let's get started with Paradise Lanes. Get the ball ro rolling, not rowing. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. That's good to know. I could really use some more data on the hero roller. You will get it. And you can't even see any of the screens that are normally around. I guess if you stare for long enough, but it's just so uh, foggy. Hopefully this is you know sign of an easier level because we haven't seen a level top like this until earlier in the game, so maybe I can you know roll things up really well. Here, let's go ahead and not do this. I'm already getting hurt, so you can tell that maybe this won't be so easy. Here, get this. There we go. That was good. These guys just don't stop. I've actually died in the first couple seconds. Man, oh man, they just don't give up. They just keep going and going. Here, explode that, you jerk and then throw that over there, and he's just knocking himself away over here, so they're so hard to hit, especially with something like the roller. Get you out of here. Now I've dealed with those bozos. That's how you do it. You're telling me. I wish you could, you know, if you were so good at knowing how to do things, you could tell me, or you know, you could just go ahead and do it yourself. I'd like to see that. I mean, I still don't know what happens with most of the amiibo, because apparently there's a big secret with uh, how the Kelly Marie amiibo work that can't be shown until the game launches. Don't know what they do, because I don't have them. I don't have a single amiibo. Oh cool, more spinning platforms, yeah. You sound about as enthusiastic as I do about it. Here, let's do that. Uh, just stick to the wall. And Okay, if I were you. Yep, okay, that's what I did. Dude, these guys are the worst. Can I get up there? I can't, at least not from this angle. I think that's it, though. I hope that's it. Looks like it. Maybe, every, as soon as you use that launcher, everything despawns, which is so inconvenient for uh, trying to find secrets as you fly away. All right, watch your step, I'm gonna try. Boom, hit that, I get myself the metal minnow already, that's great. Early metal minnow is good, because that means I can just focus on finding other secrets. Uh, get this, so this is actually multiple power-ups here. You got this one, and then I'm gonna roll this up as much as I can, boom. Oh boy, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that one. Oh, he's stuck in this place for some reason. That was weird. Okay, go up here, please. Go up here, go up here, go up here. No! Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that all of that even exists, and I'm just gonna go up here, because there definitely was no secret. I could have just climbed up here and reinvestigated it, but definitely not. Okay, and I still have this superpower if I need it. Maybe take a second to plan your route before rushing forward. You're the one who says ink before think. Hey look, a jukebox. That's pretty cool. Hmm. That's definitely what I want, is those two platforms to be there. The problem, you know what, let's do this. Let's make it rain. Because I need to make sure, yeah, look, there's stuff on this side too. I didn't know if that was gonna be the case, and it was. So let's go ahead and fill this up as much as I can. Go, 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 go. Get Yoon. It doesn't look like there's anything beyond that, which is good. My cat's making a lot of noise. That is not good. All right, jump, and then move. I'm just gonna move out of the way if I can, but at the same time, try to be inquisitive on what's going on around here. My cat wants pets. He can't get pets right now. I'm playing the last area of Splatoon. I'm busy. Yeah, I'm sorry, she needs a pet. I gotta give her at least one pet. There you go, that's all you get. All right, look at all those octobars. They're actually pretty magnificent. Oh wow, that does look so cool. Wow, look at them. They got talent. I just wish they would not spend their talent on evil doings. Cat still wants pets. <laughs> okay, what is happening here? It looks like I can move here. 
None of them are coming from this way. And then I can do a bit of backing up because I messed this up. Throw that there and go like that. Oh, that was a mistake, but I didn't fall. I didn't falter. Oh boy. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that because there was what looks like more secrets to find. I can't get up there. Wait, this path is blocked. I guess we should go back. That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Get back up here and get myself a checkpoint. That's at least appreciated, is the checkpoint. I guess I'll get these eggs and then run back as quickly as I can and then just roll this. Yep, boom, more eggs. Get this because apparently this will just break the bowling ball. So I, of course, don't quite want to do this. I want to wait and then big jump. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, okay, that wasn't too bad of a sunken sea scroll. I like that one. We just gotta make this jump again, not get squished by that bowling ball, and get out of here. Nice, let's keep going. Whoa, what is that? What is that thing? It's a giant jar of stuff in another jukebox, okay. Looked way different. Oh, we got ourselves a big one. You're telling me. You're gonna be a ticket? It's gonna be a ticket. Pretty predictable there. We're sort of starting to get used to that. So we can hit this stuff, but not very easily. Hmm. All right, well. I'm guessing that means we won't have an awesomely gigantic cannon to deal with these bozos this time. Hmm. All right, well, I don't know exactly what I should be doing, so I'm gonna move over here and, and I guess hit this one more time or a couple more times. All right, Zaphis just ahead, just keep pushing, I'm trying. Get this, and then, so we're almost on this level. Actually, this wasn't too, too bad. Okay. It would be nice if hitting a checkpoint would refill your ink, but I guess it makes sense that it doesn't. Oh, hi. Goodbye. Smack this as much as I can. Yep. Oh gosh, it's still moving. It's still moving. Ugh. Get up here. Get up here. And then I just need to survive for a little bit longer. Go. I don't know where this is gonna bring me. I guess over here. Um, I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta move. Ah! See ya, yeehaw, yeah, that's something to say. Oh my gosh, we just sort of snuck in there for that last part, but there we have it. We got that level done, not too bad. Oh man, man, oh man, oh man, but we got one level left, and then we have the final boss to deal with, which is just great. Okay, try showing this to Krusty Sean. We know about the ticket. The second to last one, Calamari Research Labs video log number 5628. This coffin-like device is a historical relic of the old world and is kept under strict lock and key. I unplugged it by accident while cleaning the other day, but it seems to still be running somehow. Good job, dude. Interesting. So we don't have to worry about that though because we have one last thing to do. It's gonna be level 27. Way over here and Let's go to it. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be a Squid Sisters one. I probably should have changed my weapon then because I don't think a roller is gonna be all that helpful. You know the drill, let's get those little fishies back. And it's the last drill we need to know of. And it's actually another one of these more multiplayer focused maps. I mean, yeah, all these ones are always multiplayer whenever we do against Squid Sisters, which is cool. I'm fine with that. You know, add some variety to what we're usually used to. And I just gotta be thorough. You know, no matter how thorough I think I'm being, I'm not being thorough enough. Okay, let's splat that like that. Fill up and then break that. Get up here. Oh, I can't get up here. Interesting. Can I get up there? No, because it's not something to get up. Hmm. Well then, they're already like refilling, like they're already re-salvaging this. Like why even? Okay, you have a roller too, huh lady? Who's gonna be the best roller? Guess we'll find out. So let me get over there and get the armor. Cause I'm gonna need it at this rate. Oh man. Oh, and don't forget about this. Okay. <laughs> it could have been something more. It's a problem. It's not about what it was, it's about what it could be. You know? Ooh. Get that. And then you got some more coming up here. Got you right away though. You didn't have a chance. So this is more of like a rock climbing gymnastic area. Oh wow, easy sunken sea scroll. Wow, we now it seems like on average the, what's it called, is always by the spawn of them. So I'm gonna go like that, and they are shooting at me, or something's shooting at me. Let's deal with that. There's shots going on everywhere. Oh, get this thing. Sure, why not? Boom, nope, I'm not wanting. Run and run. Get you, nice. Get you, boom. So five to go, five to go indeed. Let me break this, because I don't know where the metal minnow is gonna be, but it might, be on here. Jeez, I'm running out of ink so gosh darn fast. Boom. 
Boom. Okay, that wasn't it, but hey, gave me an easier way to get up here. Uh, boom. Get up here, get up here, get up here. Yep. Nice, so there's our Metal Minnow. So honestly, I could go ahead and get all this other stuff and rush through. I mean, or I could rush through. And honestly, I think I might want to rush through if I can, if I can manage it. Because this stuff is gonna prove to be quite difficult. All right, fill up as much as I can wherever I can. I don't think I can get up here, up there from here. But I can just go ahead and fall to my doom. That was a little deceiving. I can't say I'm extremely happy about that. And it didn't count our Metal Minnow because we haven't Wow, game, what is your problem? So it's this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy out and just focus on whoever I need to, which seems to be just you. So you know what, if I need to pull out a whole superpower solely just to take you out, I'm gonna do it. So let's ride this up here and get this. Perfect timing, thank you, miss. So we got one over there. Let me get this extra armor, charge up. Throw that down there, charge up again. Oh, all right, so this guy's wide open, and so are you. Go, 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 go. Oh, hey, hey. Don't fix this. There, I unfixed it. So we need to somehow get over there. Probably by climbing up here, if I had to assume anything. It looks like my assumption was wrong. How do I get up there? I guess I'm already up there. It's, I just need to not fall down this darn area. Get that. And where are you at? You're right there, see ya. Are you were there? Not anymore. All right, get more ink. Run out of ink so gosh darn much. I'm definitely upgrading my ink before I think that before we go into the final boss, we're also gonna do all the balloon stuff. I'm gonna get the final metal minnow in there and the final, uh, what's it called? So what is this gonna be? Just that. More armor is actually pretty good for a situation. Get this if I can. Boom, three to go. Fill up. And where there is not another one here. That bright light made me think it was one, but it is not. Okay, I'm gonna try to get out of here if I can manage. Okay, I somehow got you. Oh no, there is one over there. I thought it was just a weird light. It is not. Boom. And then I don't know what's up there. I don't know if I really care. I mean, here. Just get rid of you, because you're a jerk. Oh, it's a ticket. That I don't think I can get up to. I don't know how I get that. Maybe by bouncing? Probably by bouncing. Boom. Oh, I gotta bounce up here and go like that, pick up the ticket. Nice, we've got everything then. Everything that you know it's really worth getting, I've gotten. Get like that, get over here just to fill up on ink, that'd be nice. All right, lady, I'm gonna fill up with this, and you're just gonna get out of here. All right, I didn't quite get you there. That's okay, because I can get you like that. I got two more to go, this is gonna be the second to last one. Where's the last one gonna be then? Um, Maybe I can find out after I get this armor, just like that. Where's the last one? Over here, so let's go and get that. Boom, 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 boom. Uh. Maybe I could just go like this. Hold on. Oh, awkward. Slam it, grab it. Nice, we did it. We did it all in the first try without taking too much time. There we go. Okay. So there we have it. That done with the roller. And we get another ticket. And our last in level, whoa. What in the world? I guess this is where the final boss resides. Oh no. But before we do that, we got a couple more things to do. First, read the final in level secret C scroll or whatever. Oh Judd, when your capsule opens in the future, you may find yourself alone. Should that be the case, I ask you to re-energize the capsule once again. Oh dearest Judd, I only hope that you can forgive me for all I've put you through. What? The cat is from the past? What? All right, let's do this. What is that supposed to mean? We can't do the boss just yet though, because like I said, I want to fly around and uh, try to get whatever we can get. Um, I just got to figure out where that might be. There's the balloon right there. So that's near area 25. So first I'm going to get the dualies, just in case. And then we're going to go and jump to area 25 and try to figure this out. It's down there, you can see it. So maybe the best bet is to not do that. But the ride the platform that would go by there. Okay, so there it is. I just need to get the charger. And just hope that I can, you know, follow it. Usually these things loop, right? So let me get some target practice on any other balloons we pass. And this should just loop in a big circle. So hopefully it does what I need it to do. Man, I can't wait to see what this final boss is. Like I said, we're gonna get all these balloons and then we're gonna, that's not the one I'm looking for. Those are the blue ones that don't really matter as much. 
Okay, this is going all the way around now. And it's wrapping around that, so I hope I'm approaching it from the correct angle. If not, I'm gonna go crazy. Um, Come on now, boom. Nope, definitely not right. Definitely not right. Oh, I can get it from here. Okay, get that. And now they're way over there. Hold on, hold on, how do I do that? How in the world do I do that? How do I do that? What? I guess I gotta time with that platform. So this is the platform I need to ride. Definitely is. Now there is a metal minnow under this, but I exported the box that it had it contained in and it's just no longer there. So I don't know if I missed my opportunity to get it, or if maybe it's just not spawning in because of something with the boss. I don't really know. But we can try to shoot at this, if the, you know, graces will let me. Okay, get that, get that, and now it's over here. Come on now. That was dumb, but it worked. Sort of. Got him. Oh, it's way over there. Way over there, way over there. Come on, come on. Got it. How do I get up there? There's a way to get up there, and, and is it gonna be that platform or that one? Uh. Best guess is this one? That's a long shot though. I don't know. Oh man, I just don't know. I have to guess this one though. Let's try to at least get some better context clues about what's going on with this platform from here. And maybe it like goes on for longer than I thought. There's no way I can reach that from here though. What do I do? It has to be that one then. It has to be. Then I guess I'll die and try to figure that out. How, how where, where, where's that platform coming from? It has to be coming from here, right? What, what is that? What, what, where's that platform coming from? Oh, okay. Down here, up here, and then from this over to here, and got it! Finally, so that is every single sunken sea scroll in the game gotten. Welcome to Octo Canyon, the world's most gorgeous gorge. Collect all the commemorative souvenir stickers. We got all of them, awesome. So before we go to the boss kettle, I got one last thing to do. We're going back to sector one. Okay, so now that we're here, might as well get whatever upgrade I can, and I think the best idea would be to go ahead and unlock the ink tank. As many ink tanks as we can get, which is probably just one. Let's see, bam, up to max. You can only level it up one time, okay. Might as well unlock these things as well since I'm here. I mean, I don't think I'll be using them in this battle, but maybe at some point later we can show them off. The auto bomb, cool. Uh, and then we don't have, well, we have enough for like upgrading this. What other weapons can we upgrade? We can't afford to upgrade any of these. So we might as well go ahead and upgrade the hero shot and probably use that in the final battle because now it's level two. Look at that bad boy. Very, very cool. But now we get to move on to the final boss. Okay, so let's go over here and just head right into the boss. I totally am not like coming back like a couple hours later. What are you talking about? Okay, the final boss. Bum, rush, blush, tide goes out. Let's go. Whoa, where's it going? Bye! Don't get dizzy! Oh! oh no. Oh man, I could really use some more data on this weapon. Whoa, a new weapon! No, 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 it's our normal hero shot, it's just upgraded. Tide goes out. Let's go, Asian 4! I was lucky that that was the one I upgraded then. Is that who I think it is? Kelly? Wait, is that Kelly? No way, she's got the hair flip. What happened? I told you to leave. Kelly, why? Now you leave me no choice. Uh-oh, prepare the, to be rocked. Hey DJ, uh-oh. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the one on the right looks like it says taco. The knuckles on the right. No, there's a zapfish! You get that back, you monster! DJ Octavio featuring Kelly, Octobot King 2. Octavio in the house! <laughs> I remix Kelly's brain. No way! Time for our first song of the night, Bum Rush Plush. Time to drop the beat down. Spin it, DJ, so she is hypnotized. She re he remixed her brain. This is some weird music. Uh, 
Not the kind of music I was expecting so far, but we know what to do so far. Punch his, or attack his fist, just like last time. This is Angel 4. Show no mercy. Well, I mean, maybe towards Callie. But there we go, we got you there. And I think we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Blushing faces covered in pink. Rushing bombs, exploding ink. Wow, okay. This is really cool. We're at the final boss. Oh, 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 gotcha. Maybe I can destroy that one now. So far, we're doing pretty good. Okay, let's hit your taco fist. Oh, it's taco, but the C is sideways. <laughs> Come on, Octavio. Okay, we're doing all right. Campbell, how did Octavio, like I guess he just sort of bounced back from the beating we gave him. It's just, how did he do this? Watch out for the spinning punches. They can't be bounced back. Oh boy. Speaking of bouncing back. Okay, so there's gonna be spinning, right? I'm gonna move over here. So far, so good, we have this nice open area. Really, how the, the previous final boss got difficult is that you didn't always have this big wide area. Uh, he's gonna hit you with the shower attack, dodge to the side. I can't read that and play at the same time. That's the silly thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. I need my things back, so he's gonna throw those over there, which is not good. So how am I gonna do anything here? Oh, here we go, here we go, that's not a spinning one. Boom, and then go for this one. Boom, nice, okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Beating them up a lot. They're, they're putting on a cool concert. The problem is just, I wasn't invited, and now they're trying to get me away. Okay, that's a spinning fast! Wow, okay. Throw that bomb over there just so I can fill up a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's normal. Boom. This is really actually working out really well. Octavio is exposed. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, got him! So there's the first face in already? Humph. That music's getting really good. Kelly, it's me, your cousin Marie. Try to remember. DJ! Uh-oh. Drop that spicy wasabi beat! <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Coming with that hotness. Oh, I know him. Okay, well, let's uh, back up. Uh, oh, boy. Hey, 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 stop that. Got it. We got one more. Come on, throw this punch. I guess not one more, but we got one more fist to punch back until he reloads, right? Whoa, what are those? Something's coming, can you shoot it down? What are these things? Oh boy, are they calamari or something? I don't know what that was. I think some kind of sushi or something. Can I just throw a bomb at your face? Oh gosh, he's gonna move over, ain't he? Oh wow, okay, so he wasn't, but he could've. So far we're doing really good. We haven't been taking too many hits. Let me fill up on ink, another bomb rush. Oh gosh, different kind of bombs this time though. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. We're doing okay though, a lot of our ink is everywhere, so. Okay, those are some spinning fists of doom. Let's get over here. Come on, charge up some normal fists. I love this song though. It's like really intense and it has, it really combines the Squid Sisters and DJ Octavio's style. So when they had their tour together in, oh no, 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 really? Gosh darn, he knocked me right off. Man, that's the first time we've died during a boss, I think. Okay, let's move over here and move over here and he's raising up. Yes, he is. Oh, get you, get you, get you, get you. Get you, get you, get you, get you. And we just gotta keep doing this over and over again, it seems until, you know, it works for us. Yeah, move over here and fill it like that. So far, so good. But yeah, it really is a good combination of style. Something's coming, can you shoot them down? Uh, I tried to and didn't exactly work out incredibly. Well, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Dang, I at least got that one. Wow, this thing makes like a weird tsunami or something. I guess it's not a tsunami, but more like a whirlpool, an upward whirlpool. All right, I kept on thinking that he's gonna throw his spinning fist. I guess not quite yet. Come on, is that all you got? Is that all you got? I love the the Megatron in the background, the Titantron, just showing off a uh, Kelly dancing around. That was, a, that was a spinning fist. I'm doing a whole lot worse now, so I shouldn't have talked about how good I was doing because obviously that has changed. So attack that one, then turn, and that's spinning. Wow, Gak. Did we get him? No, not yet. Agent four, you'll be there soon. Hold out a little longer. I'm trying to. Hold my own. This time you're not gonna knock me off. I'm way more ready. Fill this up. And I just always gotta keep my camera focused towards him. Because if not, okay. Oh, he hit me with one, but I got that one. That's good, that's good, that's something. All right, I'm a little slowed, but that's okay. Oh, oh, got it. Nice, okay, so. He has to be low, right? Another bomb rush. Yep, yep, yep. That's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Just gonna fill up whatever I can. Oh, the dun, 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 nah. Yeah, it really is like a good combo. So that little concert these two had that was shown off in the Sunken Sea Scrolls, that must have all just been a ploy to lure in Callie. 
And at this point, I wonder what would have happened if he was able to get both Kelly and Marie. I think we'd be in some big trouble. But there we go, 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 yeah! There's two shots down. Not bad. Uh, what is this? I'm here, hold on, hey, it's Marie! She actually showed up with Sheldon! Oh, she has a splatter shot, or a, uh, charge shot. Whoa! She's taking aim! Ah! Whoa, was it the glasses? No, the hypno shades! It was the shades! Yes, that was a direct hit with my special low tide ink! Ugh. That really worked. Now, Asian Fuller, with Kelly, while Kelly is stunned, to make DJ Octavio pay! Okay, okay, we'll do it. Uh, time to turn the table, spicy speed mode! How many, how many more faces did he have left? Whoa, whoa, okay, hold on. I'm just gonna wait right here and, and see what he does. He's throwing his stuff everywhere. Okay, get rid of it as much as I can. This song is awesome. Okay, that's a spinning fist. I'm just waiting for a normal one, just like that one. All right, get over here and, oh. Now it's Marie on the uh, Titantron in the background. Hey, 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 hey! Get that one. No, I couldn't do it. Gosh darn. He's gonna take a lot of hits because he seems to just normally do that. Man, DJ Octavio is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, move over here, move over here. Get that, get that, get that. Nice. Okay, so we're just gonna wait right here. and Charge up as much as I can. I have all my ink I need, but that's a spinning fist. Whoop! Okay, I made it, I made it. We're fine, we're fine. The song keeps going though, it's fantastic. And I love that there must be like a sea of Octarians just jumping to the music. They're having a great time. You can see the whole crowd in the background. Unless that, those are all screens and they aren't real. But I would think they're real. There's a lot of Octarians out there, it seems. Man, those spinning fists while moving, that's a little too much, don't you think? All right, I need to fill up this ink as much as I can, but I also need to watch out when he punches so I can knock it back. Maybe knock this one back too. Couldn't quite, but that's okay. All right, throw that bomb over there, fill up. Okay, oh, these are being thrown everywhere. It's so hard to keep track of everything. Speaking of which, got him there, and he's gotta be low. He's definitely gotta be low. Oh, that's the spinning. Yep, and then this one's normal. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Boom! Wake up, Kelly! Oh, so she's, we're waiting for her to wake up. She's dancing still, though, so she's no, still not totally knocked out of it. Or is that, I really can't see what's going on up there. Okay, she's dancing. Oh, geez, watch out. <laughs> Come on, move, 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 move. And then, oh gosh, come on. What you got, what you got? Okay, I can get that, I can deal with that, I can deal. But can you, you looks like you can't. Um, are you about to, no, you're just about to do that, that's fine. Then the spinning fist, totally fine with me. Start filling up whatever I can in the meantime. Okay, oh, oh geez, get that out of here. Can I shoot these? I cannot, no matter what I do, it seems like I can't shoot those. Okay, okay, move over here and fill up, fill up, fill up. Man, this is such an intense boss fight. I, I wish I could, you know, talk more about what's going on, but too late, beat him up! Was that it? I think we just won! My, my head. The low tide ink is working. The low tide ink? <laughs> Kelly, remember! Thank heavenly melody. What? The one and only. I, I remember. Oh, yeah! That worked! We did it! They're back! Oh my gosh, they're actually back! The Squid Sisters are back! We did it! We won! I hope. I mean, is DJ Octavio defeated? Oh, maybe not. What's happening now? We got a new weapon. He's not looking so hot in there. The Rainmaker, Sheldon requests. Agent four, I brought you a modded version of the Rainmaker. Hold ZR down to build pressure, and then release it to shoot an ink missile. All right, Agent four, show me what you can do with that modified Rainmaker. All right, eat it. Oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, holy cow, follow Agent four, where'd he go? Um, oh, right here. Go, 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 where to get him? End this, once and for all, let's defeat DJ. Whoa, holy cow. Boom, can I shoot him? Boom, oh, I gotta hit those. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's a, ah! ow, oh, okay. Let's try that again. I'm back up here. So I gotta hit back his fists, right? So he's gonna throw that one and I'm just gonna boom. Wow, that's really weird because it has like an explosion thing going on with it. Darn it, I was supposed to, I think, maybe be on the outside there. I don't know what I was supposed to do. Um, can I knock those away? Oh man, what am I supposed to do about that? 
Hold on, what? How do I jump over that thing? So I'm just supposed to jump over those. Okay, that's all I need to do. Jump! Yeah, I did it, I did it, oh, look at me. Okay, so this one's gonna be a normal one. Punch it! Nice! Okay, so is that gonna be a normal one or what? Ooh, where are you going? Okay, jump! All right, uh, let's uh, try to, oh gosh darn, I messed it up. Okay, okay, I was just trying to fix my camera. Didn't work out exactly well. This is quite, quite the crazy ending so far. Wow, really? Was that it? Am I ripped? I'm ripped. Wow, what the heck? I don't know what happened then that last shot. I had to do it all over, don't I? Fun. Okay, so let's give this another shot now that I know what to do. I, play, I had to play all the way back up to this spot for you, you know why. So first off, we need to punch that, or hit the punch, I guess. And then he's gonna get mad, and I'm just gonna jump over it, nice and simple. And then I really don't know if I ever need to change these lanes. I mean, I'm sure I might have to at some point, like he's gonna get mad and start dicing them up, which would be just splendid, right? So we just gotta be careful. So far, it's so good, though. All right, he's moving over here, and then I jump. Yep, just like that. So far, I haven't really taken too many hits. So we'll have to see if that happens. Get to your taco fist out of here. All right, man, he's still trying to jam out, though. You know, I will respect his 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 attempt to jam. That was stupid. Is uh very admirable. All right, jump. Yeah, okay, I made it, I made it. So that's just a normal punch. I can attack it. And then that was good. I can't resist a groove any longer. Splat you, squid sisters. Oh, he's falling under the under the lore of the groove of the Squid Sisters song. <laughs> he can't handle it. It's too groovy. I can't play, but look at him jam out. Now I know, it's not his own music he's dancing to. It's hers, uh, or theirs. Not just one, but both. Oh gosh, come on. We gotta take you out once and for all this time. And then in Splatoon 3, we can have a new enemy. Oh gosh, come on, ready, set, huh. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Boom, did we get him? I think we did. See ya. Agent 4, Head Frog, Tavio from the inner circle. Okay, just like this. Whoop, we're gonna get him, we're gonna get him. There he is. I wanna, I'm gonna land my final shot on him. Now jump with B, what? Oh, we got him, victory! <laughs> with a final Goomba stomp. We got him, he's defeated. Uh, not again. See ya, dude. Grossed, fat, what? I don't know, something about gross fade? Cross fade into the distance, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Bye! Whatever you said, doesn't matter to me, cause you're gonna explode. Boom. <laughs> okay, we defeated the final boss. DJ Octavio is out of here. Kelly is saved. All is good in this Splatoon world again. Especially because that guy hangs out at the top. Awesome, we did it! Then who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be them, or who, who's it gonna be here? Oh, it's just gonna be Pearl Marina. Y'all know what time it is! It's off the hook, come at you live from Incomplus Square! Just like the beginning of the game. Check it, here are the current regular battles. Hold your wrist, seahorses, Marina, we have breaking news! Wait, what? The Great Zapfish is back! The Great Zapfish is back! Oh yeah! I'm so happy right now, I have to, I have to get a picture of this. Oh, she took like a billion. Okay. Awesome. Hmm, for some reason I remember it being bigger than that. Yeah, for real, was it always that small? Anyway, in other news, here are the current regular battle state. Wait, shut up, Marina. <laughs> We've got another breaking news alert, jeez. But I didn't say anything. Oh. Holy carp, Kelly's been found. Are you guys seeing this? Now that's news. Kelly's back, yay. I didn't know if we'd ever see her again. We're glad you're back, Kelly. Being the best is too easy without competition. Seriously, it takes two to make the one one and only Squid Sisters. Yo, Marina, let's drop a new track to celebrate. Good idea, Pearl. I've got just a jam. This next song request comes from Freshly Fried Boy. Ooh, it's a new hit single from the Squid Sisters, Fresh Darn. Oh, they have a new single already? Okay. Splatoon 2.